Hey everyone and welcome to a new playthrough. We will be starting alongside our other ones. This is Pokemon Rising Ruby, a ROM hack of Pokemon Omega Ruby, also one of the best remakes ever. So we hope you will enjoy our journey through the Hoenn region, but don't worry, we will still be continuing through Heart Gold and Platinum, but I wanted to play this so badly. So there, and if anyone has a problem with that, then I will send SEAL Team 6 after you. Okay, Donald, we get it. You love this game, but stop threatening everyone. But anyway, yeah, welcome to Hoenn, everyone, and we hope you will enjoy this series just as much as our other ones. And this particular ROM hack is special as the teams of most of the trainers have been changed. And also all Pokemon up to Gen 6 are available as well. So we have so many options for our team boys, so please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy our content. Yeah, and in the last Heart Gold video, we had a comment regarding why the in-game music wasn't being used. And that's mainly due to the emulator and our recording software not picking up the audio for some reason. We tried solving this in the beginning, but I am too dumb to figure it out. And also as president, I don't have time to deal with such things. And Obama and Donald are just plain lazy. But anyway, we hope you enjoy the music of some of our favorite tracks in the series being played over our playthrough instead. Thanks for that explanation, Joe. But yeah, so I'm so excited for this playthrough, boys, because this game was already so fun. But now, with over 700 Pokemon available to us from the get-go, we should have blast playing this, and also being able to ride around over Hoenn on a Latios is just amazing. More than all that, Obama is the fact that we have Mega Evolutions in this game, which is a feature I miss more than anything. It's such a cool feature, and now we have that fucking gimmick in Scarlet and Violet, which turns Pokemon into stone, like they have seen a weeping angel from Doctor Who. I mean, what the fuck is Game Freak even doing now? I agree, Donald Mega Evolutions will be super fun to use, and I am so excited to see one of my favorite Pokemon of all time being Rayquaza in the Delta episode at the end. That is one super cool legendary and Pokemon without a doubt. Look at these animations, boys. This remake is so nice, but first, what starter should we use, do you guys think? Oh shit, our mom is so hot, boys. I hope we have her to ourselves later, LML. Uh, Donald, stop turning into Joe. And to answer your question, Joe, I have decided we should pick Trico for this playthrough, since we chose Cyndaquil in Heart Gold and Piplup in Platinum. So this time we have to pick the grass type. Okay, since we are doing that, Obama, I want our Trico to be a shiny, and I have my ways of getting one if we can find one. Um, I don't know what you mean by any of that, Donald, but a shiny Trico would be super cool, I agree, but first, Joe, you gotta go to our room and set the time on the clock. This is the only Pokemon game in which we have a dad, isn't it, guys? Like in every other one, he's just left us to get buy milk or something. Yeah, that's true, Joe, but even Ash in the anime doesn't have a dad. And I wish the final episode could be him finding his dad, who turns out to be some OP trainer, and they have a battle that would be so cool. I remember when I first played through Pokemon Sapphire, and I got to the fifth gym, which is our dad Norman, and his fucking slaking destroyed me. I still have PTSD from that slaking. It's pronounced slacking Donald, but yeah, it was a difficult battle. Oh, look, boys. Our mom told us to go next door and see the little girl there. <laughs> Donald, I swear to God that every game we play, Joe finds some way to hit on a child or turn into a creep. He's now doing it with May. But to be fair, I had a crush on her, too, in the anime. Oh, yeah, Obama May was hot, but Serena was more to my liking. She reminds me of Stormy. <laughs> What the fuck was that laugh, Donald? You will soon turn into Joe and be the second creep of our trio, and then it will be only me left the sane person. Oh damn, look at May, boy, she's straight fire. What's crazy is her mom just let Joe walk into her bedroom like it's no one's problem. I would rather Obama go to Yemen than let Joe go here, LML. Donald, you do realize we are also 10 years old in these games too, so what's the big deal if we hit on May, huh? Be that as it may, Joe pardon the pun as well, but it's still creepy that you a 70 plus year old man likes May. Guys, I want the team in this series to be super varied, and I had a look at what Pokemon we can find on each route, and in the first route we can catch a Fletchling, which is one of the bird Pokemon I have never used, so I really want to catch one. Fletchling is a good option, Donald. We could also use a Solosis or a Gothita too instead of Ralts. But I do want to use some strong dragon types as well. I think we should use a team of Pokemon that can all mega evolve and make the most of that boys since it's basically non-ex assistant after this game. Good idea, Joe, but look, Professor Birch is getting chased by a Puchaina, so now it's time to choose our first Pokemon. That is absolutely not how you pronounce that, Obama, but yeah, let's go and pick our cute little Trico. Joe tells someone who gives a fuck, and also, you better not lose this battle with our Trico either. 
The battle animations in this game are just super fun, guys. I love it. Donald, I am about to have my first battle in the Hoenn region. So be quiet because you always distract me and it's so annoying. Donald, shut the fuck up in case Joe loses to a level 3 Puccina LMFAO. Well, it's not my fault. Our Trico's a piece of shit right now and only has Absorb, which isn't effective to this dark type doggo here, is it? Joe, you also have Pound, you fucking idiot, so use that instead. By the way, Donald, I thought you wanted a shiny Trico and I don't see a shiny, do I? Oh, don't worry, Obama. I have a plan for that, which you will see in the next episode. <laughs> wow, Donald using Pound was such good advice. Thank you so much. Yeah, and because of me, Professor Birch is now safe, which shows I am also a lifesaver as well as the best president ever. Yeah, well, soon you will have to be the best prison inmate if you want your sentence to get cut down, LM Fayo. Obama, shut the fuck up. If anything, this is a blessing for me because I won't have to deal with Joe whilst I am in prison, and you will have to every day, LMFAO. Donald, be quiet because I am now naming our Trico, and I have the perfect nickname for it from a YouTuber I used to watch a very long time ago. What did you name it, Joe? I named our Trico Tree Ninja Obama, if you know which YouTuber also named their Trico Tree Ninja once upon a time. Joe, I literally have no idea what you are on about. But anyway, boys, how about we end this episode here, and in the next episode, we find May and also head to Petalburg City? Good idea, Donald. Thanks for watching, everyone. And please remember to like and subscribe, and we hope you enjoyed this new series and have a lovely rest of your day, too. All right, boys, welcome back to Omega Ruby, or actually Pokemon Rising Ruby. If you missed the first episode of this series, it's a ROM hack of Omega Ruby. Please check out the playlists in the description, and also please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy our content. Yeah, welcome everyone, and we made it to Old Ale Town off screen, and now are heading a defined May, like Professor Birch suggested we should, which probably means we will have our first battle with her, which means don't fuck it up, Joe. Oh, wow, Obama. Donald was right. He said he wanted a shiny Trico, and he got one. Um, yeah, how did you get it, Donald? Get what, Obama? The shiny Trico on the screen right now, you moron. Oh, that? Well, I don't know. But anyway, look, boys, it's a Mankey, which is a Pokemon we wouldn't normally find in Huan, but because of this ROM hack, we can. So you're just going to ignore us and not explain how you get this shiny Trico? What shiny Trico, Obama? Jesus fucking Christ, Donald. You are so annoying sometimes, seriously. You two have been ignoring the fact that this Mankey is really strong, guys, and I am still here battling it. Sorry, Joe blamed Donald for being difficult as usual, but anyway, you beat it now. Just get to May already so we can carry on with the story here. Oh, what is she looking at, boys, that tiny little pond? The same size as your tiny little brain, Donald M. Fayo. I'm so funny today. No, all the cocaine you have been snorting, Joe, instead of running our country is finally getting to you. All right, Joe, I was right. We are battling May, and she probably has a torch, so don't fuck it up, okay? Now, don't worry, Obama. We have a shiny Trico, which means we are unbeatable. Um, Joe, that's not what that means at all. Well, what's the point of shiny Pokemon if they don't make us stronger? Joe, it's all for aesthetics, you idiot. Did you really think we get stat changes from a different colored Pokemon? Fuck off, Obama. I didn't know that the guide I have up doesn't say anything about shiny Pokemon at all. Joe, why the hell are you using a guide for this game, too? You have me and Obama to tell you what to do. Because, Donald, I don't trust you, and you might tell me to do something that's wrong just so you have an excuse to bully me for my mistake. Oh, we would totally do that, Donald LMFAO. Look, boys, I have so won this. Joe, you absolute fucking dumbass. Wait, what the fuck just happened? OMG, Joe, you idiot. How the fuck did you lose the first battle, you useless sack of donkey shit? I fucking had that battle in the bag, Obama. And she probably used hacks to beat me, that bitch. Well, we can't proceed until you beat her, Joe, so get the fuck out there and win. You are so shit at Pokemon because no one ever loses the first battle. Okay, I did some training, boys, and now we will win for sure this time. She fucking used hacks. That's how she won. Oh, yeah, like how you used hacks to win the election, Joe. Don't fucking deny it. You can compare a Pokemon battle to the fucking election, Donald, you stupid gimp. Seriously, this is a video game, and I would rather be shit at this than somehow losing to me like you managed to do to become President LMFAO. Shots fired by Joe there, Donald LML, but well done for beating May. Joe, your training has paid off. Please comment down below if any of you have ever lost the first battle in any Pokemon game and tell us how it happened if you did so. I can prove to these two morons that it's not just me who loses to the first battle. Oh, I can assure you, Joe, that none of our viewers probably lost their first battles. Now hurry up and get back to Little Root Town. What do you both love about these remakes the most? I just love seeing May and all the youngster trainers in high resolution Obama in this remake. It's so nice. <laughs> You know what, I should have seen that coming. 
If Pokemon could follow us in this version, Obama, then I would say this could be the perfect remake. But my favorite thing about this remake is also the graphics and seeing all the towns in updated graphics and trainers, too. But unlike Joe, I won't start unzipping my pants around them. My favorite thing is Mega Evolutions being here without a doubt and also using Rayquaza, whilst it's holding a life orb is just so OP El Mao. MAO, Mega Rayquaza holding a life orb is truly God tier strength. I agree, Obama. I'm also pretty sure it got banned because of that in competitions. Oh, look, our mom is going to give us a goodbye kiss, boys. I hope she will do more than that, though, if you get my drift. <laughs> wow, Donald, once again, I'm here with two creeps, and it's only going to get worse. Right, boys, let's head out and start catching lots of Pokemon. And as Donald suggested in the first episode, we need a Fletchling, so I will go find one. Before that, Joe May is going to teach us something, so let's see what she got to say. Why is there a purple dick waving about in the grass like that? Joe don't get attracted to it. Donald, that is obviously a Pokemon, and we need to sneak up to it to catch it. See how useful my guide is, and it says nothing about purple dicks either. Oh, it's just this doggo here, Joe. We can kill that, or you can catch it for the Pokedex, if you like. I just caught it, Obama, but I don't think we should use it since it's a normal Pokemon to see in Hoenn. Ah, finally, Joe, we found the Pokemon we have been looking for Fletchling. Now don't fuck this catch up. Don't worry, Obama, I'm gonna throw one Pokeball, and it'll be all ours. I love this Firebird Pokemon, it's so neat. As boring as X and Y were, they had some good Pokemon like this one, didn't they? Good job, Joe. We have our second team member now, and I was thinking, boys, it would be so cool to use a Hydreigon on our team as well if can find a Dino. Fuck that Obama Hydreigon is the most annoying thing to evolve since it evolves at like level 70, almost, which is just nuts. All right, Joe, it's time we head on towards Petalburg City. And on the next route, there is a chance we can catch a Solosis as well. I couldn't find one in this route, Obama. I think their spawn rates are very low, but I made it through the route and nothing interesting happened. So that's why I made a cut here too, guys. That's fine, Joe. And finally, we have made it to Petalburg, but we can't battle our dad until we have four gym badges. Joe, so our actual first gym leader will be Roxanne in Rustboro City. I caught quite a few Pokemon boys in that route, including a Timpole you just saw but I am unsure if we should use it. I did love using Seismitoad in black and white though. We should let our viewers decide that Joe, but hey, look, it's Norman, our dad. Looks like he's gonna catch up with us inside the gym. Oh yeah, and that moldy haired freak kid is about to show up and somehow catch a Ralts on his first try. Like what the actual fuck is that about? His name is Wally Donald and his hair is just green, not moldy too, and I really like him. Jim, he reminds me of you, Joe. He's weak, pretty useless, nervous all the time, and just plain boring, too, LMFAO. LMO Obama, you are right. Just look at his face. What a weirdo. You two shut the fuck up. You are just jealous that he finds a Ralts on his first try, and you two bitch about how you struggled to find one in Emerald years ago. Whatever, Joe. And anyway, this is just the catching tutorial for people like you who need guides. Also, guys, doesn't Wally have some sort of illness, too? I swear, it says that somewhere in the game, since Wally is basically Joe, he probably has dementia, Donald LML. Hey, that wasn't funny, Obama. You should apologize to Wally. He is probably the least memorable rival we have in any Pokemon Game Boys as well. He is just so forgetful. But I will say he does have a pretty cool team by the end of this game. Well, there we have it. Joe Biden 2.0 has caught his Ralt. And I say we end this episode here. What do you guys think? Yeah, good idea, Donald. Thanks for watching, everyone. And please remember to like and subscribe if you liked the video. And also check out our other games, which we have linked in the video description. We should be heading towards Roxanne in the next episode and getting our first gym badge. All right, boys, here we are back in the Hoenn region. And today we will be taking on Roxanne at the Rustboro gym, which was my only idea for today. But let's see how the video goes. So please remember to like and subscribe, everyone. Yeah, and we apologize if the video seems a little jumpy to begin with, but we had some recording issues and I have no Joe, idea shut your mouth and admit that, that you fucked the recording up once again. And this is becoming a common occurrence with you. And if it keeps happening, there will be severe punishments inbound. OMG, Donald, you are the rude one now. You can't interrupt an acting president when I'm talking that is considered treason. Well, I just did interrupt you, Joe. So what you gonna do about it, huh, huh? I am the big man here, the Supreme Overlord, and you, Joe, are a little pea in a pod that can easily get stepped on. All right, guys, cool it, and focus on the battle going on right now. After this battle, we should hopefully get our Trico to evolve into a Grovile. And if anyone is wondering how there are Gen 5 amongst other Pokemon in this playthrough, it's because we are actually playing a ROM hack of Omega Ruby called Rising Ruby. 
So if you guys missed the first two episodes of this series, then please check out the playlist in the description below. You were right, Obama. Our little Trico finally evolved, and we are on our way to becoming super strong. By the way, we will be heading into Petalburg Woods now, so could one of you let everyone know what Pokemon is available there? Oh, I have a list here, Joe. So these are the Pokemon available in Petalburg Woods. Venonat, Pichu, Shroomish, Slakoth, Pansage, Pansir, Panpour, Cottony, Petalil, Phantom, and Pumpkaboo. Oh, guys, have you seen Phantom's shiny form? It's probably up there as one of the best ever. Yeah, that shiny is so nice, Obama. If we find one, we have to use it on our team. Also, what's going on here now? Okay, Joe, we are getting our first introduction of the evil team of the Hoenn region. And since we are playing Ruby, we have to deal with Team Magma. And if we played Sapphire, then we would have to deal with Team Aqua. But personally, I always loved Gruden more than that fat blue whale. That's because whenever you see Kyogre Donald, it reminds you of yourself, LML. But anyway, yeah, guys, this is Team Magma here. And I personally think they are one of the better evil teams in the Pokemon series. So funny, Obama, I've noticed you and Joe slowly picking on me more and more. And I must say, I don't really appreciate it. Well, Donald, tell someone who cares now, boys, I was thinking we need to get some items for our Pokemon, like a Miracle Seed and a Charcoal to boost our fire and grass type moves. Oh, that's a good shout, Joe. But we won't be able to get them for some time. I don't think although Slateport City might have some, see, since this is a ROM hack, I think the items have all been changed around, so I can't remember where everything is. Oh, nice boys. We got the EXP share, which many people consider to be super broken in these games. But since this game is more challenging than the normal one and more so than that, we have Joe playing. We should keep it on. Yeah, the XP share is super broken, and I think we should decide whether to have it or not after seeing how Joe handles taking on Roxanne, and she actually beat me in my first uh, playthrough of guys, Sapphire back in the day. Guys, who is this hottie here spying on us? Maybe she wants me. Ha ha ha. Joe, what the actual fuck, man? Stop cutting us off with your creep laugh. Obama was reminiscing about youthful days playing Pokemon Sapphire, and you barge in screaming about a girl older than the age of 10 spying on you. Well, Donald, that's never happened to me before, so it's a super big deal. But anyway, boys, check it out. We've made it to our first major city of the game, Rustboro City. TBH, this is one of my lesser favorite cities in the game. Moss Deep City is the goat of all Hoenn region cities. And well done, Joe, heading straight for the gym to take on Roxanne. Let's see how you do here. Guarantee he will mess this up, Obama. And also, how the hell do we only have Grass Whistle? We should have done some more training to get Giga Drain, at least Obama, because I read that the gyms in this version of the game are way more difficult, and each gym leader has a team of six Pokemon. Don't worry, Donald, watch this. I will beat this tiny gym leader into submission. <laughs> and then we will get our first gym badge of the game. Although I am worried about taking on six Pokemon right off the bat. All right, Joe, her first Pokemon is an Archon. Not a Pokemon we see very often, but I rate this fossil Pokemon, and I even used one during my Pokemon White 2 playthrough many years ago. Well, I already got this ugly thing paralyzed, Obama. So this will be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Joe, I still don't trust you with this battle. We really should have done more training first here. We could have found some more TMs or fighting type moves, since this is a rock type gym, pretty much. Right, she has an Anorith now, boys, and I think this is also a bug type. But don't worry, I am already the champion of Kanto and Yoto. Remember Elmo. Joe, holy hell, you just got our tree ninja killed, you moron. You call yourself the champion, but you lose to a Pokemon weaker than us. See, Obama, I told you he would mess this up. And now we have three other Pokemon who are no way near strong enough to take down five of Roxanne's team. So congratulations, Joe. You have proved to us that once again, you are useless. Oh, and there goes our Solosis, Elmao. Well, looks like we are indeed leaving the XP share on because Joe is quite the opposite of what a champion is supposed to be. Okay, we are getting destroyed here, boys. I had no idea she was this strong, and basically her entire team has super effective moves against us, so I really need to do some training. I'm sorry I messed up Obama and Donald. Do you know what, Joe? Because I feel sorry for you, I will accept your apology, but you better get your ass training these guys up because we shouldn't have lost this battle. And you could have bought some revives and potions too, but you decided not to, and Obama and myself shouldn't have to baby you either. All right, boys, we are back, and I did a shit ton of training and got a Duotion now, as well as a Fletchinder now, too, and found some steroids to give them as well. Hopefully this time we will be better prepared to deal with Roxanne. She looks so hot, boys. I mean, Jesus Christ, it's making me feel very uncomfortable in the lower regions if you get my drift. 
Okay, Joe, nice work. You got our Tree Ninja almost double the level of her Pokemon. However, that doesn't mean you could take things easy. We got to win this gym badge this time now, please. Donald, shut the F up. I am one shotting her entire team since I got Giga Drain and Leaf Blade too. I am 100% confident that this time I will absolutely win this battle. And if I don't, I will parade around the outside of the White House completely naked for an hour. Um, Joe, that feels more like a punishment for the rest of the planet than it does you, and also no one wants to see your little Biden either. Thank you very much. Boys, I am sweeping her entire team with our Grovile. This is so easy. And by the way, one of the Pokemon I have always wanted to use is Tyrant. And Roxanne had one which reminded me of it, so could we please get one, please, please, please? I have no idea where we can find one of those, Joe, and we might even need to restore it as a fossil too. But I will do some research and see if we can get one. Otherwise, please leave some comments down below of which Pokemon you would like us to use in this playthrough, including legendaries if you wish. Ah, hell yeah, boys. I beat Roxanne on my second try. However, I'm really worried now what all the other gym leaders will have since they all have six Pokemon and the next gym is a fighting type gym too, so we need more flying type moves. Oh, check it, more drama is now occurring outside the gym, boys. And this scientist is once again getting harassed by the same guy we battled before. I mean, what a moron to let yourself get bullied by the same person over and over again. You could teach this scientist about that Joe LMFAO. Oh, here we go again, Joe. Team Magma stole Mr. Briney's Wingle, so we need it back to get to Doofertown, and also we need to get the machine parts back from the scientist as well. Be a big boy and defeat him without crying about it. Yeah, shut it, Obama. Even though I lost to Roxanne and got scared earlier, I am still champion and also growing day by day, so give me a break. Hey, have you guys ever used a Soul Rock or Lunatone? I've never used them, but Tate and Liza do, so maybe we could try them out? Well, I want to try out our Duotion first, Donald. And it's already a psychic type, so why do you want to add another one? If anything, we should use a ghost or dark type, and I would rather use a shiny phantom than that crappy normal colored one, so I put it in our PC box earlier. I will agree with you, Joe. I would also want to use a shiny phantom, but anyway, well done for beating this grunt. I say we end this episode here, boys, and next time we can head to Doofer Town and take on the second gym. Yeah, good shout there, Obama. So thanks for watching, everyone. Please remember to like and subscribe and check out the playlists in the description for all the other games we've played. What's up, what's up, everyone, and welcome back to Hunt. Sup, 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 everyone. Today we aim to beat Brawly for our second gym badge and catch some new Pokemon, too. So please remember to like and subscribe for more. Hey, Obama, check it out. Mr. Briny here and his Wingle are doing an exact reenactment of how Joe chases his favorite younglings, LMAO. Actually, this isn't how I do that, Donald, because I don't need to chase anyone. I just woo them like how a peacock woos its mate with its feathers. I have my own feathers. And what exactly do those feathers look like, Joe LMFAO? I haven't got time for your shit today, Donald, so everyone let's go to Doofer Town and please leave a comment down below about how your week has been, guys. We hope it's been a good one. My week has been pretty good, Joe, but I wish you'd fall off more stuff, so... I had more to laugh about because rewatching Joe Biden fails on YouTube is starting to get boring. I can't believe someone made a compilation of that Obama. I bet it was Donald because he's being spiteful in don't between his court hearings. Don't know what you're talking about, Joe, but welcome to Duford, boys. And yeah, I sure think you this fucking town don't, is Donald. the most boring in Hoenn. There is absolutely nothing to do except catch some wild Pokemon and battle Brawly. Well, we should take on the two trainers here, Donald, and then head into the cave because there is a certain Pokemon I really want to use for our team here, and we can also use it in the gym, too. I think that would be a good idea, Obama, because two of our Pokemon are going to absolutely destroy this gym since we have a psychic type and a flying type. So what Pokemon did you want to catch inside the cave? You'll see, Joe, but if I tell you now, then Donald will have a meltdown and ICBA to deal with his toddler mode right now. Fuck you, Obama. I don't have a toddler mode because I am the supreme overlord and have destroyed my ego and guys, why don't we catch a clauncher too? I loved using this Pokemon in X and Y. Actually, I gotta agree with Donald there too, Obama. Clauncher is an amazing Pokemon and I think it's underused. So Google that spreadsheet of Pokemon locations in this ROM hack, Donald, so we can find one. That's fine with me, but you both do realize at this rate we will end up having a full team of Pokemon before we've even reached Moville City. Is that something you really want to do? Oh yeah, that's true, Obama, but we could switch members out until we find a team that really suits us and which most of us agree on. What's good is there's three of us, so we will always have a vote and there are some super rare and strong Pokemon we can find in this game too, on every route.
Yeah, and we will find one of those in the cave in a sec, Donald, and I don't want you having a fit over it, all right? Obama, I only have my meltdowns where necessary, like you two constantly not naming any dragon-type Pokemon after me for some reason, which is just unfair since you both had Pokemon named after you. And the only thing I've had named after me is that goddamn rival in our Pokemon Heart Gold playthrough. And here's the Pokemon I wanted boys a fucking Axu. Oh, holy hell, Obama, you will name this after me. You better, otherwise I will lose it. And boom, caught it with a great ball, boy. So what we naming it, Obama? Donald, you just said you would only have a meltdown where necessary, and this isn't necessary at all, so shut your mouth. I'm letting Joe name it. Wait, what What the hell did you name our Axu, Joe? I missed that bit. I named our Axu the cutest name ever, Donald. You will absolutely love it, but if you're still unhappy with it later, then when we get to Slateport City, I will change the name of a Pokemon to your name. How about that? Joe, what the actual hell you named our Axu Greenie? How much of that cocaine have you been snorting now, seriously? I thought it was a really cute name, though, Donald, because our Axu is well green and small and cute, so I thought Greenie would suit it. But like I said, there is a name raider in Slateport, so we can go there later if you like. Um, guys, our Axu is going to get destroyed in this gym if we don't train it up at least a bit, especially before Brawly. The dude has a full team of six Pokemon, remember? Yeah, I agree, Obama. Maybe we should go train up a bit later. But I say we try get through some of these trainers and we could always do some switch training too. I am surprised that Dual Chop isn't doing much damage here, boys, but Donald's, right? We're gonna have to switch out a lot. Before Brawly, we should go back into the cave and do some training to get Greeny into the level 20s at least. Yeah, fine, Joe, but I ain't gonna do all that training. So since you named the Axu, you can train it up LMAO. Wow, Obama. So you letting me name it was just a ploy. So then I have to be the one to train it up. You are so mean and also Axu won't evolve into a Haxorus for ages. So this isn't fair on me at all. Joe, stop complaining. At least Obama let you name the thing whilst you both haven't given me a chance at all. So you're just as mean as him. And I haven't even bullied you for like, I don't know, 10 minutes. Oh, hey, look, Obama, we found Donald again. And this time he's a Makuhita LMO. Wow, Joe, anytime you find a moderately large Pokemon, you can't just say it looks like me, you know? That gets old very quickly. Oh, uh, and this thing keeps using sand attacks, so I'm gonna run away and do some training for you, Obama. And we will fight Brawly when we are a little stronger, but I wanna use Axu for the battle to make things a bit more fun. Whatever, Joe, but why did you just catch an Aaron? We can't keep catching stuff to use, guys, otherwise we will have a full team, remember? And it's too soon for that, and everyone uses Agron anyway. Well, in the beginning of this playthrough, we did say that we wanted to use a team of Pokemon that can mega evolve, and so far we only have one that can. So I thought having an Agron would be cool, don't you think? I say we let our viewers decide if we should keep that Aaron, but we seriously got to stop catching Pokemon. Joe, let's take a break for a bit and just take on Brawly. Brawly always gave me so much trouble when I first played through Ruby and Sapphire, boys. I never used a Talo because it's probably my least favorite of the birds. But I wish I did now. It would have saved me so much time. Yeah, he gave me trouble too, but now with our Axu, we shall conquer Obama. And level 24 seems like a decent level to be at this point. Joe, especially since these gym battles are much more difficult, but he's leading off with my chop. So what you gonna do? Dragon Rage will come in clutch here. Donald and I also have Slash too. We could keep Slash for the whole game. To be honest, Joe, it's so useful. God, I hate Metatite so much. I guess it comes from Maylene's one, and in Renegade Platinum, it's even worse. We should do a playthrough of that too one day, by the way, boys. Hmm, I don't know, Obama. That's a really difficult game, and I am still getting used to Pokemon. So maybe after we beat White Version, we could play that one. Holy hell, we survived a critical hit from an Aura Sphere, boys, that was lucky. Yeah, and he died to our critical hit with Slash. We are so slaying in this gym, Joe, well done. Oh, Scraggy, I love Scraggy so much. Well, your love just dropped our attack, Joe, so don't mess this up. And by the way, I am still down to using a Scrafty on our team in Pokemon White, or this game, I love it so much. Me too, Donald. However, that piece of its skin it's holding reminds me of something, and it's very disturbing to me the more I think about it. Once again, Joe, stop trying to get us demonetized, and this little shit keeps using Drain Punch on us. Just kill it already. I did Obama, but it's not my fault if it keeps healing itself, is it? Oh, now a Ponchum. This Pokemon reminds me of the Ursaring Line Boys. They are basically the same Pokemon, except Pangrowth always has a blunt in its mouth for some reason. Jesus, Donald, it's a leaf. Not a blunt. Why would Pangrowth be puffing some hash anyway? Because he's always angry Obama and Joe, it's Brawly's final Pokemon. So let's end this quick. 
This Pokemon doesn't look like me either before you say anything to you, goon. Nah, Donald Hariyama is strong and fit whilst being fat. You're just fat LMAO, and boys, this thing is built like a tank. Use some more slash attacks, Joe, and see if you get a critical, otherwise spam Dragon Rage and hope for the best LMAO. How is SmackDown doing so much damage, though, and I will have to keep healing? Oh shit, nice, Joe, you got that critical. I think SmackDown also does more damage based on the user's weight. So since this guy's a chonky bastard, it would do more damage, although I might be confusing that with another move. Either way, nice stuff there, Joe. We got the W and now can head towards Slateport. And by the way, guys want to know something really cool? You're going to tell us anyway, Obama, so just out with it. It's called building suspense, Donald, but anyway, when we get surf and start surfing around Slateport City, we have a chance to find level 50 Fayonet around and about. Oh, you mean Manaphy's pre-evolution Obama? Isn't that Pokemon basically a legendary or something? That's right, Joe, and they all just swim about in the ocean around Slateport, but I don't feel like using one since I don't think they're very good. I don't even think they classify as a legendary Obama, but anyway, boys, how about we end this episode here, and in the next one, we can do all the Team Magma stuff in Slateport? One second, Donald, we need to meet Steven and give him that letter, and I think he's checking out some ancient murals of Joe in this cave. So funny, Obama, but that big angry monster looks more like Donald, thank you very much. And that big angry monster is Groot and Joe, so I'll take that as a compliment, LMAO. And you can be Kai Ogre because all it does is sleep in an ocean trench all the time. And I can be the almighty Rayquaza because all I do is spend my life stopping you two from fighting. Yeah, nah, Obama, sorry, but there is no way we are letting you be that powerful over us. I think it's only fair because I served two terms and you both only served one and that fits in with Rayquaza because he can hold an item as well as Mega Evolve, which is basically two terms, whilst... Grodon and Kai Ogre can only hold one item, causing them to primal reverge, so that's the same as one term. Obama, what in the actual fuck are you talking about? Yeah, the fact that Joe had to ask you that Obama speaks volumes. So on that note, how about we actually end this episode here, boys? Thanks for watching, everyone, and please remember to like and subscribe and stay tuned uh, for more of our content. All right, hey everyone, and welcome back to the Hoenn region. It's been a while since we've been here, but now it's my turn to play and become the champion. Hello everyone, I missed you. Since the other two have had more playtime than me. And since I am the best president, I deserve to be champion, right boys? Yeah, sure thing, Obama. I think that's only fair now. But if you start playing like a donkey on mushrooms, then I will be taking the controller off you since this game is one of my favorite ones ever. Donald, I'm better than even you, you dumbass. And also, I just have a PSA reminder to give the lovely people watching this video. This game isn't technically Pokemon Omega Ruby. It's a ROM hack called Pokemon Rising Ruby by the amazing Drayano. And it includes all Pokemon up to 721 in the Pokedex, which I think is up to Gen 6, basically. So that's why you will see lots of different Pokemon not native to Hoenn as we play. Oh, for God's sake, Obama. I thought we had dealt with Emolga enough when we played Pokemon White, but look, it's come back to haunt us, the fucking squirrel shit. Well, Donald, the next gym leader is Watson, and he uses electric types, so expect to see more of those dumb Pokemon, but I agree, I also had enough of that flying, jaundice colored squirrel in Pokemon White. All right, this trainer is really pissing me off, boys. She has a citrus berry on every Pokemon in her team, and then on top of that, she just has to use a healing move as well to further piss us off. This is what I'm saying, Obama, electric types have given us the most grief, and this battle right here is just further proving my point. And it's just wonderful, the next gym has to be electric too, doesn't it? Well, other than Amolga, I'm really looking forward to seeing a large variety of Pokemon again, Donald, because the last three games we played only had Pokemon native to those regions, so this already feels very refreshing again. Obama, you pansy, Deden is a fairy type, remember, as well as electric, so Dragon ain't gonna work, is it? That's your strike one right there, bro. Fuck you, Donald. I'm not some preschooler who needs to sit in the naughty corner if I make a mistake, and I'm also not in a baseball game either. Oh, wonderful. Now this mouse thing has an Oren Berry to restore its health. This is the first battle we're doing in this game after so long, and it's already hell, boys. Yeah, and our Exu isn't exactly the strongest right now, is it? But I think it will learn Dragon Claw soon, though, boys, and we still have two spaces in our party left. So what should we do about that? Well, Donald, I actually will add a link in the description for our viewers to check out which shows where all the available Pokemon in this game are located. And if any of their favorites are there, then they can leave a comment with its location and the Pokemon they want us to use. Yeah, I just want to say, I was the one who found that website, which you didn't give me any credit for, Obama, by the way. But anyway, 
If you hover over the Pokemon, you can see the route they are located on in the Hoenn region. It's a really cool sight. All right, Joe, we shall leave the last two Pokemon in our team up to our viewers. And whilst you're all there, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe. We recently hit 2,000 subs, so thank you to everyone for all the support. Yeah, thank you to you all for the support, guys. It means a lot to us. But anyway, I finally beat that stupid trainer boys with her dumb team of electric types, and we actually have a serious battle with May coming up now, and this battle has gone down in history as being quite difficult. Yeah, leave a comment down below if you struggled with this battle with May coming up back in the original games. I will come out and be honest and open with everyone that I, Donald J. Trump, have. In fact, watch Joe get absolutely creamed by her LMFAO. Donald, shut your front door. You also lost to her when I couldn't beat her, so don't go around spreading rumors that I'm some shit Pokemon trainer when we both lost. Well, I'm actually feeling quite confident, boys, since our team is pretty solid and our Duotion is just extremely powerful, too. Because it's and named after me. And I think like me. Chandelure in our Pokemon White playthrough, it will be the MVP of this playthrough. Donald naming something after you doesn't automatically make it powerful. That Duotion special attack is already so high, and having Psy Strike on it makes it even more OP. I think that move will carry us all the way to the champion battle with Steven Boys. Yeah, and if you haven't noticed, I'm not using it so much, just so our other members get a chance to battle. And also, most of them are getting close to evolving now as well. Well, we do have the experience share Obama, so if I was playing, I would just use myself against everything and slay. Hey boys, I have a question. Joe, you don't need to tell us you have a question and then proceed to not say anything you know. It's so annoying when you do that. Okay, well, I had a question regarding if we actually get to keep the Latios in our party. Because I know we get to fly around on it, but if we get to keep it, then we only need one more Pokemon for our final team. Fuck off, Joe. We ain't using Latios. We will be using Latios if we do, in fact, get the chance to use those legendary Pokemon. Donald, you are being childish now. You only want to use Latias because it's red like your Republicans, dumbass. Yeah, and Joe only wants to use Latios because it's blue like you Democrats, so how is that fair? Donald, first of all, stop politicizing Latios and Latias, and second of all, since we are playing Omega Ruby. We only get the chance to catch Latios anyway. If we were playing Alpha Sapphire, then we could catch Latias. Either way, I think that's a good idea, Joe, because Latios is goaded, and I didn't want to use Groudon in this playthrough anyway. I was going to say Obama, even though Groudon is red, and obviously red is my favorite color, I don't particularly want to use it either. Even though we have a habit of using each box legendary in each game we've played. Actually, Donald, I kind of wanted to use Rayquaza, but we only get it after the post game. Rayquaza would be so OP to use boys because with Dragon Ascent, we could give it a life orb and then we would destroy everything. OMG, boys, I just realized something. If every Pokemon is available in this game, that means Arceus is in Hoenn too. Oh, dear God. I think you mean, oh dear, Arceus Obama, but yeah, I was waiting to see how long Donald would take to realize it would be in this game, and we won't be able to use it anyway for a long time, Donald. Yeah, I just checked that website, Joe, and apparently all the legendary Pokemon are in this Mirage Mountain place. I have no idea what that is, but we need to go there right fucking now! Dear God, Donald, did you eat a 10-year-old's voice box or something, LMFAO? But yeah, we won't be able to go to the Mirage Mountain for ages, but... It would have been cool if they left the Hoopa Rings in this game, since this is a ROM hack. I think they've been removed for the Mirage Mountain. Before that, Obama, check it, boys. We've made it to Malville City, and this newer version of this place is so much cooler than the city in the original games. There's so much to explore here, but for now, we should aim for the gym. And we also have a battle with Wally, too. Yeah, if there are any cool places in Mobile City we missed, then please leave a comment down below about it and we can come back and check it out before we head into the routes up north. But first I want to get myself a mock bike, guys, so I can zoom all around Hoenn like I'm Maverick in that Dark Star. The acro bike is cool for tricks and stuff, but the mock bike is just the best. Well, we're all getting old now, Obama, so the only enjoyment when it comes to riding a bike is now virtually on games. I mean, if I fell off one, I'd probably break a bone, don't you think, guys? Nah, Donald, you'd just bounce on the floor. LMAO. But anyway, Obama, let's see what Pokemon Wally has now, and I'm expecting a slightly stronger team of his. Eventually, he'll even have a Gallade like we did in our Pokemon Platinum playthrough. He'll be a walk in the park for us boys because we have Duotion. But I want to use this chance to do some more training with Axew. I want it to evolve into Fracture before the next gym. This battle seems to be a confidence test for Wally Obama. 
He wants to battle us and win so he can prove to himself he'd fit to go on a journey which is kind of like Bianca, but I'd take Wally any day over that crazy freak from Unova. Wally is one cool rival though, Donald. I'd say he's slightly less cool than Charon because he used to give us free items, which was nice. And by the way, I think it's basically confirmed the next remakes are gonna be in Unova Boys. Okay, well, he just took out our Axe, you guys, which is just a joke, to be honest. But anyway, looks like Emma have to bring out the Big D and sweep his entire peasant team. The Big D being our duotion, in case anyone was having dirty thoughts, you dirty-minded children, Omao. Yeah, so now Wally can go lose and go back to Verdanturf Town and cry in his little room all by himself, knowing that he is and always will be useless. That's a bit mean, Donald. And look, guys, in this game, he has a jibble. Now that takes me back to our one who probably went through an identity crisis with the amount of times you two kept changing its name in our Pokemon Platinum playthrough El Mal. Yeah, well, you can blame Joe for that, Obama. The fucking idiot decided to name it Pansy, of all things, and then he had a go at me for changing its name back. The audacity of that was just top-tier IMO. Yeah, but that was pretty funny, Donald, and I had a good chuckle, El Mal. And anyway, we made up, and then in Pokemon White, we were bestie for resties. So I'm hoping we can become close again, Donnie. Well, I just taught Future Sight to do Ocean Guys. Not that we will probably need it, but it could be a move I could pull off using one of my cosmic strats later on. I say we swap some moves out for better ghost-type moves, Obama, since we have Nightshade. But if Duotion can learn Shadow Ball, then I would recommend that. Duotion just needs Psychic Joe, and then we pump him up with those PP maxes, and with that, everything Duotion sees will just die. Except Arceus, of course. By the time this series is over, Donald, I bet you'll be simping over Duotion and its final evolution, just like you did with Chandelure. Nah, Obama Chandelure will always be the top goat, but Reuniclus will be a close third place right there. Yeah, we'll see about that, Donald LML. But anyway, boys, I have basically cleaned this battle up. As usual, none of our rivals provide us with any challenge, and I expect this is how it will continue to be in this game going forward as well. Except for when Bianca destroyed us in our first ever battle when we played Pokemon White Obama. I can't believe we lost that battle to Bianca, of all people. Joe, you said we in that last sentence of yours twice, and I just want to say it was you who lost to Bianca, you fucking goon. Yeah, I've been quite nice to you, Joe, the last few weeks, and we'll have your back if something bad were to happen to you, but I don't want to be associated with your loss to Bianca, thanks very much. OMG, Wally was about to ask us to be his boyfriend, guys. Donald, you idiot. He was going to ask us to be his rival since he wants friends and is lonely and sad, kind of like you, El Mau Mau. Wally's dad is saying we should stop by their house in Verdanturf Town, boys, so we could do that after sorting everything out in Moville City. But anyway, now it's time to take on the gym, and this will be our third gym badge. All right, we will need a HM slave for that rock smash Obama, so go find one after we leave this place. You better not teach any of our Pokemon a shit move like that. Listen here, Donnie. Just because you're a champion doesn't mean you get to start dishing out orders to me. There is a hierarchy here for a reason, and you, my friend, are below me. Don't worry, Donald, if you want, you can have my place in this hierarchy. I don't mind being at the bottom. Joe, what the fuck are you on about? Did you seriously forget that you were always below me? But anyway, thanks for saying I could have your place, I guess. I could be nicer about this situation. Just for that, Joe, you can be on the temporary bestie for Resty's list with me, and depending on how you treat me, I shall decide whether or not to move you to the permanent list. Yeah, I would just like to say that these battles are really annoying guys. Each trainer has like three Pokemon each, which is just unnecessary if you ask me. Yeah, but check it out, Obama. Our cute little Axe who just learnt Dragon Claw finally. Getting rid of Dual Chop was the best way to go. And if any of our viewers has any move sets that you think will be good for our Haxorus when the time comes for it to evolve, then please let us know in the comments down below. Well, Dragon Rush and Dragon Pulse are two moves I love, Donald, but I say we go more for the physical moves on Haxorus. I haven't used one so much to know the best move sets for it, though, so I'm sure some of our viewers will have better advice for us. Oh, look, Obama, it's one of your favorite Pokemon Tynamo, the cute little sperm, LMAO. And I was checking that guide, and if you want one, we could get it from the new Malville place, but we'll need Surf to get there, so I suggest we get a strong water-type Pokemon, too. Thanks for the info, Joe, but I want to save Tynamo for when we play Pokemon Black and White 2 later. And for the water-type, I was thinking of using Melodic, since we haven't yet. But I forgot we're leaving the last two options to our viewers. Oh, look, guys, it's a Blitzel. This makes me miss our one who carried us through Pokemon White. 
I wonder how our team is doing now. Well, how about we go revisit each of our teams, Donald, when we have beaten all the Pokemon games, if that ever happens. It will be fun to go and reminisce about our journeys with each member. Yeah, we could do that if you're still alive by then, Joe L. Mao. At least Donnie will have an internet connection when he's in prison, but I don't think that's possible beyond the grave. You know, boys, we haven't had the chance to use an evolution yet, and if we do, it would have to be an Umbrian and a shiny one at that. In our next game, I say we try use one and find one too. Umbrian is the best evolution. Yeah, but no one has still explained the joke about Vaporean to me, and whenever I Google it, I get blocked because Jill has set up parental controls on my Chrome browser, so I suspect it must be something very distressing. Yeah, distressing is one word to describe that Joel Mao, but I'm still not telling you otherwise. We will get majorly banned on probably the whole internet. But anyway, Obama, I think that was the last trainer in the gym. And now it's time to take on Watson. And if he has an Emolga too, I swear to God, I'm leaving. I'm... Well, remember, Donald, the teams of everyone, including the gym leaders, are different in this game. And they also have full teams of six Pokemon now to make the game more challenging. So I wouldn't be surprised if he had an Emolga. But I agree, if he has one, I will join you and leave too, because fuck that Pokemon. All right, well, his first Pokemon is Electrode, guys. And this Pokemon isn't exactly threatening, so I think we should be okay here. Yeah, except these things tend to go full Kamikaze Joe and use Explosion, so if that happens, he could sweep our team. Nope, instead he's gonna do what Elisa did and use Volt Switch over and over Donald, which is just as annoying, if not more, than using Explosion. It's such a cheap move. Oh cool, he has a Luxio. If we play Brilliant Diamond Boys, we are so using one. It would be so cool to use a Luxray again. It's certainly a cool Pokemon to use Joe, but look how quickly I took it out, El Mao. Since we got Dragon Claw, our Axu is a Demon Slayer. All right, and now he's sending out his Ace Obama. But you know, since this a ROM hack and meant to be challenging, he should have evolved his Magneton into a Magnezone instead. It's been a long time since I battled or even used one of those. Well, this may be considered a risky strat, but I think using our Firebird here will be able to deal with this Magneton, and I hope it doesn't use Shockwave or Thunderbolt OMG, or something. OMG, the fucking thing is sturdy. My only plan for dealing with this Pokemon was to use fire. Joe, I thought I told you to pass a new law stating that Sturdy was to be banned forever. I swear to God, if I don't see you writing a strongly worded email to Game Freak right now saying if they don't ban Sturdy, you will give the entire country of Japan the silent treatment. Already on it, Donald. I'm getting PTSD from when we had to battle Marshall of the Unova Elite Four with his sock who had Sturdy too. This ability is so broken and seriously. Yeah, I just want to interject here and say that it's not actually a broken ability, boys. It's more of an inconvenience, if anything. But I agree that it still should be banned, Joe, so get on with writing that email. Why the hell is Watson not using fully evolved Pokemon, guys? First he had a Luxio, and now he has a Flaffy when he could have had an Ampharos to use instead. This was meant to be more challenging. Well, Donald, this is only the third gym battle in the game, so you can't expect him to use a fully evolved team just yet. But as we go up the gym badges, I think each trainer will have more and more fully evolved Pokemon for us to battle. Oh, cool guys, Watson has a Rotom. I love this little guy. I would rather use this if we play Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Joe instead of Luxray since everyone uses Luxray. And then we can turn it into a Wash Rotom or Fan One. I can't remember which one is better. It's used in competitive battles a lot, Obama, because it's so cool and strong and has amazing moves and strats that can be utilized. I thought it was used in competitive battles a lot because everyone thought it was so cute, Donald. Yeah, well, you would think that, Joe, you dumbass. And come on, Obama, I thought you would have this battle wrapped up by now. I have things to do and places to be today, you know? Donnie, shut the fuck up, bro. When you played through Pokemon White, you didn't have gym leader battles that were against six Pokemon, unlike what I'm dealing with in this game. Yeah, Obama does have it a lot tougher than we did Donald. Plus, the Elite Four and Champion battles will be way tougher, too, since we don't know what Pokémon they will have now. And I don't want to check beforehand, as it will be fun to get surprised and see what teams everyone has. Well, Obama just got our Duotion killed Joe, so that better be, because these battles are tougher and not just because he's a shit Pokémon trainer. You actually got our strongest Pokémon killed, what the actual hell, Obama? Says the person who got Zekrom killed a billion times Donald. At least I can use legendary Pokemon properly, which you will see later on. We can catch every legendary in this game, 
And just to rub it in your face more, I will catch a shiny green Zekrom El Mao. Just shut your mouth and beat Watson Obama. He's on his last Pokemon now, thank God. I kind of want to change some of our team around, guys, because the plan was to have a full team of Pokemon that could mega evolve, remember? And this game will be our only chance to do that in. Yeah, we could potentially do some swapping around later, Joe, if you want. And by the way, we could in fact find Marsh Stomp on Route 18, and we could then get a Combuskin too, so we could use all the Hoenn starters. Oh, that's such a good idea, Obama. I'm so down for doing that. Using all three starters is something we will never be able to do in the other games, so it will be a unique experience for us. Well, we can catch Marsh Tomp to the east of Malville Boys, so we could do that in the next episode, and then we will just need the Mega Evolution Stones for them. But we will need a replacement for our Talon Flame too. I think off screen we can do some hunting as well and see what's available for the sake of time, otherwise we won't make any progress in these videos if we just spend it walking around looking for one Pokemon. But anyway, boys, I beat Watson and got our third gym badge and you two didn't even congratulate me. Yeah, good idea, Obama. And by the way, you do realize you just walked all the way around Moville City when you could have just walked straight down from the gym to get to the Pokemon Center, LMAO. Yes, Joe, thank you for that astute observation of yours. Not that I asked, but anyway, Boys, that basically wraps up everything to do in Mobile City for now. There may be some things we missed to do here, but like I said earlier, we can come back later and do them. Oh look, it seems Team Magma is still here lurking about planning some evil deeds. Why don't you just fight them all now, Obama? With Duocean, they'd get obliterated LMAO. Donald, I can't do that, dumbass. But anyway, guys, I say we end this episode here, and in the next one, we shall head north. So thank you for watching everyone and please hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. All right, hey everyone, and welcome back to the show all about yours truly, Donald J. Trump. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, then please consider hitting that like button and subscribe and I will give each of you a small loan of a million dollars with 100% interest. What in the actual fuck was that intro, Donald? I am never agreeing to let you do one of them again, Jesus Christ. Yeah, what the hell was that, Donnie? That, my friends, was the best intro ever. All right, everyone, please hit the like and subscribe button if you actually enjoyed the video. Not because of Donald's ridiculous claims, but anyway, we did a few things off screen and received a number of Pokemon suggestions, and it seems a lot of you checked out that website I added in the video description of our last video. Yeah, and actually the most common request we got was for a Tyrant, which we also love, and so we decided to add one to our team as well as a Charmeleon for our fire type and a Froakie for our water type. Yeah, and I forgot Tyrant was available in this game, boys, and it's such an awesome Pokemon. And we went with Froakie too, since it's one of the coolest water types. And we thought it would be fun to have the starter Pokemon from different regions, since they're all available in this game. And as you can see here, we have two of our newest Pokemon. And we had to do some training off screen due to the fact that we have lots of videos to make as well as other things to do in our real lives. So for the sake of time, we felt it would be better to get our new Pokemon to roughly the same level as our team. Except for Tyrant, which we will train up with you all since it seems to be the fan favorite. Yeah, thanks for the explanation, Joe. And also, I think we shouldn't evolve our Pokemon just yet, boys. Since they're about to evolve soon and we haven't let our viewers see them much, we should evolve them a few levels after level 36. Good idea, Donald, and that will also let us get a closer bond with them. Joe, you are so sad sometimes, seriously, bro. How does me getting attached to our Pokemon make me the sad one, Donald? If anything, you're the sad one for not having any affection. Joe, you're getting attached to a bunch of polygons in the shape of a lizard and a frog, LML. Blah, 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 blah. And blah, apparently blah. I'm the sad one. And was that really necessary too? Joe, we have a lot of growing up to do, don't we? Well, how about we get back to this battle, boys, which is with Gabby and Ty, who are news reporters. And after this battle with her Donald, I get to be on the TV. Because they know I'm such a good Pokemon trainer. Wait, what the hell do you mean you get to be on the TV, Obama? Why was I never on the TV when I played? Well, after I win this battle, they will broadcast what I tell them on any TV in the Hoenn region, LMAO. And the reason why you weren't on TV, Donald, is because if they decided to interview you, you'd break the camera lens with your ugly face. All right, holy hell, Obama, that was very uncalled for, wasn't it? And by the way, guys, after this battle, I think our Axu is finally gonna evolve. Yeah, finally, I was actually getting sick of looking at that Axu. It got so boring and old to look at, and it's about time it evolved and made a change. Joe, what in the actual hell? 
Yeah, Joe, what the fuck, bro? How dare you say all that to Axu? You know Obama and I get sick of you and want you to make a change from your creepy and sleepy Joe ways, but you never do. And do we complain about it? Well, yeah, actually, you both do complain about it, Donald. Whatever, Joe, that's not the point. The point is, you were being very mean and rude to our Axu, and when it grows up into a Haxorus, I will make it blast you with a dragon pulse. Oh, what the heck, guys, check it out. A double evolution. I hope Gabby and Ty are filming this shit. This is definitely newsworthy content right here. Yay! Two right boys that absolutely deserves a yay. I'm so goaded as a Pokemon trainer that I got two of ours to evolve at once. This is the promise of a luminous future for me, now I can tell. Wow, Obama, you spent so much time with me that my ego is rubbing off against your one Elmau. Um, guys, what is this place? The game is not letting us go in any further. We have a broken game, boys. Time to return it to GameStop. Joe, you dumbass, it's not broken. We need the go-go goggles before we can enter the desert resort, which doesn't make any sense anyway, because in Unova, we didn't need any goggles to enter the desert there. Okay, well, Obama, why don't you go go get them? <laughs> Only an idiot would laugh at their own joke, Joe. And we won't get them for a while anyway. We need to beat Flannery before we can, and then May will give it to us. And look, she gave us the HM for strength. But I don't think this HM is actually needed in this game to beat it. Oh, check it out. It's the secret base dude, Obama. Wait, I don't get it? Why is the camera slowly panning up from this guy's crotch? And what is this secret base stuff about, too? Jesus Christ, Joe. I swear I'm gonna edit the Urban Dictionary synonyms for moron, idiot, and dumbass to include your name, too. I hope they have enough storage in their database for the amount of words I could include in your edit, Obama. We may crash their systems, LMAO. Instead of teasing me now, why can't you both explain to me what the hell is going on and then tease me afterwards? All right, fine, Joe. This is one of the features introduced in the original Gen 3 games, and it's a fan favorite where we basically get to build secret bases all over Hoenn and put stuff in them, and that's about it, really. Yeah, basically what Donald just said, Joe, but we can also display stuff and play Capture the Flag, too, and set traps and all that cool stuff. But no one really plays this anymore, so we won't be able to do the mini games. However, they introduced this feature in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, so we could potentially check it out on those games later on. Okay, well... Why couldn't you explain it to me like that in the beginning, Obama, instead of threatening to immortalize me on the Urban Dictionary first? Because, Joe, it's funny, and also some of the things you say sometimes are just ridiculous, and you need to be told it's ridiculous. And that has to be in the form of taking the piss out of me, does it? Well, if you're asking me that, Joe, then you really are an idiot, and I wasn't threatening you earlier either. I am, in fact, going to do that. Yes, I concur, Obama. But anyway, now we have the TM for secret power, which means we can teach that move to a Ninkata or something, and then build bases. I say we build a nuclear bunker for ourselves, boys. Oh, hell yeah, Donald. We absolutely need to build a nuclear bunker. As presidents, it's only fitting we do that, but that means we need to find the perfect place in Hoenn. And I don't think that tree is a good place since, well, it's a tree, and I think it would get destroyed by a nuke. And that base isn't very secret either, is it? But I do know of one cool place, Joe, that's very secret, which we can build our bunker at, but it will be a long time before we can get to it. Yeah, and we can hide in that bunker whilst Team Magma and Groudon destroy the world. What a brilliant strat that is, and that's exactly what we'd do if Earth got destroyed, isn't it, Elmau? Yeah, I would be super scared, Donald, so I'd just hide for months and months until it's safe. Joe, you would just hibernate like a fucking polar bear. LML Obama that made me chuckle. Also, I noticed you haven't evolved our Frogadier yet, too. Why haven't you done that yet? Well, Donald, it's because I thought we should spend more time with our Pokemon in its second stage, since we didn't do that much when it was in its first stage. But I think by the end of this battle, I will evolve it, since Greninja is just goated. You know, something I've noticed, boys, is that the routes in this game are way longer than the others. Like in Sinnoh, we get to a city every 10 minutes or so, but in this game, all the towns and cities are so far apart. Yeah, that's a good observation you made, Joe, but I think the stretch we are in right now is actually the longest part of the game. And the next city literally has nothing to do in it. The next city is Fall Arbor Town, Donald. And there is a contest hall there if you want to dress up and do that LMO. Haha, <laughs> so funny, Obama. Well, if it makes you feel better, Obama, I really liked your joke. Thanks, Joe, I feel even worse now. Damn, Obama, this Levani gave you a lot of trouble, didn't it? You could have ended this battle way faster if you used our Charmeleon. That reminds me, Donald, that I wanted to ask our viewers for nickname suggestions like 
we usually do. So please, would you all leave some comments down below for our soon-to-be Greninja, Charizard, and Tyrantrum. I can't remember where the name raider is in this game, but I'll look that up later. Oh shit, boys, we are finally getting Reuniclus. We are officially unstoppable. This thing looks so weird, guys, up close. Reuniclus, with its green, gelatinous body and tiny arms, looks like a lime-flavored gummy bear that decided to go to the gym and only worked out its arms. Yeah, and now the gummy bear is gonna learn energy ball, boys. This thing is just gonna be our powerhouse. I am so glad we caught it way back when, in the beginning of the game. Obama, you forgot to evolve Frogadier in the last battle, you moron. By the time this little shit is lost, I expect you to have got our Greninja, and I just wanna say it would have been even cooler if you got us an Ash Greninja. I actually do have an Ash Greninja in my Pokemon home storage, Donald, but we can't use it in this game because it's a special event Pokemon, and I doubt many people have it actually except me, which just should show you all even more how goaded I really am. You know, Obama, it's actually really annoying how you're continuously going on about yourself all the time now. In this episode, you have called yourself the GOAT like three times already. In my view, Obama is the GOAT. And I want to make him my bestie for Resty now, instead of you, Donald, since you basically disowned me. Nah, Joe, I can't have you and this ego-fueled Obama ganging up on me, bro. You can officially be my bestie for Resty now again. Oh, yay! Joe, your IQ is seriously negative, you know. How dumb do you have to be to fall for what Donald is doing? And I thought you were the smart one after that stunt you pulled in our Pokemon White playthrough. Well, you never said we could be besties, Obama. I don't just want friends, I want best friends. And since I only have two friends in the whole entire world, one of you has to at least be my BFF. Joe, we can talk about this later because look, we finally have the GOAT of all the starter Pokemon. Greninja is just the best starter. I thought you liked Typhlosion, Donald. In my opinion, Typhlosion is the best. Oh yeah, I forgot about Typhlosion Obama. Well, he's also the best starter Pokemon too. Donald, you can only have one best of something you know. It's like saying you and I were the best presidents. Well, we all know who the best was out of us too, Joe. I did way more stuff than you did when I was President LMAO. Before another argument starts, why don't we see what's going on around here, boys? I just met up with Lynette, who runs the PC boxes, and she told us to come visit her at her house on Route 114, I think. Well, there is nothing else to do here apart from go see that fossil maniac guy if you wanted to, Obama. We can get all the fossils we need from Rustboro, though Donald, like we did with our tyrant. Plus, we have to continue with the story and head towards Meteor Falls since this part of the game is more dead than me. Actually, first we have to go save Professor Cosmo, or whatever this guy's name is. Some of you may not be old enough to remember the Ruby and Sapphire anime series, but Professor Cosmo was in it. I remember that series, Obama. It was so good and they carried it on for so many years. So basically, this idiot professor got himself lost and we need to be the hero and save him. Can't we just like you know not do that, Obama? We have to beat the rest of the gyms and take on the champion. This professor clearly shouldn't be a professor if he is this stupid. Donald, we have to save him. We don't have a choice. And as you're about to see, he is actually involved with some important people. But I agree, he is still an idiot. Oh yeah, something we did just now was turn off the experience share, as we felt it was making the game too easy since our team is already quite strong. So Donald and I felt Obama was having an easier time than we did when we played since he has less work to do than us. Yeah, and I'm not happy about this, Joe. If it's in the game, then why can't I use it? And it's not making the game easy if you two idiots had to do more training than me. It's called working smarter than harder. Yeah, 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 Obama. You're just lazy, but you won't admit it. Donald, let's be honest here. If you were playing this game, you'd either lie and say you turned the experience share off when you actually had an or. You'd just get Joe to do all the training and claim you did it all. And when he chimes in saying it was him, you just tell him to shut the fuck up. Wow, he got that down to a nail, Donald. That's exactly what you would do, LMFAO. Obama, just shut the fuck up yourself. You don't know me. Why don't we enjoy the fact our Charmeleon is evolving, boys? And we can get a Mega Stone for our Charizard to make it look even cooler. I think the Y version is the best. Joe, you must be demented to think the Y version of Charizard is the best. Obviously, the X version is the best, and the designers knew exactly what they were doing when they were making the two versions. They made one better than the other for a reason. Yeah, and I mean, that one change probably affected which version of the game people bought, even though Eveltal is way cooler looking than Xerneas. 
But since I was young boy back in the old days, I would pick the Pokemon game based off which legendary Pokemon was cooler. Leave a comment down below if you also did the same thing. Not gonna lie, Obama, I also did that too, LML. But now it doesn't really matter since all these new legendaries have been garbage in my opinion. I mean, take Sword and Shield, those doggos may be cute, but that's about it, and they barely have any lore or backstory these days either. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with my bestie Obama on that point. He just made these new legendaries are just thrown into the game and literally have no story. I felt that was one of the main reasons which made them legendary to begin with. They had this mysterious aspect to them, like Ho-Oh, for example, and the Tin Tower burning down in Johto, and even the goat Arceus being born from an egg and shaping everything. Hell, even fucking Manaphy had a backstory. Wow, Donald, that rant was even longer than your usual ones, bro. I didn't know you were so passionate about all this stuff. Obama, when I really care about something, and I mean like really care about something, but then it goes to shit, I will make my stance and opinion heard because my opinion carries a lot of weight. Like your if tummy. You didn't know and shut up, Joe. Right, okay then. Anyway, boys, look, I made it to the Meteor Falls and I don't know why, but this place reminds me of like a huge cheese for some reason. Yeah, maybe this place was made by a bunch of mill tank Obama. Joe, I love the way you go from sounding normal to suddenly sounding like an absolute moron in a span of about three seconds. That's what he would put in his Tinder bio, Obama El Mayo. Donald, unlike you, I am a happily married man who loves my other human partner person very much. And that's the end of it. He's such a dumbass Obama. I mean, what is even the point of Joe, seriously? I don't know, Donald. Probably to help us improve our patience, but anyway. Back to more important things. We have a double battle to do with one of Team Magma's admins. And some random grunt. And this battle is going to be way tougher than the original games, I can tell. Well, we have no idea what they will use Obama, which I think is just exciting. It will keep you on your toes, because for all we know, they could bring out a Suicune or something. Yeah, sorry, Joe, but I find it hard to believe these two low-level team Magma people would have a Suicune on their team. And there is only one Suicune anyway, and currently he is sitting in our PC box, gathering dust in the Johto region, LMFAO. Wow, that dragon pulse by Cherizard wasn't that impressive, was it, Obama? I thought he'd release a way stronger move than that LMMAO. Yeah, not gonna lie, Obama, but if Cherizard doesn't perform up to the standards we require, then I say we hold a vote on banishing him to the Phantom Zone for 10,000 cycles or whatever they said in Man of Steel. Well, Joe, you can't talk because when do you ever perform to the standard which Donald and I require of you, you dumbass? Obama, in any activity I carry out, I always bring my A-game and my performance levels are on par with elite athletes. By elite athletes, do you mean children doing their first ever sports event at school running around with an egg and spoon, Joe? LMAO? Instead of making this whole bit about me, Donald, why don't you bring it back to Obama who just got Charizard killed by an onyx of all things? You're right, Joe. And now he has to bring out me because he knows I will be the only one to deal with these opponents because I am so powerful. That's not why, Donald, it's just the special attack on our Reuniclus is so damn high that I can't be bothered to sit in this battle any longer than I have to if it means spending less time with you two idiots today. Well, at least you taught Energy Ball to it, Obama. I love that move a lot. And other than Frenzy Plant, Solar Beam, and Petal Blizzard, it's probably the strongest Grass-type move. It's not the strongest, Donald, but accuracy-wise, it's up there for sure. I would also rather have Energy Ball than the other Grass-type moves you listed out. And wow, May has to have a Pikachu, doesn't she? Of all the Pokemon available in this game, she decides to catch that. I mean, she could have used a Melodic or used a Tyranitar, but no, she wants the cute little mouse. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if Game Freak gave Pikachu its own Mega Evolution Obama just because it's the face of the company, pretty much LMAO. Well, if they did that, Donald, I say we boycott Pokemon and go to the Tokyo Tower with our pitchforks and Pikachu effigies burning on sticks and tell them how we really feel, boys. Who's with me? If you do that, Joe, you can go do it by yourself because Donald and I are already associated with you in ways we never asked for, and that would just make it worse. I can just imagine Joe sitting outside Game Freak's office with his tent and sleeping bag holding up protest signs with people wandering past him, wondering what this idiot guy Jin is doing. El Mao! As my best friends, I thought you two would have my back, though, so I'm quite upset about this development, to be honest. I just want to say it was good to see Darmanitan being used there, boys. That's not a Pokemon we see very often, and I'm glad Drayano added one in here. I agree, Obama, but more importantly, since you switched out to me, 
We have beaten these two grunts faster than Joe can say the words ice cream, which means we've saved that idiot Cosmo professor or whatever his name is, and we can get back to the main point of this game, which is getting Obama to be champion. Wow, Donald, I never knew you cared so much as to getting me to be the champion. That was very mature of you, and you also made me feel very warm and gooey inside. Don't get your hopes up, Obama. I have ulterior motives as usual, but anyway, check it out. Team Aqua's leader, Muxi, is here, and I think he looks way more boss status than Archie. Donald, that guy is Archie, and the Magma guy is Maxi, I think. You guys are confusing me so much, so just shut it. The blue guy is Archie, and the red guy who isn't actually here right now is Maxi. Wow, and that Team Magma grunt just manhandled Professor Cosmo. What the hell? Yeah, I didn't expect to see any action like this here in the Meteor Falls, boys. This is getting good. And what's with these first-person camera point of views, too? That shot just now was the creepiest thing I've seen since Joe hoarded a bunch of outfits to give to Timmy and Tommy in Animal Crossing New Leaf. So basically, they were all after the Cosmo dude because he found a meteorite and they want to use it to catch their legendary Pokemon. Is that what's going on here, boys? Yeah, pretty much, Donald. I think that's super unfair to just ransack this poor old fellow and take his rock away from him. Well then, Joe, instead of protesting about Pikachu, why don't you protest justice for Professor Cosmo instead? An actual worthy cause to help get his rock back. I would back you. Ooh, what a wonderful idea, Donald. You truly are my bestie for resties again. I bet my ratings for 2024 would go up if I did that. All right, guys, all that shit aside, May took us back to Mauville City because both the teams are heading towards Mount Chimney where they plan to do that experiment of theirs, which means that's also going to be our next stop, too. What's funny is in the anime, Maxi was actually the good guy in the end, and he was trying to stop Archie from destroying the world with his Kyogre, but in Omega Ruby, Maxi is the bad guy, which feels weird if you know what happens in the anime. Donald, the anime isn't the be-all, end-all, and everything has to follow that for the series to make sense, you know? Obama, it does matter, so shut the fuck up, and on that note, I say we end this episode, boys. So thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed yourselves, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Whatever, Donald. But yeah, in the next episode, we'll take on Team Magma or Aqua, whichever one it is, and then head to Laverage Town and take on the Hottie Flannery for our fourth gym badge. Howdy you beautiful people, and welcome back to Pokemon Omega Ruby. Today we are going to be taking on both the 4th and 5th gyms, because I'm such a G and strong enough to take on anyone who may come my way, so please remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy the video. Joe, this is getting out of hand. Obama is slowly turning into me. I know, Donald, it's getting out of hand. What if by the end of this series, Obama grows orange hair and turns completely orange too like you? Joe, you dumbass, I was talking about his attitude, not how he might end up changing color like a chameleon. Hey boys, it's okay to be jealous of me. The only other person to take on two gyms was Hillary when we played Pokemon Heart Gold way back when, remember? Oh God, yeah, that fucking bitch. Well, it's nice to see you too, Donald. Oh my fucking God, in every game we play, Hillary just randomly spawns and I swear this is gonna be the death of me. Hey boys, I see you're taking on Team Magma now, and I also saw your Pokemon White playthrough, and somehow Donnie became the champion. Hey, hey Hillary. Hillary. Don't say hello to her, boys. She just made a really snarky comment on how I became champion of Unova through my own blood, sweat, and tears. Hey everyone, is this thing on? I just received a DM from Hillary to join you guys, and apparently Donald is having a fit. Oh my fucking God, what is this shit now? A Democrat orgy or what? Oh, excellent. The whole gang is here now. Well, welcome you two. You can join us on our Pokemon Omega Ruby journey today if you like. This is my game to play, and currently I'm on Mount Chimney taking on Team Magma. Well, this is just so cool, Obama. Love to be back with the boys and Hillary playing the greatest games ever. How have you all been? Well, not that any of you care, but I was doing really well until you two idiots showed up. Wow, this is so exciting, isn't it, Obama? I have never had so many of my friends here together all at once. Joe, if this is your definition of exciting, then I would rather get sat on by a Snorlax. Poor baby Donald is getting upset that I took away his time with his besties, did I? Well, Mal, poor baby Donald. That was funny, Hillary. Bernie, why don't you fuck off and go do something useful with your pathetic life? You couldn't even compete with me, so sit the F down and shut the fuck up. All right, Donnie, that was very unnecessary. Apologize to Bernie right now. We have a game to play, remember? Sorry, Bernie. All good, Donnie, but I'm surprised you actually listened to Hillary. And it looks like Obama has a battle with this fat admin dude now. 
OMG, you're right, Bernie. I actually just took orders from Hillary. I think I might need to find a cliff and jump off it. Donnie, be a good boy and be quiet because Obama has an important battle look. I swear I'm gonna lose it if she hangs around for this whole video, Obama. Please get rid of her. Don't worry, Donald. I actually have plans with Melania now. I just stopped by to piss you off and then leave LMAO. See you guys later. Bye, Bye Hillary. Hillary. Hey, Bernie. Okay, I know when I'm not wanted. See you guys later, too. I just joined because Hillary told me to. And once again, everything is as it should be, perfectly balanced. Well, I quite enjoyed having them both here, Donald, and you didn't need to kick Bernie out either. Actually, I invited them, Joe, because I thought it would be funny to wind Donald up a bit LMFAO, and it worked clearly. You don't understand how much PTSD I get from hearing Hillary's voice, Obama. So can we please get back to the game? I'm already feeling like throwing up. Well, all right, Donald, I had my fun for now. But anyway, we received a bunch of cool names for our Pokemon boys, but we won't be able to get to the name raider until after we get the HM for Fly. That's a straight up lie, and you know, it is Obama. You just can't be bothered to walk back to Slateport City where the name raider is. Yeah, he's right, Obama. You won't admit it that walking for you is such a chore even though you're the fittest out of the three of us. No, it's not lazy, you idiots. What's the point of me going all the way back to Slateport now when we can go there when I get the HM for fly and then we can save about 10 years of time? Oh, look, here is that Snorlax of yours, Donald. Maybe you can ask Tabitha to let it sit on you, Elmau. Joe, seriously, after the stun Obama pulled this morning, I am really not in the mood for your dumb jokes, bro. How about we just destroy this stupid thing now instead? Well, if you can see what I'm trying to do, Donald is in fact destroy this Snorlax, but it keeps using Smackdown on me, so what am I supposed to do about that? That sounds like a you problem, Obama, if you ask me. Great, and now I'm paralyzed. I thought Greninja was supposed to be fast, but it's not doing so well here, is it? From calling yourself a real G to getting our Greninja killed. That's not very G. Like, is it Obama? I swear to God, Joe, when your time on Earth is over, instead of a normal funeral, Donald and I will send you to Egypt to be mummified so the people of the future will look back on you and see what an idiot actually looked like. LMFAO Obama, that's such a great idea, but instead of burying him somewhere fancy, we can just stick him in a glass box in the middle of Central Park somewhere with a plaque next to him saying, here lies Joe Biden, the personification of an idiot. Well, if you do plan to immortalize me like that now, then at least cover up the glass box so the pigeons don't shit all over it. Don't worry, Joe, we will even provide security for your box. Getting near you will be more difficult than breaking into Fort Knox, LMAO. But anyways, I beat this moron Team Plasma admin, and now we have another battle with Maxi. Oh, there's a TM down there, Obama. And also, what genius thought it would be clever to build a bridge over a fucking active volcano made of glass, of all things? I mean, how can anyone be that stupid? Donald, this is something I could see you doing actually LMAO. Isn't this what billionaires do or people who have more money than cents? Well, actually, people are selling canned air now, Obama. So if you think I'm an idiot, what would you call the people who spend money on that shit? One sec, Joe, look. This guy has a Megastone Obama. And with his full team of six Pokemon, we don't know which Pokemon could be his Mega Evolution one. Actually, he only has five Pokemon, Donald. But anyway, you're right, he could have more than one Pokemon which could Mega Evolve, but my plan here is to one-shot his entire team so he won't have a chance to Mega Evolve. Nice setting up those toxic spikes, Obama. That is exactly what a ninja would do. Yeah, after taking out this stupid Gall Bat, the rest of his team would be easier to one-shot if I can get some extra poison damage on them, Joe. Hey, Donald, how comes you didn't employ any strats like these when you played Pokemon White? You could have pulled some sick strats like Obama just did. Joe, I am the strat. Okay, well that goal bat took way longer to beat than it should have, so I'm not sure what was going on there. And also our tyrant is so low leveled compared to these guys, so we can't even use it otherwise it will just die in three seconds. Obama, I just did you a solid bro and looked up his mega Pokemon, and I think it's his camera up, which is the same Pokemon he had in the normal version of the game. All right, thanks Donnie, and check it boys. It's Lumiere's cousin, I miss that guy so much. Hey, our one was better though, Obama. Shiny Chandelure is one of the best shiny Pokemon ever. Leave a comment down below letting us know what your favorite shiny is. Another one is definitely Shiny Rayquaza and also a G-Slash. Obama, I have a question. Why are you not switching out and only using Greninja? Well, other than the fact that his next Pokemon is going to be Houndoom, the other reason is Team Magma uses fire types. So I thought he would have a team full of them, but apparently not. 
I just want to point out, Obama, that Houndoom is the first Pokemon you've managed to one-shot El Mao. So much for that strat of yours. You know, Donald, if I asked for your opinion, then that comment would have been great. But since I didn't ask, how about you? Oh, I don't know. Shut your mouth. It's okay, Donald Bestie. I get told to shut my mouth a lot, and you get used to it eventually. Well, that's just sad, Joe. But anyway, Obama, be careful, because he might mega-evolve this Pokemon. Yeah, he can try Donald, but with our Greninja and Water Pulse, this guy is going to be the second Pokemon to witness my one-shot move, the ultimate power move. In the next episode, we should do lots of training with our tyrant Obama so that we actually get to use it. Because right now, the poor fellow is just watching his big brothers and sisters do all the battling. All right, Donald, I think we found which Pokemon would be his mega one. When this Pupitar evolves, it's going to be fun to deal with when we battle Maxi again. Well, you just one-shot that, too. Obama, and it's a ground type anyway. So going forward, I don't think Maxi is going to be a problem to deal with LML. But anyway, well done for beating him, and we have to collect the meteorite for Professor Cosmo. Justice for Professor Cosmo. That can be your slogan next year, Joe. And in this game, Maxi just gives it to us, Donald. But in the older games, you could get it back from the machine if you wanted to. I don't think many people back in the day knew you could do that. All right, everyone, we made it to Laverage Town after a long detour, thanks to Joe, because we messed up and went the wrong way. But anyway, here we are, and this has to be one of the most relaxing places in Hoenn, I think. Yeah, I love the hot springs, Donald. This place has a very Japanese vibe to it, and also that lady can give us a Pokemon egg, but in this game, I'm not sure if it's been changed or not. It could be something else. These hot springs would do me a world of good, I think, boys. My body could do with a nice long cleanse, I think. More than your body, Joe. Your mind could do with a nice long cleanse, El Mayo. But anyway, Obama, there is literally nothing to do here, so you should head to the gym prano. Donald, I don't need a running commentary from you about what I should be doing in my game, bro. You're literally being a backseat driver, you know? You know, this gym is quite interesting, boys. Because Flannery here just got promoted to gym leader since her grandpa quit. So she's new to all this, and they made her the fourth gym leader at that, too. Joe, the gyms don't actually have an order to them. It's just for the sake of the games they do, so that the player has a story to follow. And there's also a backstory to her grandpa, too. You can explain it, Donald, since you were going to start talking anyway. Wow, this girl doesn't even know what to say. She must be really nervous, or this must be her first gym battle against us. But yeah, in the anime, for you younger folks who may not have seen it, her grandpa was called Mr. Moore, and he left on a journey to write poetry like a fucking nerd, but he left Flannery here to take charge of the gym. Calling him a nerd is a bit mean, Donald, but anyway, she's leading off with the Ninetales boys, which is a wonderful Pokemon we don't get to see so much. All right, be careful, Obama. She's just set up a sunny day, which inevitably means she's gonna have Solar Beam on her team to one-shot our water types. Wow, you were actually right about something, Joe LMAO, but anyway, we have a Protein Greninja, which means it changes type depending upon which move it uses, so we should be okay. Yeah, but you have to use water types in here, Obama. Otherwise, what's the point? And if you want my suggestion, we taught Earthquake to our Charizard, so using him would actually be quite beneficial here. Well, I think we should use our little Fracture Obama since I want it to evolve into a Haxorus already. I wish it was shiny, though, because Black Haxorus is just so cool looking. Fracture isn't going to evolve for at least another 10 levels, Joe. It's a dragon type, remember? And by the way, boys, we need a discussion about a purge that's going to be carried out soon. Oh yeah, regarding which Pokemon is leaving us as we get our Latios, which is slowly coming up, I think that event happens after we beat the fifth gym, which is our dad boys. Yeah, let's beat Flannery and then talk about that because I guarantee it's going to start a fight. But anyway, Joe C, I do listen to you. Here is Fracture again to help us clean up in this gym. Well, actually, it could do pretty well here, Obama, since we got Dragon Dance. You should just spam it and then one-shot everything. That would be my strat. Donald, I wouldn't call that a strat necessarily. You're just doing what you normally do, which is brute force your way through everything and hope for the best. Well, doing that has got me this far in life, Obama, so it's clearly a perfect strat, not only for Pokemon, but for life as well. Oh shit, boy, she has a Delphox too. Was not expecting that. A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. Joe stopped quoting Emperor Palpatine, you goon, and her Delphox just got one shot anyway. Lomau, I never liked Delphox out of the three Kalos region starters. Actually, I hate the grass type one even more. Yeah, Chespin is a bit stupid in my opinion to Obama, but that means Joe would probably love it. Oh, look at Torkoal, boys. 
Flannery had one of these on her team in the OG games too, so I'm glad she kept it in this ROM hack. Torkoal is a Pokemon that doesn't get the love it deserves. That's actually a W take, Joe. Torkoal should have been one of the Pokemon to get a mega evolution instead of Beedrill or some other pointless Pokemon. Hit that like button if you love Torkoal just as much as we do. All right, Obama, she only has two Pokemon left. OMG, so Donald, will you just shut your mouth, OMG? Yeah, Donald, sorry I gotta say, bro, that Obama is the more skilled trainer than you. Joe, you can't make a statement like that yet, bro. We gotta wait until Obama gets to the Elite Four and see how well he deals with them as well as the champion. And only then can we make a decision on who the champion of the champions are. Yeah, we can crown one of us the monarch like Ash in the anime. And since there's three of us, we will have an even vote. Not gonna lie, Obama, I'm just gonna vote for myself. Yeah, I too am gonna vote for myself, Obama. Jesus Christ, boys, we all work in politics. So how well do you think voting for yourselves is gonna turn out? I say we let our viewers make the vote on who the best champion is. We can make a poll. Obama, if we do that, then Joe is just gonna rig the poll votes like he did Oh my God, the Donald, I'm not gonna fucking do that again. Um, Joe, what do you mean again? Yeah, Joe, what the hell, man? Oh, um, well done, Obama, for beating Flannery so easily. That was such an amazing and powerful battle. It brought a tear to my eye. Yeah, we are having a conversation about that later, Joe, but thanks anyway. This battle was a warm-up for the one with our dad, to be honest, since I think Norman is probably the most difficult trainer in this game. His slakings are just toxic. You know I love how May acts like our own personal taxi service in this game, boys. She just teleports to wherever we need to go next, like an Abra. It's because this game is so big, Donald, that walking all the way back to Petalburg would be a trek. And since we don't have Fly yet, it just saves us like a billion hours of time. Oh, nice, she gave us the Go Goggles Obama, which means we could go to the desert resort place now. Can we go please, please, please? We can go after we get Fly Joe because I really can't be asked to walk all the way back there again. Like you made us do in Pokemon White when you didn't bother catching a Pokemon that could learn Fly until after our seventh gym, which is just insanity if you ask me. Obama, you know how I keep going on about Arceus? Well, you keep going on about that one incident in Pokemon White, so if I stop going on about Arceus, Will you stop bitching about having to walk everywhere? Donald, if you weren't married to Melania or Stormy, you would have chosen Arceus Stormy isn't to be my your wife, bride, bro. LMFAO. Arceus wouldn't be the bride if we got married, Obama. How dare you? I, Donald J. Trump, would be the bride and my dress would be amazing. You heard it here first, everyone. Donald J. Trump is into bestiality, but anyway, boys, Obama is about to take on the fifth gym now, and this gym is super interesting, isn't it, Obama? Yeah, Joe and our dad's gym here. We get to choose which trainers we battle before we take him on. And they all have different strengths. And by that I mean some of them are more focused on accuracy. So they will use accuracy based items and moves. And there's one guy who solely focuses on using the one hit KO moves like Sheer, Cold and Fisher. So right now we are in the speed room which means this guy is going to try out speed us and get as much damage on us in his first turn. But against Donald the Psychic Gummy Bear here Nothing will outspeed us. Yeah, and on top of that, this is a normal type gym. And we don't actually have many fighting type moves to counter. So this should be an interesting battle for you, Obama with Norman. Holy hell, boys, this trainer has a low punny. I'm starting to feel very uncomfortable now. This Pokemon is a solid 10. I feel very sorry for low punny instead of being known as a really good Pokemon. It's Joe, I know exactly where you're going well. with that comment of yours, and I suggest you stop right there before you get us banned. Yeah, Joe, keep your mouth shut about that. My comment was the furthest we could go without being demonetized. And by the way, how comes you know about Lopunny, but you didn't know about Vapor Rion? Donald, stop encouraging him, and now look, I've made it to Norman. And this is one battle which really will be a challenge. And on top of all that, he's got six Pokemon, too. Look, our dad is sitting here in deep meditation, contemplating our battle and preparing his mind, body, and soul. Preparing his mind, body, and soul for the biggest loss of his life, Joe O'Mao. This place should have been a fighting type gym, and Brawly should have been the normal one, I think, boys. This dojo is perfect for fighting types, especially with that Japanese kanji symbol above Norman's head. That doesn't look like kanji Obama. Joe, no one cares about if it's kanji or not because we are starting this very serious battle now, and looks like his first Pokemon is an Ambipom. Yeah, I was about to drop some facts about this Ambipom but I literally have no idea what to say about it. So I hope I'll be able to beat it quickly with our Reuniclus. I say just use psychic type moves, Obama, since we can get that stab bonus. 
And also, Ambi Palm is a piece of shit. So don't worry, there's nothing more to say about it than that. All right, well, I had a twisted spoon on it, which just got knocked off, so our dad has already decided to play dirty. But you were right. Ambi Palm died in one hit. El Mao. No worries, Obama. He has a saws buck now, which seems to be in its spring form or whatever this is, so fire seems the best way to go. You were raving about how difficult this battle would be, Obama, and you've already one-shot two of his Pokemon so far. So what was all that complaining for then? Yeah, well, his next Pokemon is a slacking Donald, which looks a lot like you, actually. Ha ha, so funny, Obama and original, too. I don't mind being told I look like that thing since slacking is super strong and buff like me. Wow, it just took us out with one rock slide, Obama. This is where the real battle begins, boys. Yeah, I'm gonna do what I did when we battled Flannery Joe and set up a bunch of toxic spikes because Norman has another one of these Pokemon, I think. Well, he did in the original games, but maybe Dreano changed the team around a bit in this game. Norman is probably one of the very few gym leaders I would change, to be honest, Obama. At least with the Pokemon he had in the original games, but then adding some different ones is just for the extra challenge. His team was already really good before this ROM hack came out. This stupid monkey just survived a stab low kick, what the fuck? Obama, its defenses are super high, so of course it would survive one of those. And it seems there has been a bit of a level jump as well since Norman's team is much higher than what Flannery's was. All right, next is Star Raptor Obama, and this Pokemon is really strong too. What's your plan for this one? I trust in Greninja Donald and its speed and power, so it should be fine. Hang on a minute, Obama, the last move you used was a fighting type, wasn't it? OMG, Obama, you fucking dumbass. Oh shit, I forgot about protein. Well, actually, Greninja's health was so low, so it probably would have died anyway. But yeah, since we used low kick, which is a fighting type move, and protein is an ability which changes the type of our actual Pokemon depending on the move, that Star Raptor's sky attack was super effective. Donald, I didn't need another running commentary from you explaining the reason to why I got Greninja knocked out, bro. That explanation was for some of our viewers, Obama, not for you. Some of them may not know about protein, so I was giving them a professional explanation of why a flying type move was super effective to Greninja. All right, Donald, fair enough, and I revived our Charizard too, with some revives we bought earlier since I knew half our team would get sweeped in this battle, but anyway, I'm hoping we can deal with this dumb bird now. Our tyrant just got to level 33 Obama. There is no way it will be strong enough to take anything on for a while at this rate. You should do some extra training with it later. Actually, I was hoping you, bitch Biden, would do the training for me since I have um, other really, really important things to do later. You started off well, Obama, but then you went and called me bitch Biden, and now I refuse to help you. I would have helped you anyway, since you're nicer than Donald to me, but after that statement, you can do all the training yourself. LM Fayo, bitch Biden. I'm so stealing that and calling Joe that from now on, Obama, good one. Whatever, Donald, you would have come up with another name for me at some point anyway, so it makes no difference to me. But anyway, he's sending out a bouffalant now, Obama. This thing is like Tauros, but way better, and also with a better hairdo. Yeah, our dad's team here has been super varied so far, and I'm really enjoying that aspect of this ROM hack more than anything, Joe. It makes me excited to see what the other major trainers have in store for us to battle next. Why don't you focus on the battle, Obama, because you've gone and got Charizard killed twice in one battle now, which is something I never did in Pokemon White, and Joe didn't even do anything like that either. Donnie, take a chill pill, bro. Norman is on his last Pokemon now, and with that poison, I'm 100% certain that Greeny the Fracture here will smoke this bull. And that's all she wrote, boys. I'm officially stronger than my dad in Pokemon battles. Oh, yay. Wow, and the cheapskate only gave us 5,000 Poke Dollars. What the hell, man? He should have doubled that since we are his son. Even my dad gave me more money than Norman did to a virtual player. Well, congrats, Obama. You just got the fifth gym badge, which means we only have three more to go. And the next parts of the game are my favorite, as we will have access to the entirety of the east side of Hoenn now. Yeah, I guess I should also congratulate you too, Obama. Well done. And now the next gym leader is a flying type, and we have nothing super effective for that. So what's the plan? Thanks, Donnie, old boy. Well, I don't have a plan yet, but we might need to teach one of our Pokemon some electric moves, since those are always good to have. And we also get Surf now from Wally's dad here, too. So that will be the replacement for Water Pulse on our Greninja. Oh, it looks like Wally also wants to take on our dad, too, Obama. I hope he gets destroyed by Norman Elmau. Wally doesn't deserve to win. Well, he obviously does beat him, Joe, because he's our rival. But anyway, the way we need to head now is east of Malville. 
I think Obama, there's a bunch of surfing around we can do as well, like going to Seamawville and New Mauville too. Tynamo is there. I was thinking that to Donald, also we already have way too many dragon types on our team, which isn't good, so I'm thinking of swapping out Fracture for a Tynamo, actually. Boys, since we already have Tyrant. It doesn't make sense to have two dragon types. Yeah, Obama, that's a good shout, actually. It's silly to have a bunch of dragons, especially since fairy types are in this game. I agree with you both for once. But anyway, boys, I think we should end this episode here. And in the next one, we can start surfing and head towards the Weather Institute in Fortree City, too. All right, Donald. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. And we hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, then please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our content. Hey everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Omega Ruby, but not actually Omega Ruby since this is a ROM hack, but anyway, still welcome and today we are gonna... We are gonna stop right there, Obama and I don't care if Steven is here. I swear if Hillary shows up again, I am quitting the channel. Oh no, please bestie don't leave us. We are a tribe and are incomplete without you. Don't worry Donald, I haven't invited anyone today, it's just us three again. So take a chill pill and watch as we get to meet two of the cutest legendaries, Latios and Latias. All right, good, because I didn't want to quit anyway, especially when the game is just getting really good now. It's so and cute. And I want Latio so bad. With him on our team, we will slay everyone. And it can also learn Thunderbolt 2, Obama. Too right, it's cute, Joe. And it's going to fly us to one of its homes somewhere because apparently some shit is going down and it needs our help with Steven. I can't wait to fly around like this later, boys, but we only get the Eon Flute when we are at, like, the eighth fucking gym, which is so dead to me. Why can't we have it now, now, now? Donald, we don't even have fly yet. So what would the point be in getting the Eon Flute now? Joe, shut the fuck up. Okay, anyway, we have landed in this super cool island with mystical waterfalls and bushes and trees and whatnot, and I guess we have to find out what's going on with Latios. Yeah, I hope the poor little fellow is okay. We need him for the next gym with Thunderbolt. Look, here he is just at the end there, floating around, looking perfectly fine, Joe. And we need a nickname for him, boys, so drop some in the comments below, everyone. Steven is comparing his beauty with that of a Dawnstone. What a dumb analogy. He should have obviously compared his beauty to yours truly. Yeah, obviously, but anyway, this is why Latias called us here, boys. Team Magma somehow made it to this island to try catch Latios. I thought they wanted Grodon. Well, Joe, the more legendaries, the better I say. You can't go wrong with having a full team of legends on the team, can you? And it seems these guys have the right idea. Oh, cool. Look, boys, we get to do a double battle with Steven against these two morons. With him on our team, we will destroy them quicker than a quick attack. Joe, he's obviously not going to have a full team of level 70s. Is he, you dumbass? He doesn't even have his shiny Metagross on him. I would like to add that we had lots of lovely people in the comments tell us that our little tyrant evolves in the day when it's sunny, so Obama, stop playing in the middle of the night, will you, for God's sake? Yeah, well, I can change the time later, Donald, but, you know, we usually record these at, like, 2 a.m., so how about you stop bitching and instead watch me take these guys on with our souped-up team? Nice. His Medang just one shot, that Nidorina Obama. So now you gotta deal with Rapidash before it takes us out with Horn Drill. And by the way, we should use Rapidash one day, guys. It's so cool. Obama just switched to Greninja and Spam Surf because they just have fire types and then you can take out two Pokemon at once with one move. Yeah, I will do that, Donald, since Tyrant is probably gonna die here in a minute. Even though everyone likes it a lot, it's pretty shit until it evolves. Obama, if you just keep listening to my advice, then it'll be smooth sailing for you throughout the rest of this game, you know. As a champion myself, I have the receipts to back up my opinions. Yeah, well, I'm about to burn those receipts of yours, Donald, because being a champion doesn't mean anything when the game you played was way easier than what I'm playing here. This game is at least three times more difficult than Pokemon White. Obama has to battle six Pokemon in each gym battle, Donald. And you only battled six when you got to N. The Elite Four didn't even have six Pokemon the first time you battled them, LMAO. Shut up, Joe! Look, he just took my advice and took out so many Pokemon on the field here. If he continues to listen to me, it will be all sunshine and rainbows for Obama going forward. Yeah, except he's also taking out Steven's Pokemon too, Donald. He's on our team, so what is the point in that? Joe, sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good of Pokemon kind. And unfortunately, Steven here isn't performing up to par, so his punishment is execution via HM Surf. To be honest, I don't care about any of that, Joe. I just want to get through this battle as quick as possible so we can get Latios on our team and use him to slay everything that comes our way. It's not like this battle is difficult anyway, is it, Obama? And it has nothing to do with Donald's advice. 
Oh, it has everything to do with my advice, Joe, and whether or not Obama admits it. Deep down, he knows switching to Greninja was the right idea, and he has me to thanks for it. Thanks, Donald. That was actually a good call, even though I did take out most of Steven's Pokemon, too, but who cares? We won this battle, and now those two grunts can fuck back off to wherever they came from. You're most welcome, Obama bro, and now I think we get a very special gift from Steven, don't we? Oh, what gift, boys? Tell me, tell me. Joe, it's a surprise, so just wait a few moments. And we get to nickname Latios now, but we can do that again later when we get the HM for fly. And we can fly back to Slateport City. Look, this is the surprise, Joe. Latios is holding its Megastone, and technically this is surprise number one. Yeah, and now, boys, Steven is going to give us the Mega Bracelet with our very own Keystone in it. Which means Latios is the first Pokemon on our team which can Mega Evolve although I have been collecting some other stones, which you guys will see later. Oh, that's so cool, Obama. It makes me want to play this game now because you can mega evolve. This wasn't a gimmick in my opinion, since it actually added something unique and new to the game, but everything since is trash in my opinion. Sorry, Joe, you can't have a go because it's my turn to rub it in Donald's ego-fueled mind that I'm also the better Pokemon trainer than him like you are. Whatever, Obama. Just get your ass to the Weather Institute, will you please? This part of the game is so boring, in my opinion. And why the hell does some random Weather Institute have information on the ancient, legendary Pokémon? Well, Donald, let me explain that to you. It's time for lecture time with oh, Joe dear Biden. God. So I hope you're all sitting comfortably, boys and girls. One sec, Joe. I have an apology to our viewers real quick. As you may have just seen, we got our tyrant to evolve into Tyrantrum and forgot to record the whole thing which for once wasn't Joe's fault. But we are still gonna blame him anyway, so thanks to Joe, we have no footage of our cute little dinosaur evolving. For fuck's sake, Obama. Thanks to you, I forgot what I was just gonna talk about, goddammit. Oh, praise the Lord, I don't have to listen to Dr. Biden here give us a lecture on the weather of all things. Well, I could just remind him, and then I'm sure all our viewers would appreciate listening to one of his lectures. Especially those people who may not know about the lore of the legendary Pokemon Donald. No, please, Obama. I will do anything you want. I will shine your shoes and kiss your feet and wash your shadow. I will do anything. Please don't remind Joe. As fun as it would be getting you to do all that, Donald, unless you can come up with a better explanation of what these legendary Pokemon in this game did, then I shall remind Joe. Oh yeah, my lecture was going to be about the purpose of Kyogre and Grudon. For all those interested, take a seat for my one hour long lecture. OMG, Joe, I can explain the entire story in like three seconds. Once upon a time, Arceus got so bored of doing everything himself, and then since he's the goat and, well, God, he realized he could get other people to do his work for him without questioning his authority, so he made a majestic blue whale who decided to join a rock band and get a bunch of tattoos, whilst Gruden looks like a T-Rex and a lava lamp had a baby that's perpetually angry. All right, wow, didn't see that coming. Donald's lecture was way more accurate than mine, what the hell? So much for my lecturing days. All right, cool boys, I just taught Zen headbutt to Latios, so that's good. And these two grunts weren't trouble at all, except now I have to battle Tabitha again. I hate this guy so much. This guy reminds me of a panda Obama. I mean, just look at him. Except his hair, maybe, but he looks so cuddly and snuggly under that jacket. Yeah, he looks like a human Snorlax Elmau, so fluffy. Well, he has six Pokemon now, Joe, so I expect this battle to be slightly more challenging, but I do have some surprises to show you, which I hopefully will be able to in this battle. My Deanna is up first, Obama. And this is a Pokemon which I have looked down upon, but I would like to say it's growing on me, and I think it should have got a mega evolution. Yeah, and he's led off with one of the most annoying moves in the game. Swagger is so annoying, but if somehow we can ignore the confusion, then it's a free stat boosting move. Oh my fucking God. He one shot us with Iron Tail. This guy is on something I swear, and it's only the first fucking turn. Calm down, Obama. You're dropping more F-bombs than the real ones you dropped in Yemen, El Mao. But anyway, why don't you show Joe and everyone else the surprise now? All right, Donald, good call. Here we go, boys. One of the coolest Pokemon ever. Oh, shit, here we go, Obama. Mega Charizard Y. Joe, it's Charizard X, you idiot. We know the Y version is your favorite, but your opinion is wrong about that, so never bring it up again, okay? And now watch as the mighty Mega Charizard X sweeps Tabitha's entire team. All right, not gonna lie. I thought that flamethrower was gonna one-shot this stupid doggo but all it did was give it a burn. I bet Charizard Y would have one shot the doggo Obama. And also, he's just gonna use a full restore or something now, so this isn't exactly proving to me how good Charizard X is, is it, Donald? 
Joke's on you, Joe. He didn't use a full restore or hyper potion. So your opinion is just wrong in every shape and form. So how about you just keep quiet and admit defeat, buddy? Donald, that was just pure luck that Tabitha didn't use a healing item there, so your opinion is also wrong. Look, he has a Gigalith now, guys, and this is one of those Pokemon which I absolutely love, except why do they stick it behind another goddamn trade? I mean, why? Why do this to us, Game Freak? Why? As cool as it is, Obama, watch it have sturdy and completely ruin my day, even more than Joe already has with his dumb opinions. This Pokemon always has sturdy, though, Donald, and you knew that, so you just used it as an excuse to get mad at me some more, which is totally unnecessary, just FYI. Even worse than Sturdy Joe, this thing just ate a Custap Berry or whatever that thing was called. I mean, who in the hell has ever heard of a Custap Berry? This is just so messed up, guys. All right, yeah, I must admit that was all a bit suspect there, Joe. He somehow took us out when we were meant to be the ones with the super effective move. This is just hacking plain and simple, seriously. So when you say it's hacking, it's fine, Obama, but if I say it, then suddenly I'm a sore loser. Your logic is flawed there, bro. This is the first time I have ever said that Donald, but you say it every time you lose a battle, you could have easily won Elamau. Look guys, these scientists are telling us about the legendary ancient Pokemon. They must have been studying them or something. What do you think? If you want to know what I think, Joe, then I think you're the biggest nerd along with these three morons. But anyway, Obama, I'm pretty sure one of these guys gives us a cast form. Yeah, I love cast form Donald, but for this game it will be pretty useless, but maybe in another game we could use it. Also, we have a very important battle coming up now. Well, important from a certain point of view. That important battle is with May, isn't it, Obama? I don't think this battle is very difficult, but I think it is the last battle we will ever get to have with May. Which is a shame, really. I wish we could battle her again in the post-game whenever we wanted. I think this game had the most potential out of any of them since Joe. They should have added the faraway island in this too, instead of finding Mew in a stupid Hoopa ring like the normal ones had. I wanted to ask you what you thought of Hoopa Donald, but seems you've already given your opinion about him, Elmao. But anyway, let's crush May now, boys. Her team isn't exactly a challenge, and she has a lot of Pokemon weak to electric and ground. Hoopa is all right, Obama, but in that goddamn movie, it was so annoying, OMG. It sounded like a teenager who inhaled helium every time it spoke, and I only watched that movie because Arceus was in it. Yeah, we watched that movie together, Donald. And even I found Hoopa annoying. I know they make some of the legendary Pokemon talk, but that was one Pokemon which I wish would never talk. Check it, boys. I'm mega-evolving our Latios now, and with its boosted stats, we shall slay May. Oh, hell yeah. Mega Latios look super cool, Obama. I wish we had the shiny one, though. Do you think Latios was shiny locked? Because if it wasn't, then I expect you to go back to our last save and shiny hunted Obama. Shiny Mega Latios would be one of our MVPs for sure then. Donald, our Latios can still be our MVP whether it's shiny or not. And I think it is shiny locked anyway, so I'm not wasting my time going back hunting one just for you. See Obama, that whale lord just survived a thunderbolt from a Mega Latios. But if you had the shiny one on our team, then you would have one shot at for sure. Because of your laziness, we now have to waste another entire turn in this dumb battle. You know, Mega Latios in its shiny form isn't that great, to be honest, Donald. It only changes to like a teal color, and it's not even that good looking. If they had swapped the colors with Latios, then I think that would have been way better. Shut up, Joe! And look, she actually evolved her Pikachu into a Raichu. This is one of those rare moments where we see a trainer have some common sense and evolve a Pikachu instead of pulling an Ash Ketchup. Elmao Donald, his surname is Ketchum, not Ketchup. Although there is no way he went through school without someone calling him that Elmao. More importantly than Donald's grammar is how does a Raichu manage to learn a water type move like Surf? I guess it can surf on its tail, Joe, like the Alolan one does. Although that one seems to float on its tail, if anything. You know, I love how they made the Alolan form of a Raichu but they didn't do anything with Pikachu because it's the mascot of Pokemon and there is no way they would change it. In the new anime series, they went and added a new Pikachu called Captain or something, Obama. So if that tells you anything, it's that Pikachu is here to stay forever. Obama, you could make this battle a little more interesting than just spamming Luster Purge, you know? I get that move is awesome, but it doesn't make the battle very challenging, does it? Why don't you tell Dreano to make the game more challenging instead of bitching at me, Donald? 
or in fact tell May to make her team stronger because she's such a joke, if anything. Bianca was even more difficult than she is. And that's saying something. Yeah, but look at her Obama. She's 10 times hotter than Bianca ever will be. But anyway, that's that. So no more battles with May anymore, guys. And thank God she gave us the HM for Fly 2, which means after beating the sixth gym here, we will be able to use it, boys. And I am looking forward to that so much. We can fly back to some of the places we couldn't access earlier and go on new adventures. There isn't many places we can go to really Obama. I say we wait until we get the eighth gym and then go around and visit the older places again. And if anyone has any suggestions of places they'd like us to visit, then please leave a comment down below and we can check them out. Good plan, Donald. And look at Steven again, boys. And looks like you're about to have a battle against nothing, Obama El Mao. Joe, if you were reading what Steven was saying, then you'd know he's given us a new gadget, which lets us see invisible things. And in this case, it's a Kecleon. A super cool chameleon Pokemon, which I think is one of the most underrated. So the Devon Corporation, using all their billions of money that goes into R&D, is spent on making some overhyped binoculars? I mean, seriously! I should have a word with Steven's dad back in Rustboro City about business. I could lend him some pointers, don't you think? Yeah, you could give his dad pointers on how to make your company bankrupt Donald so he can do exactly the opposite of what you suggest to him, LMFAO. Well, with these binoculars, Donald, we can go to the gym because they stopped us from entering it, if you remember. There's another Kecleon blocking the path. Obama, I feel like the Devon Scope, or whatever the hell this thing is called, is a rip-off version of the Sylph Scope we got in Canto to use against the ghost in Lavender Town. Hey, at least we got another Megastone Donald. Steven just gave us the Megastone to evolve our Skeptile. So now we have three Pokémon on our team which can Mega Evolve. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can collect all the Mega Stones in this game, Joe, but that's a lot of work and there's no point in collecting them all anyway, since our team is basically built now. But look, I cut to the gym, boys, and it's time to take on Winona's gym. They always make the same gyms be the same type in every game, Obama, have you noticed? In Unova, Skyla is also a flying type user, and so is Winona. They should really vary the types up more instead of copying and pasting. All right then, Donald, what type of gym would you make this one then? Winona is hot AF Joe, so I wouldn't change her, but she could become a psychic type or dark type. We never ever get to see dark type gyms. Actually, I don't even think there has ever been one except the trainers in the Elite Four. Holy shit, you're right, Donald. There actually has never been a dark type gym leader. They only stick them in the Elite Four for some reason. We've basically had every single type become a gym leader except dark, unless there's some I've missed. I'm sure some of our viewers will know more than us. At any rate, Donald, I think Skyla is way hotter than Winona, but Winona has a prettier name. All right, it's time now, boys, to take her on for our sixth gym badge, and I suspect this shouldn't be too difficult to deal with since flying types have a bunch of weaknesses, but I am excited to see what her team is going to be. It's fun to have no idea what Pokémon she's going to send out next. I agree, Obama, but she'll definitely have her ace with her, so prepare for that, since I think it's going to be holding a very special item, which we will see later. Her first Pokémon is Skarmory Obama, and she had this in the original games, too. So that's not exactly exciting or new, is it? Joe, you gotta stop with this negative attitude. She has five more Pokémon, so give it a break, will you? Those negative vibes could cost me this battle. Yeah, Joe, your vibes are spreading to this side of the couch, bro, so keep them to yourself, K. thanks and watch as Obama destroys Winona with our Mega Latios again. I was just thinking, boys, imagine if in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl we had to deal with Cynthia using Mega Evolutions. That would have been a really great twist they could have added to spice things up a bit, don't you think? Not a bad thought, Joe. That would probably put that battle on par with Ultra Necrozma in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon, and maybe even close to the Arceus battle in Legends Arceus. I wish they added that. Donald, you know they would never do that, because if they did, all the snowflakes would be complaining that the game is too difficult because of Cynthia's mega Garchomp El Mao. But personally, I think that would be hilarious. It would be the funniest thing ever, Obama. All the little children sweeping the Elite Four, and then they get to Cynthia with their teams all prepared because they know she's one tough cookie, but then she unleashes her mega Garchomp, and boom! The rest is history. Cynthia's Garchomp can be the equivalent of Anakin Skywalker in Revenge of the Sith. 
and the children can be the younglings, and her Garchomp will slaughter their entire team, just like how Anakin slaughtered the younglings. All right, Joe, that got dark pretty quick, not gonna lie. I wouldn't go that far as to say she'd make her Garchomp do that, Jesus. Yeah, Joe, that wasn't funny at all, bro. Rest in peace, those younglings. Well, rest in peace, anyone who has to battle Cynthia too, Obama. And by the way, I'm not sure if you noticed, but you got burnt, and now our Latios is gonna die to its burn. Once again, Joe, you coming in hot with those negative vibes. Our Latios ain't gonna die to shit. It's just too strong, and Winona only has two Pokemon left anyway. And this Gyarados is like eight times weak to Thunderbolt, so I say this battle is her L and my W. These gym leaders are playing super cheap Obama using berries and random items no one's ever heard of. I mean, seriously, Winona has pulled this shit twice now. Well, Donald, they have to balance out the game a bit since we have got Mega Evolution now which means we could sweep the entire team, unless they let the gym leaders use items like that random Custap Berry. Joe, that Custap Berry can burn in hell, and this has nothing to do with balancing out the teams either, because look, all the gym leaders going forward have Mega Evolutions too, so what you're saying doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, and I'm calling bullshit again because that Altaria should have died to the Ice Beam, what the hell? Obama, it just mega evolved, so obviously its special defense also got stronger as well as all the other stats. Joe, if I wanted a lecture on Pokemon stats and shit, I would have asked, but did I? Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Hey, that sass wasn't necessary, Obama. So how about you drop the attitude before I drop you? Yeah, how about we just ignore Joe Obama Elmau? And well, because I'm such a nice person, I will congratulate you on your win against Winona. Not that you really need a congratulations, but anyway, good job. Thanks, Donnie, buddy. And no thanks, Joe, but anyway, boys, on that note, how about we end this episode? Yeah, good call, Obama. And in the next episode, we can make our way to Lily Cove City and hopefully Moss Deep City, where we will be able to take on the gym for our seventh gym badge. So if you enjoyed this episode, then please consider hitting the like button and subscribing, as making these videos takes a lot of effort, and we appreciate all the support you give us. All right, boys and girls, here we are back in Hoenn, and currently, we are in... Lily Cove City, we made our way here off screen and did record it, but literally nothing of interest happened on the way here. But anyway, welcome to the episode. So if you enjoy the video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Good intro, Donnie. And looks like I have a battle with May. In the last episode, we battled her, but I thought that would be the last time. However, a viewer of ours pointed out that we indeed have a couple more battles with her boys. Yeah, and also a bunch of you pointed out that there is a dark type gym in Galar, which we completely forgot about, which shows how memorable that place is anyway. But yeah, we retract our statement. What do you mean, we, Joe? That was your fuck up buddy with your stupid dementia filled brain, bro. But I agree that gym is quite forgetful. Well, anyway, Obama, another thing we did off screen was nickname our Pokemon with some of the suggestions you guys gave us in the comments below. And first off is our Latios here, which we named Air Force One. Yeah, except that nickname was from a viewer called at Jeremy Thomas 9792. So thank you, Jeremy, for that nickname. Latios even has the same color scheme as Air Force One, and I can't believe we didn't think of that name ourselves. I agree, Joe. I can't believe you couldn't come up with that name yourself, but regardless, it's a really cool name. And you keep saying, we too, like your idiocy is Donald and my faults as well, so how about we stop with that? Says the person who just got our legendary Pokemon taken out by a whale lord of all things, LMAO. And why haven't you bothered to Mega Evolve either, Obama? May is not worth the time and effort it takes for me to hit the Mega Evolve button and then go through all that shit, Joe, and she's so weak too, it's not necessary. Yeah, except May is the type of person to spam Hyper Potions, Obama, even when her Pokemon are in the yellow and not in the red. She's just trying to hold out as long as possible, even though her fate is sealed. She can try whatever she wants, Donald. She ain't gonna win LMAO. But boys, can you believe we are already at the sixth gym now and heading towards the seventh? This game has been a blast to play through so far. Yeah, you're right, Obama. This has been super fun, and the story in this game has to be one of my favorites. Leave a comment down below letting us know which story in the Pokemon series you like the most. Black and white story is probably gonna be the most popular, Joe. And check it out, everyone. This is Vulcan. Our Charizard recommended to us by another viewer a couple of episodes ago, and that person also gave names for Greninja and Tyrantrum. But we couldn't find his comment to give him a shout out, so we apologize for that. Yeah, our Greninja is now called Hanzo, and Tyrantrum is now called Ryujin. Both super cool names for some super cool Pokemon. 
Look, Obama may just used another hyper potion and her rate you wasn't even in the red zone. She's playing super cheap now. Why is everyone in this game playing so dirty? I mean, we can't, they just play fair. Donald, did you seriously just ask why she can't play fair? Maybe May has been taking some notes out of your book. I mean, she even dresses like a Republican, wear red constantly. That's the main reason I like her, Joe. She represents me perfectly and I'm all for it. Although we need to do some work on her Pokemon skills. However, wouldn't it be cool if she took her own journey as a contest trainer like in the anime, boys? Yeah, Donald May feels empty in this game. Like she just appears whenever the game needs her to. And that's about it. That's how I feel anyway. It would be better if they made her have her own journey going through the contests and becoming a master at them or something. She literally just appears to us now and then when the game feels like we need a test to see if our Pokemon are at a good level for the next part of the game. But look guys, she has a Sylveon now. That's such a perfect Pokemon for her, but shame she isn't using it for contests. I still can't believe they made a fairy type evolution before making a ghost type or a steel type. True Obama, but even I like Sylvia, and even though it's pink, which is totally not my color. And its shiny form is so dead too, I mean, it doesn't look special at all. Ghost type Eevee would be cool, but we are still waiting for the day they make a dragon type one. That will be the goat then. Our Greninja is so tough, boys, check it out. It was in the red and got hit, but still survived. This guy is gonna be one of our MVPs for sure and is one tough cookie. You know they even went and made that dragon type Reggie Pokemon before the Eevee one. That's what blows my mind the most. Hey, Donald Reggie Drago is one of the coolest of the new Pokemon, in my opinion. The shiny form is shit, but otherwise it's a neat design being the shape of a dragon's head, and Reggie Aliki is also one unique Pokemon, too. Look, boys, May got herself a Mega Stone for her Blaziken, and she's gonna try show us her true power now. You know, I'm pretty sure Mega Blaziken was one of the first Pokemon we got to see Mega evolve back in the day, Obama. Well, that concludes May's battle for now, Obama, so good job, and I think Charizard would have been one of the first Pokemon we got to see Mega Evolve Donald. It would make sense that he'd be the first. Joe, you just referred to Charizard as a he, and apparently I'm the misogynist, El Mao. Joe, you are such a fucking hypocrite, buddy. Donald, you are a hypocrite, though, and I was referring to a fake flying orange lizard unlike you who belittles actual female humans. So what you're saying, Joe, is that animal rights aren't as valuable as human Donald, rights. Donald, oh my fucking wow, God. you all heard it here first, everyone. Joe wants all kittens and puppies killed. Donald, what the hell? I never said that. You're twisting my words once again like you always do, you clown. Your insults are just as bad as your opinion on which version of Charizard's megaform is better, Joe, you goon. Well, I think you two should pay attention to the game because I'm about to make my way up Mount Pyre and apparently Team Magma have decided to make their way here for some reason. Hang on, Obama. Joe thinks the Y version of Charizard is better, when everyone knows the X version is clearly the best. The X version of Charizard is a mixed attacker, whereas the Y version is only good for special attacks, which is useless if the opponent set up a light screen. Yeah, but Donald, the Y version is better for exactly the reason you just said. With special attacks, Charizard Y is more of a specialist attacker like the ODSTs are in the Halo series. Joe, what in the actual fuck are you on about? Yeah, Joe, seriously, man, you're so bad at debates. God knows how you became president with this level of bad English. Well, I won that argument proving that X is better than Y Charizard. And now back to this battle with the Team Magma admin. Why don't you give everyone a rundown of what exactly is going on here with them, Obama? Good idea, Donald. Well, Team Magma is here trying to steal the red and blue orbs so they can control the ancient legendary Pokemon. And I just want to hit pause on that point because humans made the red and blue orbs to control those Pokemon. But how in the hell do humans manage to create something that can control Kai, Ogre, and Groudon? It makes no sense. I think this is one of the rare things all three of us actually can agree on, is that there is no way humans could make something to control legendary Pokemon unless it was made by Arceus. All hail Arceus. Yeah, and then they went and added Primal Reversion, which I think is a cool concept, to be honest. It makes the super ancient legendary Pokemon feel even more ancient and super. Wow, what a profound explanation, Obama LMAO. But anyway, look, her final Pokemon is a Charizard like ours. This one is nothing like our one Donald. She can't mega evolve yet, and Greninja is just so OP that it doesn't even stand a chance either. This battle was an absolute joke, if anything. And she calls herself an admin. 
I would like to make an observation, though, and say that the levels of the trainer Pokemon seem to have jumped up quite a lot now, which means I'm expecting the seventh gym to be around the level 60 zone, which should give you a nice challenge, Obama. Well, it's a psychic type gym, Joe, and it will also be a double battle, which is a unique thing they added in randomly. But anyway, with Greninja using Dark Pulse and another Pokemon, I could teach Shadow Ball too. That battle will be easy peasy. Check it out, Obama. These two old folks are going to give you the super powerful blue orb. Why the fuck would they give a super ancient orb to a random 10 year old? When I was 10, I was no way this responsible. What do you mean when you were 10, Donald? You're basically 80, and I still would say you're like the least responsible person ever, but you're still my bestie. Ha ha ha. You're such a creep, Joe, seriously. But anyway, Obama, I think some shit's going down at Slateport City, so I think you should head over there. Yeah, I think Team Magma planned to raid the harbor or something, Donald. You would think that by now they would have increased the security around the entire Hoenn region, but nope. See, if I was also the leader of this region, Obama, I would ensure the Hoenn region has the most security patrols and SWAT available and lots of soldiers to stop all these threats. Make that your slogan as well, Joe, next year, but that got me thinking. How comes these regions don't have an authority or government and the like? I can answer that, Obama. I'm pretty sure the Elite Four and Champion act as the leading group of each region. Well, I think that's how it works anyway, which is why I'm super pissed that Joe is the leader of three regions, whilst you and I are only the leader of one. Well, if you want to be specific, Donald, Obama isn't even a leader like you and I yet, since he hasn't beaten the Elite Four or Champion yet, which means you are in fact ahead of him. Joe, you moron, it's not a race. And by the way, ever since our first playthrough, I was the one who stopped Donald from taking over your gameplay, and now you're acting like a bitch. Yeah, not gonna lie, Joe, that's pretty mean of you. You've basically stabbed Obama in the back. Well, I wonder where I learned that from Donald. You are so annoying, you know that, right? How about we just ignore him, Obama, and see what's going on inside the harbor station? Team Magma is threatening Captain Stern here. Before that, Donald, did you just see that slight camera angle change? Things like that make this game even better. And it's not even a big thing. What do you think? Yeah, there's lots of little snippets like that in this game, Obama, like different angles when we go to heal our Pokemon up in the Poke Center and when we engage in battles. In the newer games, we get a free cam, which is all right, but not as immersive, in my opinion. I couldn't agree more, Donald. It's like we are bosom buddies now. And look, bosom buddy, I'm about to take on Team Magma. Ah, oh, hell yeah, Obama. Bosom buddy is such a great title. So thank you for bestowing it on me. If you want, I can ditch Joe since he's been acting like a total crackhead and I can be solely yours. Whilst you two have been getting into each other's pants, Team Magma just stole Captain Stern's submarine and you just stood there doing fuck all Obama. Joe, what dumbass leaves the keys to a multi-million dollar submarine? Inside the submarine with no one around to watch it and keep guard? As far as I am concerned, Captain Stern deserves this L and he is now paying the price for it. Be that as it may, Obama, you are still going to be the one to beat these grunts and then stop Team Magma from continuing with their dastardly plan of world domination. You know, the worst part about this game is the Team Magma base. I hated going through that in the original games, Obama. And then there's that stupid cave we have to get through as well. Oh yeah, you're right, bosom buddy. Maybe we can bribe Joe and I can get him to go through that whole maze for us. And then when we get to the end, I can take the controller back off him. Elmao! Yeah, right, Obama, there is no way you are gonna make me do anything for you again. First of all, you took away my bestie for resties and made him your bosom buddy, and now you expect me to do all the difficult work for you again? Hell no! Don't worry, Obama, I know how we can sway Joe. His intellect is almost the same as that of a potato, so getting him to do anything we want is easy peasy like you say. Oh yeah, I forgot, this is in fact Joe, we are talking about Donald LMFAO, but anyway, boys check it out, these two grunts were just stalling us apparently, whilst their sub got away. But now, they've gone and told us they're headed to their secret hideout place. What's with most evil teams telling the hero exactly where to go to find them, and potentially stop them from carrying out their plans? I think it would have been more fun if we had to go around Hoenn and find out where they are without any help making us explore the world more. They must know you're playing with us, Joe, so they want to make things a little easy for us, El Mayo. All right, Donald, try not to make Joe cry. But anyway, Captain Stern here did us a solid and took us to Lily Cove City on his boat and sent us to take out Team Magma's base. 
I'm a big boy, Obama, don't worry, I won't cry anymore. LML, big boy, he says Obama, but is always crying when he gets forced to do anything. Look, Obama, there's a contest hall here. What was that you DM me about last night saying you bought a dress for Donald so he can take part in the master rank tournament since he's been secretly doing all the contests off screen? Holy hell, Obama, you said you wouldn't tell anyone about that. Wow, so you just admitted to taking part in the contest then, Donald, you idiot, haha. -ha. What the fuck, Obama, now Joe is gonna go on about this forever. How much did you tell him? Did you tell him I haven't won anything too? Elma, what a noob. Donald, you absolute dumbass. You've gone and told Joe everything yourself. I didn't tell him shit and you made it worse when you said you haven't even won anything. No wonder there isn't any footage of Donald's contests. He deletes them every time he loses, doesn't he, Obama, El Mao? I think everyone would love to see you take part in the contests, Donald. Oh, look, boys, this house is so nice. Stop changing the subject, Donald, you clown El Mao. This house is the same as all the other ones, except this house has Sleepy Joe in it because that guy gave us the TM for rest. So original Obama, and by the way, my hair didn't even look like that guy, but the rest of it is about the same. Well, I will save my bosom buddy some more embarrassment and head towards Team Magma's base now. And I think their base is just wonderful looking. Yeah, absolutely loving the symmetry they got going on in here. Obama, just look at it. All right, even I will agree with you two on this point. This secret evil base is awesome. These guys took secret power to a whole new level. They even got the pipes to be symmetrical. Joe, they didn't use secret power to build this place, you dumbass. They probably used their Pokemon and all the grunts who slaved away to set this all up, only for a 10-year-old to storm it and take everyone out in it. But what if they did use secret power to build this place, Obama? This is like the most GOAT secret base of all time. Well, they obviously didn't use it, Donald. Why are you suddenly siding with Joe on this stupid debate? completely pointless to talk about this. Whatever, Obama, this is the exact schematics I'm gonna show the White House engineers to build my new nuclear bunker, and only Donald will be allowed in it because he and I clearly think alike, unlike you. Sorry, Joe, as nice as that is, Obama is my bosom buddy and I can't just ditch him like that. What the hell, Donald? You were gonna side with him after he disagreed with you, but whenever it's me, it's okay to just ditch me? Well, yeah, because it's you, Joe Elmeo, but boys, our Greninja is gonna get so strong in here since all we have to do is just spam surf and we'll clear this place out. All these trainers are a joke. And now you have a horde battle, Obama. These guys are all gonna come at you at once. Phrasing! Yeah, what Joe said, Donald, but look, they have a team of five fucking Flareons, Elmao. This is gonna be a mass genocide of Flareon now. I don't think our viewers are gonna like this, Obama. You are gonna kill all these poor, adorable, cute little fire doggos when they did nothing to you. Hey, I wouldn't mind having a discussion about this Donald. What exactly are the EVs meant to be? They can't be cats, surely. I think some of them are based off cats, Joe. Like, Espeon reminds me of a cat, but Flareon reminds me of a dog more so. I have no idea about the others. I think Leafeon reminds me of a cat Obama, and so does Glacian. I have no clue what Sylveon is meant to be, however. Oh, great, Obama, look. You have to battle this weirdo girl again. I feel like she has some fetish for us or something. It's really creepy. Well, Joe, maybe you should take her on a date then, LML. You two would make the most perfect couple. Look what they did to the submarine boys. They went and stuck a drill on the front and gave it the dumbest looking paint job I've ever seen. Joe, you better not start getting ideas for our nuclear submarines too. They even put a tiny volcano on top of it, Obama El Mao. That was a pretty cute idea, but I don't know how good it would be for stealth. I'm still confused to why they went and stole this submarine and drill in the first place, boys. Why did they need all this high-tech gear to begin with? Well, Donald, let me explain. Team Magma have found some underwater cave thing where they believe that Gru Don is hiding or whatever he's doing in there, and they want to go bother him and take control of him using the red orb. I can tell you exactly what he's been doing in that underwater cave, Obama. He's been having the best sleep of his life, kind of like I do, until idiots like you two always come to disturb us. Of course you would think that, Joe. Just remember, you and Gro Don have absolutely nothing in common other than your sleep schedule. I just want to point out here that I am destroying this person, whatever her name is. I think it's Courtney, but yeah. She's also a walk in the park. Well, you only did just battle her like five minutes ago, Obama, so what did you expect? Hey, she has a Pyroar now. This is one cool Pokemon, and it kind of reminds me of Arca 9. What do you two think? First of all, the male Pyroar looks way better than the female one here, Donald. And second of all, this is just a beta version of Arca 9 and everyone knows it. I don't know, I think it looks cute, Obama, but I've never used one. Maybe when we head to the Kalos region, we could use one. What do you think? 
Oh shit, here comes her Charizard boys. This one shall be destroyed just like the Holy rest shit, of the Mega Obama, evolving. so end this quick. Oh my god, she has a fucking Mega Charizard Y version. Just look how trash it is, Joe. Seriously, it's so boring. I still can't believe you don't see how cool this thing is, Obama. It looks more like a real-life dragon than Charizard X does, just so you know. Uh-oh, Obama, it's using solar beam. Ha, take that, Obama, you Charizard Y hater, bro. So much for Mega Charizard Y being a piece of shit. It just took out Greninja. Now that there is some absolute hacking bullshit, Joe. Well, anyway, now watch as my Charizard X puts this stupid lizard in its place. At the bottom of the food chain where it belongs. If you kill this Charizard, why, Obama, I won't be your friend anymore ever again, ever. Wow, that's a win-win for you, Obama, if you beat this thing. Firstly, you no longer have to associate yourself with Joe, and second, you win the battle. Oh uh, yeah, didn't think of that logic, did you, Joe Elmao? Whatever, Obama, I knew you were gonna beat it anyway because you need to so we can proceed with the game. I only said what I did to see what you'd actually do, and if you care about me being your friend... Yeah, anyway, that concludes everything we have to do in this base, boys. So now the sub left for the seafloor cavern, and we need to follow it. That's right, Obama. And actually, before following it, we can finally head to Moss Deep City, where our seventh gym badge is located, and we're gonna battle Tate and Liza. Hey, can you two please listen to what I have to say? Oh yeah, Donald, that's right. What the fuck, and Obama? Steven's house is also located in Moss Deep City, too, so maybe we can go pay him a visit as well. I think he has a special gift waiting inside his house for us, too. Good plan, Obama, but anyway, how about we end this episode for now? We did a lot in this one, mainly battling Team Magma. All right, Donald, good shout. So thanks for watching, everyone. And if you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like and subscribe button for more. We also apologize for taking a few days to upload. We have a lot going on still, so hope you don't mind the wait. All right, my lovely, beautiful viewers, welcome back to Pokemon Omega Ruby. What's going on, and Today everyone? we have lots going on, actually. And we are going to start with exploring Moss Deep City and taking on the gym here and then we shall take it from there. But anyway, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoy our content. That's right, everyone. We're finally in Moss Deep City, which is probably one of my all-time favorite places in any of the games, especially in Hoenn. But we got to check out Steven's house, Obama. It's around here somewhere. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing Steven boys and checking his house out. I bet his house is full of really expensive stuff since he's the champion. He must be super rich. Well, take it all in, Joe. His house is just full of fucking rocks. This guy is such a nerd like you, Joe LMAO. The funny thing, Donald, is these rocks are probably worth millions of dollars, yet he keeps his front door unlocked like some sort of maniac. What if someone came in here and stole everything? I thought his house would be better looking TBH Obama. It's more boring than my own White House speeches. Yeah, I think we should just leave Obama and head straight for the gym. We have a bunch of dark type moves, so I'm fairly confident you will slash your way through this gym easily. All right, Donnie, you're right. And I'm also gonna try skip as many trainer battles as possible, not because I'm lazy, but because our team doesn't really need more experience. Yeah, but mostly because you're lazy Obama and you won't admit it. I do agree with you though, we don't wanna get too over leveled. Although I was reading about this gym, it's way tougher than normal. He'll be all right, Joe. He hasn't lost a single gym badge yet. Unlike you have so many times now, LMAO. I'm still holding it out to you that you lost against the third gym in Pokemon White, against Berg, the bug type gym leader. Well, I did lose the first gym battle actually against Roxanne way back when. But other than that, I think I have done pretty well but I think the gym leaders in this game are significantly stronger, so I won't take that L. Otherwise, I'd be on the same level as Joe. I think you should switch Greninja out in this battle, Obama, since you used him so much in the last one, and he basically slayed everything. We could use Sceptile now, since it also has Crunch and can Mega Evolve. Yeah, I agree with Donald Obama. And by the way, don't forget that our Reuniclus has Shadow Ball on it too, which is super effective against Psychic types but bringing a ghost type to this gym might not have been a bad idea too. Well, boys, I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, but I did actually catch a shiny Ghastly in the beginning of the game, but decided to ditch it since Gengar has the worst shiny form in existence, along with Garchomp. Hey, that's true, Obama, but Gengar also has arguably one of the best shiny mega forms. It goes all white and just looks so cool. And I know where to get Gengar's Megastone too, 
so we could get Joe to do some last minute training for us. LMAO. You see, the problem I feel we have is we already have two psychic types being Latios and Reuniclus, so one of them would have to go. Even though Reuniclus is named after me, I would choose it to be swapped out for Gengar since we could actually get better type coverage if we used it. It can even learn some fairy type moves like Dazzling Gleam, which will be really useful when we battle Drake of the Elite Four. All right, let's ask our viewers and see if they would like us to swap Reuniclus out for Gengar. And I just want to say we absolutely love Reuniclus. It's so strong, but we also love Latios and rarely ever get to use one. So post a comment down below letting us know which Pokemon you would like to swap out. Good plan, Obama. And by the way, we are getting closer to battling the gym leaders now. And don't forget, this will be a double battle too. So what's your plan of attack? Well, Joe, in double battles, I always get both of my Pokemon to attack one of the opponents together to make it a two-on-one -on -one battle, basically. And then I have time to deal with the other afterwards, depending on how strong the opponent's team is. That's a really good plan, Obama, and should be a useful strat for this battle. Also, don't forget to set up a Toxic Spikes as well with our Greninja. That move is gonna come in clutch, just watch. I just wanna say I love the positive, happy vibes we got going on here, boys. It makes playing with you to feel so nice and it warms my heart. Yeah, same Joe, I too also feel warm and gooey inside my belly. But anyway, Obama, let's get this shit done. Their first two Pokemon is Solrock and Lunatone like in the OG games. I should be able to one-shot these two with a Surf, I think, Donnie, but look, their team is already stronger than ours, is level-wise. Hey, Obama, you should know that by now. Levels don't mean shit to a certain degree anyway. At this level difference, it will be a challenge, but surely nothing you can't handle, right? I can help motivate you by calling you Barack Biden if you lose LMAO. Hey, Barack Biden doesn't have the same ring to it as Joe Biden does just saying, but I wouldn't mind sharing my birth name with Obama. He can be my brother from another mother too. Sorry, Joe, that title has already been claimed by yours truly with Barack when we first played Pokemon Heart Gold, remember? You two are really distracting, you know that, right? I've only taken one Pokemon out so far, and this guy has a Gall Aid now, too, which is gonna wreck us if I'm not careful. Yup, and there goes Greninja Obama. This is already going well, isn't it, Elmo? All right, if there is Gall Aid, then that means its counterpart might show up at some point, but I suggest you deal with Gall Aid first, Obama. This thing could sweep our team. Joe, I know what I'm doing, bro, cool it. I have a plan to deal with this Gallade since it insists on trying to sweep our entire team, which I absolutely won't let it do. Well, this should be good to see. Remember before you killed Lunatone Obama? It set up a light screen, which means your special attack moves are gonna do less damage for a few more turns. Oh, hell yeah, we got Mega Skeptil out, boys. This thing is gonna clean up here now for sure. Except it has justified Joe, which boosted its attack. What in the actual fuck was that, guys? This is the second time that Gallade has taken out one of our Pokemon now, and the stupid shit just tanks hits. Yeah, this is clearly gonna be a long battle, Obama LMAO. I would suggest you start popping those Max Revives now whilst we have some time before they send out their Mega Pokemon, whatever it will be. Donald, I'm not gonna start popping Max Revives like they're pills, you moron. We only have a finite amount of them left, thanks to me forcing Joe to harvest them for us off screen and I'm slowly running out of reasons to get him to do stuff for me. If all else fails, Obama just say you will take Joe out for ice cream and a nap, and the guy will be putty in your hands. But anyway, look, they have a Slowking now. I love this Pokemon so much, it looks so derpy and also has a crown on. Can I just interject here and let you know, Obama, that Tate and Liza still have four Pokemon left, including the two on the field right now, and we have like two left. This battle is not your best one, if I may say so. Yeah, well, I was just reading up on this game, Joe, and I think some of the gym leaders have boosted IVs on their Pokemon, and some have boosted EVs too, which means these battles are obviously gonna be tougher than the normal peasant battles you and Donald have been doing. I bet I could beat Pokemon Emerald Kaizo with my eyes and ears closed, Obama. I for sure know you couldn't do that. How about you try play it with your mouth closed, Joe, instead? You would do yourself and everyone else a massive favor. All right, these two idiots are really pissing me off now, boys. They just took out our Tyrantrum and fucking Reuniclus is doing jack shit damage against them too. This battle is super rigged. Well, at least Solrock just died Obama and now they have a Bronzong and their final Pokemon is about to be revealed to us. 
So that thing has Earthquake 2, which means he can do a shit ton of damage to both our Pokemon at the same time. It's fine, Donald. I'm going to send out Latios, and then whoever their final Pokemon is shall meet its maker. Of course, their final Pokemon would be a Gardevoir. And this is going to be the Mega Pokemon for sure, which means we are almost certainly going to die here. So may as well say our prayers and get whatever assets you have left in order, Obama. Hey, I have assets too, Donald, you know? Shares and ice cream makers don't count, Joe. But anyway, look, I have a plan for this Gardevoir, Donnie. Don't worry about me. All right, well, here we go. This thing just got amplified like times 100, so I hope whatever you're gonna do will work, Obama. What exactly is your plan? My plan involves a lot of hope, Donald. Okay, well, clearly you didn't have enough of that so-called hope, did you? Obama, because that thing just one shot both our Pokemon with one hyper voice. This Gardevoir is super busted. I have so much faith in Obama that it's actually unreal, Donald. Maybe if you tried having some too, then he'd be doing better. Joe Faith can only get you so far. And I actually blame this whole situation on you anyway, because you should have told us we needed to train a bit before this battle. And then you should have gone and done said training. All right, their goddamn light screen just wore off for what felt like an eternity. Jesus Christ, which means my special moves will now obliterate Gardevoir. That light screen literally lasted for this whole battle, basically. Maybe someone could leave a comment down below with how long that took to disappear. Who cares, Joe? Because thank the Lord, look. Obama finally managed to take this piece of shit out of with Dark Pulse and our stab-boosted Greninja. It's definitely our MVP of this game, and it doesn't even mega evolve. This badge is cringy AF too, boys, look at it. The colors also want to make me throw up too. Whoever designed this badge needs a good firing. All right, well, we got Calm Mind from them, Obama, which could be a useful move to teach Reuniclus before the Elite Four. But thank God that's over with now. Yeah, which means we can leave this godforsaken place and head out and see what other drama is going on. We should also go check out the Space Center too, Obama. It's like a mini NASA. Check it out, boys. Some huge pillar of light just exploded out of the ground in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, and Steven is here, boys. Everyone is gathered around him like they just performed a seance LMAO. All right, so the story is really picking up now, Obama. We will have lots to do in the next couple episodes as we get closer to the end of this amazing series. Looks like Obama's time to save the world is now upon us, Donnie. Do you think he has the discipline and willpower and mental fortitude to handle all the pressure that's about to be put upon him? Well, Joe, you have the mental fortitude of a wet napkin, so how about you just watch how a pro deals with evil? All right, so we're getting a lecture here from Steven. And by the way, I find it hilarious that even at this point in the game, no one actually knows that Steven is the champion yet. That's true, Donnie. And also, I think out of all the champions in the game, Steven does the most to help save his region. The other ones do jack shit. All right, boys, we got the HM for dive, which means we can head south from Moss Deep City and head towards the seafloor cavern. And I think I will teach it to Greninja just for now and then head to the move deleter before we take on the Elite Four. All right, here we go, Obama. Time to see what evil that Maxi is about to unleash upon the world. So you're telling me that Gru Don has just been chilling in that lava pool for the last thousand years or so, covered in stone, and he only wakes up because some dumb human waves a shiny red stone in front of his face? Yeah, it makes zero sense, Joe, but maybe the last time it went on a rampage, it got tired and fell asleep, and then the molten lava covered his body. He must have some tough skin if lava is like a bubble bath to him. L-M-A-O. Okay, well, Obama, here we go. This lunatic is gonna take us on in a battle, so let's see how well you do here, buddy. Yeah, maybe this time we will see him use his Mega Stone unless we kill him before that again, but his team is way stronger this time. All right, Obama, the plan is to set up toxic spikes as usual and then go from there. But yeah, his team is even stronger than Tate and Liza. So, but at least we won't have to deal with a mega Gardevoir in this battle. Damn, he has sunny day still, which means expect more solar beams, Obama. This guy is super prepared for this battle after we obliterated his team the last time, El Mayo. Wow, and the Gimp is already playing dirty by using hypnosis too. At least we're stocked up with full restores and full heals, Obama. Yeah, no thanks to either of you for reminding me to buy some. And by the way, why didn't you remind me to do more training before this battle? You two are useless, you know that, right? Blame Joe, he was the one who was meant to train up before the seventh gym and forgot 
And now he forgot again to know. Donald, you could have reminded still, me and I would have happily helped Obama out, so don't blame it all on me. Raise your bro. voice with me one more time. Joe and you will be thrown into the fucking volcano oh, with so Rodan. All right, well, if you two are finished bitching, you could provide some more helpful advice, you know? Heal your Pokemon. Wow, thanks, Donald. Not like that wasn't obvious at all. Obama was asking for advice regarding which moves to use and what strats he should employ, Donald, you dummy. All right then, Joe, since you apparently know so much, please do enlighten us on what Obama should do to clutch this battle and get this W against leader Maxi. He should mega evolve. You two are being as insightful as ever today. Thank you so much, fucking morons. Well, Obama, Joe's advice wasn't that bad, was it? Because mega evolving is the only thing that will save you now. And I also suggest you revive Greninja, since Surf will be useful for his Camerupt. Camerupt is his mega Pokemon, since that's what he had in the OG games too. And with Surf, it will easily die again. All this Crobat did is spam Brave Bird. What kind of bullshit strat was that about? He didn't gain anything from it. Well, he did kind of take out Greninja Obama, so he gained that, but otherwise, yeah, it was a pretty pointless setup to begin with. Sorry, folks, had a small error with the recording, but you didn't miss anything. We just swapped out Latios for Charizard, and now we have to deal with his Houndoom. Houndoom is like his least threatening Pokemon Obama, and it's fire versus fire type, so who will come out on top here? It may be fire type versus fire type Joe, but I'm gonna take it out with Fly since it's gonna be a safe bet. Otherwise, he might just keep spamming Dark Pulse, which could cause us to flinch. Fly is such a pussy move, Obama. You avoid an attack and then just take out the opponent. But if I was playing, I wouldn't use such a cheap move like that. I would hit Houndoom straight on with Dragon Pulse or something. Donald, you taught Fly to our Dragonite in our Pokemon Heart Gold playthrough, so what you just said was super hypocritical. Donald was banking on you not remembering that Joe LMAO, but anyway, he only has two Pokemon left, I think, boys. This battle is super dead seriously. Other than the gyms, these haven't been very exciting, have they? They've been all right, I guess, Obama. But at least Maxi has some brain cells and is using such a goaded Pokemon, being Chandelure now. He finally evolved his Lampin. And look, he's even set up a trick room. Shuckle is the best Pokemon to teach Trick Room too, since its defenses are just godly while the rest of its stats are dog shit. Shuckle is so underrated. Leave us a comment and a like if you all love Shuckle. I think it needs more love than it gets already. I'm pretty sure one of the main characters has a Shuckle in the Pokemon Horizons anime series Obama, although it doesn't really do much. In Sheenwood City in Jado, there is that guy who gives us a free Shuckle, but I bet no one ever uses it. All right, Greninja came in clutch from beyond the grave again, boys, and took out this Chandelure with a poisoning. And finally, Maxi is gonna be on his last Pokemon. He's probably gonna go first just so he can mega evolve Obama, although that's not gonna make the battle any more difficult, I think. Our team is just so goaded, even if he is stronger than us. I think Mega Camera Up looks so dumb. It just gets even fatter, if anything. Okay, well, Charizard here had to take that L. But he did good work for us, so now what's the plan, Obama? I'm gonna switch into you here, Donald, and you will have to be a sacrifice so I can use a max revive on Greninja so we can surf our way to victory here. I hope you don't mind. It will be a noble sacrifice, though. That's fine, Obama, as long as you build statues of me when I'm dead with a Reuniclus on my arm so the whole world remembers the sacrifice I made to save the entire world from Team Magma's plot to turn everything into land. I don't think defeating a virtual camel means you get to be immortalized Donald with statues, but I will admit that was a noble fire blast you took for the greater good of the team. That's right, Joe. And now look, because of my sacrifice, we never have to battle these morons again. They are finished. I could have taught Hydro Pump to Greninja just then, but it's quite pointless at this point. And anyway, we can go to the move relearner later and get our other non-HM moves back. Even though you just beat him, Obama, Leader Maxi here is still laughing like some kind of psychopath. And he just complimented us for beating him too, Donnie. What even was the point in that battle? If he's just gonna use the red orb anyway and wake up the super ancient legendary Pokemon. Yeah, and now his team members are turning on him. Tabitha is worried that waking up Groudon will destroy the world, which absolutely no one saw coming. Here we go, everyone, the ultimate resurrection of the ultimate Pokemon in existence. This is gonna be so lit, don't you both think? I guess that's one way to describe the end of the world, Donald, and looks like Archie and Tabitha have the right idea here by running away. Can we take a minute to appreciate these graphics 
And then going back to playing Scarlet and Violet gives me a brain aneurysm. I mean, seriously. Yeah, those games aren't canon to me. But anyway, back to this one, Donnie. Looks like Grudon finally woke up from his slumber party by himself, which is kind of how I roll, too. Why can't Greninja just use a massive surf move here? Obama and then all this lava will turn back to stone and Grudon will get knocked out because it's also a ground type. Well, Grudon did just run away, Donald, and currently it's standing in the middle of the ocean, so I don't think that would work, would it? Oh yeah, and now it set the entire sky on fire too. How the hell does it manage to do that? It used sunny day, Donald, but a sunny day that's on steroids by the looks of it, and now it's running away again, Obama. We need to hurry up and catch it quick. Yeah, it's heading to Sotopolis City by the looks of it, Joe, because that's where the Cave of Origin is located, remember? Actually, I wouldn't expect you to remember, but it's going there since it feels the power from there. And to no one's surprise again, the power that Gru Don is releasing is more than what they measured. It's like these idiots never watched a movie before, otherwise they would have known this would happen and better prepare for the upcoming disaster. All right, boys. Looks like it's time to head to the surface and do a damage report. This got me thinking that maybe we should let children run Congress instead of us adults, since these games have proved that multiple times. It's the adults who mess everything up and the 10-year-olds who save the day. We had a big child running the country for four years, Obama, and look how that went. Yeah, and now we have another one, and look how well that's going. I should have just kept my mouth shut, but anyway, Boys, looks like Team Aqua and Magma are coming up with plans to deal with the current situation going on. And Gru Don is about to Primal Reverge too, so we are going to be one busy bee. Out of all the insects to compare yourself to Obama, you pick a dumb bee. Well, what would you choose then, Donald? I would choose a fucking praying mantis Obama, because they are the goat of the insect world. Donald, you were just complimenting the graphics in this game, but the game designers didn't even bother to give the Pokemon Steven flu here on an actual style. All right, Joe, I agree with you on that one. That was pretty lazy of them, but that's one tiny thing compared to the vast amount of other great things about this game. Okay, well, on that note, I think we should end this episode here, boys. It's been a long one, so please remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content. Stay tuned for more, and have a lovely week. The music is super creepy now. Okay, you wonderful people, welcome back to Pokemon Omega Ruby, where shit is really starting to hit the fan here. Grudon has caused an intense sunny day We're all move, gonna die! And now the world is gonna get scorched if we don't do anything about it. So please like and subscribe if you wanna see me save the universe. Yeah, hey everyone, and we haven't got time for any shenanigans today since we have so much to do, otherwise the world might explode. That's right, Joe, and the music is currently stating the mood we are all feeling, which is slight anxiety, since I'm too young to die right now. Oh yeah, before things get more serious, we asked you all to comment in our last video regarding whether or not we should swap Reuniclus out for Gengar, and the majority of you all said yes, so I put our level 8 Ghastly, which I caught way back at the start of the game in our party. It's a shiny one too, and although I am sad to see a Pokemon named after me leave our team, Having a Gen Gar in our party is just going to be so amazing. And also, we don't have to worry about trade evolutions in this ROM hack either. Yeah, in this game, Haunter will evolve into Gen Gar at level 36, but it must also have a friendship level of 225, I think. So we stuck a Sooth Bell on it, and with the EXP share, it will slowly catch up to the rest of our team. And I think that concludes our announcements for now, boys. So now it's time for both of you to watch me as I save the world. And I would like to say, out of all the Pokemon games we've played so far, I feel like I have the most challenging task when it comes to saving the planet. Oh God, here we go. What you gonna do now then, huh? Release Obamacare 2.0 for the Horn region? Hey, they're gonna need Obamacare 2.0 after I've stopped this blazing sun because everyone is gonna have some serious sunburn and dry skin issues, which I shall be able to help them with by providing them with an affordable and beneficial healthcare system. Yeah, they could buy into your pyramid scheme, Obama, or they could just go to any Pokemon Center and buy a full restore for like $100. How was it a pyramid scheme, Joe, you fucking idiot? OMG, both of you, pay attention to the story. We just got the magma suit from Maxi here, and now they are about to open up this sacred temple thing so we can go stop Grudon, but apparently only we are allowed in and no one else is, which is just so convenient, isn't it? Yeah, and we will get the chance to catch the primal version of Grudon too, Donnie. And by the way, if we nickname it, 
The perfect name for Gru Don is definitely Donnie. It suits you perfectly, Donald. Oh, look who finally decided to make an appearance, guys. May is just going to show up now and then, act like she cares about us, when she just fucked off ever since we beat her in Lily Cove. And she just friend-zoned us boys by saying we are the best friend she's ever had. I'm pretty sure we're the only friend she's ever had, though. Hey, that was a pretty sick burn there for May Obama, but anyway, I see you've converted to a Republican now with that red suit of yours. Holy shit, you're right, Joe. This is the reason why Obama wanted to play Ruby instead of Sapphire so much, so his inner Republican could make its appearance via a proxy. You two say the dumbest shit sometimes you know that, right? And anyway, look, the blue Democrat orb is protecting me by showering me with a shield, so suck on that. Obama. I'm about to shower you with something warm and yellow in a minute, so how about you play the game? Look, the red beast has graced us with its presence, and I think Maxie has been smoking that cabbage because the dumbass wants us to jump on its back. Okay, as you can see, Obama is literally performing the Karma Sutra on Grudon's back, everyone. I must say, I didn't know you were into this, Obama, and I wonder what Michelle would think. Yeah, so fucking funny, Donald. If you saw a Snorlax with a blonde wig on, You'd think it was stormy or something. Yeah, more than that, I would like to point out the size comparison between our player and Grudon is so disproportionate. In the anime, Grudon is like the size of my Trump Tower. But in this game, he's literally twice the size of our player. And now look, he must be hungry because it looks like he's about to eat that giant Crystal Boys. This is where he has come because he wants to primal reverge now. This is such a cool looking place though, don't you both think? Like the graphics are amazing and the colors are really popping in here too. So much Republican red. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I don't know what you find so yummy about this, Donald, because this is starting to get really serious now. Grudon is about to change into the ultimate form. He looks so menacing, doesn't he, boys? That is one Pokemon I definitely wouldn't want to meet in a dark alley. I think he looks scarier in his normal form than in his primal form, and the same goes for Kyogre, too. Leave a comment down below letting us know which one out of Grudon and Kyogre you like the best. Well, I think Rayquaza is better than both of them, Obama. Okay, well, do you see Rayquaza here right now with us, Joe? Oh, wait. No, he's not here, you dumbass. Here we go, boys. The primal beast has been revealed to us, and I think he's gained a few pounds in his form change. Somehow, he's gained more weight. I don't think now's the best time to be making comments about his weight, Donald. He looks really angry for some reason. Well, if someone woke you up from one of your 1,000-year naps, Joe, I think you would be super pissed off, too, don't you think? As strong as Grudon is, I don't think using Hanzo would be the best idea, Obama, since Greninja here is so strong, it would probably one-shot the Red Beast. Yeah, and also, Grudon has Fisher on it, Obama, so if by some miracle it manages to land five of them in a row, we will be in big trouble. One thing we forgot to do was teach a status move to one of our Pokémon Obama. We will need one for sure in the post-game to deal with a certain Pokémon that will be coming up after we beat the Elite Four. Yeah, but every Legendary is available in this game. Remember, Donald, and I was going to save the Master Ball for your favorite Pokémon because I'm such a good friend to you. Yay! Obama, I love you so much, and I'm sorry I'm so mean to you sometimes. You're my favorite Democrat. It's not like I have much competition, is it, Donnie? But thanks anyway, I guess. You're welcome, Obama, and I suggest you start throwing Ultra Balls now and pray to Arceus you catch it. Wait, what the hell, Obama? What did I miss? How have you already caught it? Because I'm such a good player, Joe, I can catch these legendary Pokemon with my eyes closed. No, the real reason is we were sitting throwing Ultra Balls until we ran out. Joe and Obama didn't save before battling Grodon, so we had to resort to, and I quote, other means to catch it. Yeah, let's not get bogged down with how I caught Grodon, boys, and instead celebrate the fact that I, Barack fucking Obama, saved the whole world from severe drought, and we now have our own personal kaiju. Well, I think Grudon is based more off Godzilla Obama, but either way, well done for saving the world. Although what I did in Pokemon White required way more bravery than what you did. All right, Donald, we all know that's complete bullshit. All you did was battle a few morons whilst I literally jumped on the back off Grudon, and I could have died if I fell in the lava. Yeah, Obama gets this W, Donald. Sorry, not you. I stopped Team Galactic from creating an entire new universe, but that doesn't top what Obama just did in my eyes. Go get those eyes tested then, Joe, because you are clearly blind as well as deluded if you think what Obama did was so great. And by the way, what you even did was impressive, so you're just licking his butt. 
Okay, but look at how many people are out celebrating the savior of the world thanks to Obama, but the only fanfare you got was an old man, LMO. In case you were wondering, Donald, the old man Joe was referring to wasn't himself, but Professor Rowan LMAO. And look, I even get super cool hero music to go along with my victory. Fine, Obama, I will take the L, but when it's my turn to play again, I shall be the real hero. It's nice to see the sky not being a burning yellow color, Obama, but instead a beautiful starry sky. I love stargazing with my children. Whilst you smoke a big fat one and burn holes in your nose, snorting all that salt and sugar, right, Joe LMFL? Look, Team Magma and Aqua are reflecting on their evil ways, boys, and I bet they're gonna disband now, too. This is probably the first time an evil team has actually realized their mistakes and grown. Well, if you think about it, Obama, and in Pokemon Black and White also realized what he was doing was wrong when he tried to separate people in Pokemon, but then again, he was being brainwashed by Getsis. Yeah, N is also a good cookie too, Donald, I agree. And by the way, Obama, after we beat the game, we should go back to Team Magma's base and see what Maxi is doing there. Screw that, Joe. Look, Steven just gave us the best item in any Pokemon game ever. The Eon Flute, which means we can finally fly around the entire Hoenn region like a jet plane and do barrel rolls and backflips and pick up hot chicks as we fly by them. All that can wait, Donald, because this city is home to the final gym of the game, which means after this battle, we won't have much left to do. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot Obama. This battle is gonna be against Wallace. He's a water type leader, which means we can sweep the entire gym with Skeptile pretty much, but I do recommend teaching Energy Ball to it instead of Leaf Storm. All right. I made it through the first two gym puzzles, which wasn't interesting at all, but I thought it would be worth recording from here to show you all how good at puzzles I am, and I absolutely did this on my first try. The funny thing is, Obama is actually really good at puzzles, but what's your plan of attack for the final gym of the game? This one is gonna be the toughest. You say it's gonna be the toughest battle, Donald, but water types have like a billion weaknesses, and our team has a bunch of moves super effective against water. Well, we have Mega Ladios and Mega Skeptile with us, but Wallace also has a full team of six Pokemon, and we have no idea what to expect when going into this battle. But at least you did some training off screen, Joe, unlike in the last episode where you fucked up badly. Donald, you can't keep blaming me for things which I have no fault in, and it's all your fault. you also it's all keep your blaming fault. me it's all your for fault. things after they've already happened, too. Joe, guess what? Ugh, what, Donald? It's all your fault, it's all your fault, it's all your fault. How comes I never fight with Obama, but I always end up clashing with your pig-faced ass constantly? Why has God done me dirty like this by sticking me with you? God has given you a blessing, Joe, in the form of yours truly, Donald J. Trump. And now we should help our dear friend Obama win this battle. And then after I'll get back to bullying, you don't worry. I was about to say it would be nice to take on the final gym together instead of you two acting like children. And as you can see, I have Skeptile out which I shall mega evolve, and then unleash a slew of energy balls. You gotta be careful though, Obama, because some of his Pokemon might have ice-type moves which could take us out. It was nice to see Politoed though. If Wallace's Pokemon is almost in the level 70 zone, then that would mean the champion battle is gonna be at least in the level 80s Obama, which means we should do some thorough training and build a more diverse move pool for our team. Yeah, not a bad shout there, Donald. Maybe some of our viewers could recommend some moves for our team. And also, look, it's a Ludicolo. This is the dumbest Pokemon ever, Obama. I mean, just look at it. What the fuck were they thinking when they made this piece of shit? Donald had just one shot our Skeptile, so I think you need to retract your statement. I don't care, Joe. It's going to die anyway, and we have Air Force One out now, I'm too. I'm going to stop you so right there, Donald. The and this. instead, how about you provide me with some useful tips here? Obama, if you want my actual advice, you should have taught Thunder to one of our Pokemon since there is a constant rainstorm going on in here, but you were too dumb to think of that. Hold it right there, Donald. You have no right to call Obama a dummy when you have made your fair share of mistakes too, and way more than him at that. Yeah, thanks for that support there, Joe. Donald, that Thunder Strat of yours would have been really useful before battling Wallace. You do this all the time, you know. And what exactly do I do, Obama? You tell me all these 1,000 IQ strats after the battle has begun. So you seem like some super genius Pokemon trainer, but in reality, you do it to make Joe and I look like bad trainers. Yeah, you do that all the time, Donald. And now look, Obama might lose this battle because of you. 
Joe, it's really not hard to make you look like a piece of shit. And by the way, I spent most of our money on drugs for Obama so he could revive our team if need be. What did you do for him, Joe? I don't need to do anything for him, Donnie. I exist, and therefore, that is all the sustenance Obama needs. Joe, you are absolutely not my sustenance. Do you know how gross that sounds? I don't need to eat bits of your gross, flaky skin to survive, you know. Okay, Joe, that sentence is probably the most gross thing that's come out of your mouth, and I have seen a lot of shit leave your mouth in my time being with you. Yeah, instead of attacking me, how about we talk about Obama killing our skeptical twice now, and Wallace has brought out a fucking Kingdra of all things. I did not see that one coming. He has a point there, Obama. You killed our starter twice in a row, and now we barely have anything here to deal with this Kingdra. And I would argue that this is his strongest Pokemon, even stronger than his melodic. Donald, I see you're talking as much shit as Joe has been in this battle. I did not kill Skeptile twice in a row. It got killed twice, but not in a row. Oh, and that makes it better, does it, Obama? You still got it killed twice, and we haven't even got access to its mega form now either, so this hasn't exactly gone to plan, has it? Donald, you said Kingdra was his strongest Pokemon, but all it keeps using is Rain Dance, which is a bit of a shit strat if you ask me. It's not even gaining any advantage by doing that. Joe, I think you're the one who's a bit of a shit strat. Donald, what does that even mean? Joe, I think Water-type Pokemon get boosted speed and stronger Water-type moves when it's raining, but I could be wrong about that since this is a ROM hack. And also, this is Gen 6, technically, I think. But anyway, I brought out Greninja as a strat, so I could pop a max revive on our Skeptile. All right, Obama. That was a good strat, and so was setting up the toxic spikes, too. But I still stand by my previous statement that this is probably one of the strongest Pokemon in this battle. Look at you Rain Dance again, Donald. That's like three times in a row now. What even is the point of this Pokemon, seriously? Once again, Joe, what is the point of you? OMG, Donald, seriously, stop with that shit now, please! Okay, well, in other news, as you can see, I managed to get a Dragon Pulse onto this Kingdra, which should be the end of it. And to be honest, Donald Joe was right. This Pokemon literally just made me wet and did Phrasing. nothing else in the battle. All right, finally, Obama took you long enough to deal with that overpriced seahorse. And now he has one of the OGs, Starmie. This is one super cool Pokemon and one we all love. Yeah, Starmie is a Pokemon that apparently came from outer space or something, Donald. And I think it's one of the most unique Pokemon there is. And keep in mind, it's also one of the oldest too. I just want to say that I don't particularly like it, Donald. It doesn't even have eyes. So how the hell can it even see anything? Joe, you have eyes, but you still can't walk up Air Force One without falling down the stairs, and you can't even ride a bicycle for more than 10 feet without falling over either, so you can't exactly talk, can you? Shots fired there by Donnie Joe. He got you big time, LMAO. And now look, boys, he sent out the Pokemon, which has won Wallace many Pokemon contests. I just want to point out that Skeptile's friendship level with us is probably like negative 10,000 thanks to you, and this battle Obama You've gone and killed it three times in a row now. That's true, but he's not doing bad considering we haven't mega evolved since the first battle, Donald. And unlike Kingdra, at least Melodic actually attacks us and makes this battle somewhat interesting. Yeah, but the stupid shit keeps spamming Protect, which is such a cheap move in my opinion, Joe. It uses that, and then Wallace uses a full restore on it immediately after. I mean, seriously, how cheap can you get? Well, Donald, it seems lots of the trainers in this game seem to be taking ideas from your book about playing cheap and dirty LMAO. And then you get surprised when it happens to you. Joe, unless your dementia has significantly worsened in the last five minutes, as well as your eyesight, you'd remember that I'm not the one even playing. Obama blah, is blah, playing, blah, you blah, fucking blah, blah. idiot. OMG, stop doing that, Joe. You do it all the time, holy hell. As much as I would like to continue winding you up, Donnie, look. Obama brought out Sceptile again for the fourth time now. Can you believe this shit? Yeah, I was kind of banking on you two. Continuing your argument and not noticing I did that, but hey, ho, here we go. I will give him the benefit of the doubt, Joe, this one time. Considering that fucking makeup covered sea serpent thing used, protect a billion times, and then full restores, and on top of all that, it had a leftovers too. Okay, well, looks like we know who his mega Pokemon is gonna be now, boys. But I'm glad Wallace has a Swampert. What an amazing Pokemon, which is loved by all.
Mega Swampert looks like it has been taking so much steroids, but injected all in his forearms and only doing forearm exercises instead of his biceps and triceps. And after all that, who had it died to one energy ball. But anyway, well done, Obama. You got all the gym badges in the Hoenn region now. And since that is all finished, who do you think was the toughest gym battle you had? I think the toughest gym battle was probably the seventh one since there were two Joe, gym leaders. Joe, are you deaf Norman as well as blind, or are you just an idiot? I was asking Obama. That's why I said Obama and not idiot being you. Okay, well, I thought you'd like my opinion too, Donald. Seventh gym was the toughest. And now in other news, our ghastly just evolved into Haunter, which means we have a shit ton of training to do since we basically need to double its levels by the time we get to the Elite Four. So how are we gonna do that, boys? First, Obama, we need to get a HM slave and teach a bunch of water moves to it. And we can train up Haunter into a Gengar and Victory Road, I guess, or go to the Cave of Origin again. Pokemon in there. We're level 70, and our max repels wouldn't even stop some of them. I think the Cave of Origin is the best place, Donald, since we're already here and then we can go find that Gengarite so it can mega evolve. And that should mean our team will be set for the Elite Four and post-game boys. Okay, Joe, since you insist on going to the Cave of Origin, you can train our Haunter up for us later. Thank you very much, but anyway, boys, can you believe we have all eight gym badges now? This has been a trip for sure. That's right, Obama, and we also need to test the Eon Flute out in the next episode, too. But anyway, boys, how about we conclude this episode here? Yeah, good idea, Donnie. So thank you for watching everyone. And our current upload schedule is around the three to four days mark since we have a lot going on in life. So we hope you all understand, but please remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our content. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Omega Ruby. Today we will be taking on Victory Road and have lots of battles here. So please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy our content. Okay, Joe, I rate your intro a solid four out of 10, bro. Needs some work. But anyway, welcome everyone, and sorry if this episode is out a bit later than normal. It's probably going to be a long one, so sit back and enjoy my battles. Yeah, these last few battles before we take on the Elite Four should be quite interesting for you, Obama, because we'll probably get to see new Mega Pokemon, and also, you'll actually have a challenge. Now you listen here, Donald. It's not my fault that I'm such a G and absolutely goaded at Pokemon battles now that every trainer I take on loses immediately. They just look at me and basically give up. Wow, and I thought you were meant to be the humble one, but anywho, look, it's a Glaceon, boys. And also, we should welcome the final member to our team, too. Our Haunter finally evolved into a Gengar, and we did a shit ton of training off screen to get this thing to level 70. Once again, Donnie, you both made me do all the training, but I didn't care for this one since everyone loves Gengar, especially me. And I also found it's Mega Stone, too. Yeah, well done, Joe. This is one of the very few times you deserve to get a compliment from me. And on top of that, you got the Mega Stone too, which is just unbelievable to me. But sadly, Obama will be the one to unleash shiny Mega Gengar and not you, LMAO. Donald, sometimes I can't tell if you're having a stroke or not, bro. Yeah, big fucking whoop. No one cares now back to me since this game is all about yours truly. And I would like to say something, boys. All right, Obama, what you saying? I wanted to have a conversation with you two about how this current team for this game is probably my favorite one we've used so far in all our playthroughs we've done. Something about this team is just great. Yeah, Obama, I agree with you there, actually. We've played through three different regions now, and this is our fourth, excluding Paldea, as we haven't finished Pokemon Violet yet, but this has to be the best team so far for sure. You two are such simps, you know that, right? Donald, what in the actual hell does our opinion about this Pokemon team have anything to do with us being simps, which we are not, by the way? He's just jealous that I get to use this team of Pokemon Joe, and he doesn't. I know that's the reason, Donald, so don't bother denying it, because if you do, then you're lying, which is nothing new either. Okay, fine, Obama. I've been keeping this to myself all this time, but this is so not fair at all. You get, like, the most overpowered team ever, and all I got was a fake eagle, a giant blue otter thing, and a black generator with wings. Donald, you literally use Zekrom, so instead of calling it a black generator with wings, how about you be thankful and grateful that you got to use such an awesome legendary Pokemon? And on top of all that, we let you use Arceus and Pokemon Platinum too. Yeah, and Obama even said he'd catch Arceus for you in this game too, Donnie. So take a chill pill and enjoy the show. 
And at the end of the day, you can always restart this game later and play it with whichever team you want by yourself. Joe, the whole point is that I play with a team like this so our viewers know I have great taste in Pokemon, but now they think Obama has better taste than I do, and they probably think he's a better trainer than me as well. Well, I mean, all that's true, Donald. Whether our viewers think so or not, LMAO, I will always be better than you. I was a better president, I'm a better Pokemon trainer, and generally I'm just better at being a human than you in this game of life. You are the worst at playing that game for sure. All right, ouch, Obama, you didn't need to take it that far, bro. Why'd you have to make it so personal? That was my version of a one-hit KO move, Donnie, and it clearly worked because your usual snarky comebacks were nowhere to be seen. But anyway, boys, this fucking trainer has a full team of fighting types, which means more experience for our Charizard. Yeah, not like it needs any more experience, though, Obama, because look, it's already level 80 plus now, which is a bit excessive, don't you think? Joe, if I asked for your opinion, then I would have said something along the lines of, hey, Joe, what's your opinion on our Charizard gaining more EXP? But did I say that? Oh, wait, no, I didn't, you fool. Okay, then Obama just came in with a sucker punch to my left there, Donnie. What's up with him today? This sassy Obama is like nothing we have seen before. I know, Joe, he's really coming in with those insults against me and you, and usually we're the ones fighting but I feel we're both in so much shock by this new development that we can't get ourselves to insult him back. I'm just stating facts here, boys, and the fact is you two are just so pathetic and useless compared to me, it's actually unreal. For example, I have only lost one battle in this series so far, whilst the both of you have lost multiple, which just shows I'm better. Oh, look, Joe, this trainer is about to send in a Blaziken, and it's probably gonna mega evolve like every last Pokemon does which these trainers have here in the Victory Road. Donnie, you can't just spring a new topic on me like that. My brain isn't as fast as it used to be. Sorry, Joe, it was the first thing I could think of to talk to you about since I don't feel like talking to Obama anymore. He's being a really big meanie bobini to us, and I don't like it. Grow a fucking pair, Donnie, seriously. You can't handle the fact that I am the supreme overlord out of our group. Elmo, he told you to grow some balls, Donald, if you didn't get it. He thinks he's so great, Joe, but here we are still battling this mega Blaziken Obama. What's up with that then, huh? I can feel the jealousy seeping out of you, Donald. But it's okay, you're still my friend, you know. He finally beat this old man Donald. And by the way, why is it dark, but also not really dark all at the same time in this cave? Because, Joe, once again, this game was developed for the snowflakes, and basically this is the new version of a cave being dark, meaning you're not really meant to see where you're going, except this isn't dark at all especially if you can still see with your shit eyesight. Yeah, this makes no sense adding this black filter over the screen, which is essentially what they've done here, boys. They could have added that fog like they did in some of the Sinnoh caves or a mist or something, but this is just trash. So this achieves basically nothing then. And anyway, our Charizard's tail is perpetually on fire, so surely that would light this place up, but I guess adding that was too difficult for them too. To top it all off, we just found the TM for flamethrower of all TMs to find in this part of the cave. L-M-A-O, what jokers these developers are. All right, looks like you have a double battle here, Obama. So let's see how well this goes. Hopefully better than your last one against Tate and Liza. And remember, these two will also have mega Pokemon as well. This will be a cinch for me, Donnie, because I am gonna unleash the second coolest mega Pokemon on our team, which could possibly be better than Charizard, I don't know. But anyway, Mega Gengar has Dazzling Gleam, which allows us to hit two Pokemon at once, which is always good. We'll meet in the middle of that opinion of yours, Obama, and say that shiny Mega Gengar is the best. But normal Mega Gengar is not as cool as Mega Charizard, especially the Y version. Fake news! But nothing is as cool as Mega Rayquaza, shiny or not. All right, check it out. I taught Light Screen to our Latios boys, which means we will be very strong against special attack moves for the next five turns but I will win this battle in three because I am the GOAT. Uh-oh, here comes trouble Obama. These two peasants have a guard of war with them like Tate and Liza did, which means this is about to go south, LMAO. Now nah, this battle won't go like that one. Donald, have some faith in me, will you, bro? And anyway, that Marsharna is more trouble right now since all it does is try put me to sleep with hypnosis. He just one shot that guard of war too, Donnie. There is nothing that can stand in the way of our shiny Gengar now. 
except maybe a dark type. But lucky enough, we won't encounter any of those for the rest of the game. He only beat it because it didn't mega evolve, Joe. And now we have a Pokemon strong against psychic types. It just makes things easier for him. Easy or not, Donald, he still one-shot that stupid Pokemon. And by the way, Obama, you have a rival battle coming up soon, too. Yeah, and it's against Wally, who I still believe is the most pointless rival. We literally battle him like twice in this whole game. There's some post-game battles, Donald, and also he's going to have a very strong team, remember? But obviously, he's still going to lose. And we never find out what sickness he has either, do we? Who actually cares about Wally Obama? He is so forgetful, and unless we play this game again, we will all forget him because he is pointless. Hey, did you two realize that this victory road is probably the best looking one out of any of the games in the series? Especially the grassy parts. It looks so beautiful. You're such a nerd, Joe. You know, I think we're going to encounter every single mega Pokemon from here on out, boys. Every trainer has one, and after I'm champion, the remaining battles will also have mega Pokemon. Metacham is such a weird Pokemon to have a mega form for, though, don't you think, Obama? That Pokemon didn't deserve to get one, and there are so many better Pokemon who deserve to get that ability. What I think is more interesting, Joe, is that this universe is only one of millions of them, and the other universes don't have Mega Pokemon. That whole concept always confused me, because then, which universe is the real one? Well, they're all real, Donald, but some have Mega Pokemon and others don't. That's about it, really. Remember, there was that episode in the anime in Alola when Ash went into a different universe, so it doesn't really matter, does it? We can discuss that later, Donnie, because it's time to show Wally who the boss is and make him go cry to his mommy back in Verdant Turf Town, LMAO. Obama, if you can do one thing for me in this playthrough is never battle Wally again after this. He's wearing his Megastone around his neck, boys, which means he finally got the Megastone for his gal, Aid. That thing will die, though, because R1 had the worst defense in Pokemon Platinum. Wally is starting off with a Rose Raid, though, which is an awesome Pokemon Obama. And at least his team is going to be a varied one, which is what we want. Yeah, I actually had a sneak peek at his full team boys, which may piss some of you off, but I wanted to see if he'd actually be a challenge, and sadly, that won't be the case. I also looked at his team to see how much time we'd be wasting battling this moron. And yeah, fair to say I'm losing what remaining time I have left on Earth. Watching you battle Wally, Obama. Please don't tell me what his team is, guys. I don't want it spoiled for me. And I also hope you two haven't checked out the teams of the Elite Four and Steven Battles, because that would be no fun if you already know what to expect. Don't worry, Joe. We didn't look any further than this battle, because the way I see it, this is just free EXP for our Pokemon, and that's as good as Wally will ever be. He's basically an EXP farm for us, LMAO. Oh, look, he has Garchomp, boys. This should have been his Mega Pokemon instead of Gallade, don't you two think? So far, his team consists of three Pokemon, all from the Sinnoh region, too. Holy hell, you're right, Joe. That's just one more reason for us to hate Wally boys. He has no creativity, no passion at all. He was given the perfect opportunity to build a team of Pokemon from like four regions, but no, he's just a lazy shit. And his Garchomp just took us out with one outraged Donald. His Garchomp is nothing like Cynthia's one, but I wasn't expecting that to happen. LMAO. The fact you mentioned Cynthia's Garchomp in the same sentence as Wally's is basically blasphemy Obama. You deserve to be punished severely for that statement. Obama, if you're not careful that Garchomp is going to take us out again with another outrage, and then I'm sorry, but I'll probably have to agree with Donald and vote yes for you getting punished. There's going to be no punishments around here, you two. And anyway, you'll be happy when I've beaten Wally Donald, so I know that will shut you up for the time being. Okay, wow, he actually has one Pokemon that isn't from the same region, and it's actually a good Pokemon, too. This is starting to make me miss the Talonflame we used to have back in the beginning of the game, boys. Yeah, but it won't last long, Donnie, because I taught Thunderbolt to our Gengar. And by the way, I never realized how diverse a move pool Gengar has. He can literally learn any move. Wow, this punk has a fucking Azumarill, Elmao. His team was looking pretty good, but then he went and got this Chonky Boy, which is also a fairy type, by the way, Obama. Hey, I actually like Azumarill a lot, Joe. It's a really strong Pokemon in competitive play, and also look, it just tanked a direct Thunderbolt from Gengar. I actually like it a lot, too. Obama, look how floofy and cuddly it is. I could get one of these stuffed and turned into a cushion for my penthouse. Actually, I should go on a mass hunt of Azumarill and get them all stuffed. 
All right, Donald, that was unnecessarily dark there, bro. But anyway, you can't get it stuffed because I just knocked it out, and now he's sending out his final Pokemon, boys. Here comes his Mega Pokemon Obama. But hey, swapping out Reuniclus for Gengar was such a good shout. Since this thing is destroying everything, I bet we could even take it out the entire Elite Four. You know, Hoenn's Elite Four is one I can never remember except for Drake because I love his music. But other than him, the others are so forgetful. And boom, there goes Wally Boys. I one-shot that Gallade and didn't even need to Mega Evolve our Gengar Elmile. Donald the Drake you're thinking of and this one are not the same one. The Elite Four Drake is an old man and Drizzy Drake is a hip-hop artist from Toronto. Joe, shut the fuck up. No one cares about what you have to say as per usual. Now, well done, Obama, for getting rid of this moldy-haired mongrel, and please get him out of my sight. Before he leaves, though, Donald, look, he's giving us a gift. It's Galati's Megastone Obama, which we will never, ever use, but it was kind of Wally to give it to us anyway, don't you think? This is probably the best thing he will ever do for us. I'm just happy we never have to see him again, Joe. And now we can finally head into the Elite Four main building and take them on Obama. I am super excited to see you battle them like Joe and I have done before you. We are your forefathers. The last thing you'll ever be, Donald, is my forefather, El Mao. You only played last because I let you. But look, here's another Mega Stone hiding next to the entrance, boys. It was a Mega Stone for Mewtwo WoW. And Joe, the Y version of Mewtwo is better than the X, by the way. Well, I think that the X version is Joe, actually- Joe, I swear to God, if you say the X version is now better, I will smack you so hard in the face. El Mao. I was messing with you, Donnie. The Y version is definitely the best Mewtwo. Check it out, guys. I am finally using the Eon Flute now to fly around Hoenn with our Latios, and we actually need to go somewhere, but I thought we should take the scenic route. I was waiting for this moment, Obama, all my life. Look how glorious this view is, and all the towns and the starry sky, it's all so beautiful. I wish we could see people walking around, though. Considering we're recording this at two in the morning, Donald, they're probably all asleep, but yeah, this is certainly one of the best features in any Pokemon game. And then look at Pokemon Violet, what utter BS that was. Don't even remind me about that trash, Joe, but anyway, where exactly are you going, Obama? I'm gonna fly to Lily Cove City, Donald, so that we can get to the move deleter's house and remove dive and waterfall off Greninja since we won't need those moves anymore. I don't think, boys. Oh yeah, good shout, Obama, and we can always teach them back to Greninja after if we need them. We will need dive, though, for the Reggie Trio when it's time to catch them, though. Fuck catching a relicanth Joe. Do you know how long that shit takes to find? It takes forever. And if you want the trio so bad, you can waste your remaining years looking for that dumb fish. Okay, yeah, nah, thanks, Obama. I have already done a shit ton of training and leveling up Pokemon for you both, including myself, too, which is never gonna happen again. Yeah, we will see about that, Joe Elmau. And tell me, Obama, what moves are you gonna replace Waterfall and Dive with? They better be super OP moves, otherwise we will have a problem. You could teach Dark Pulse Obama, that's my suggestion. You'll both have to wait and see what moves I teach Greninja when we enter the Elite Four Boys. And to be honest, I don't even know if the moves I will teach it will be useful, since I'm not looking at what teams the Elite Four has just to make it more fun. Okay, well, we could either be setting ourselves up for a W or absolute failure if you do that, Obama. But whatever I agree with your plan, it'll be fun to keep things interesting like this. Gotta live life on the edge, Donnie. But anyway, boys, I say we end this episode here, and I want to apologize since I thought this episode would be longer, but we got to the Elite Four faster than I thought. So in the next episode, we shall be taking them on. So please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. Yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Have a lovely week, and we hope to see you in the next episode. Okay, but I hope to see them more than you do, Joe, because I'm better than you. Hey everyone, and welcome to the best episode yet of our Pokemon Omega Ruby playthrough. This is gonna be a long one, so we apologize if it takes a while to come out, but sit back and enjoy. And please remember to like and subscribe. That's right, Donnie, no time for fancy intros and all that shizzle. Today I will be crowning myself champion of the Pokemon League and the Huen region too. I'm so looking forward to this episode, Obama, because you finally get to join Donald and I as champions. Well, hopefully you do if you win, that is. Joe, what do you mean if I win? I'm the GOAT and always will be, and our team is solid with a very diverse move pool, so I know we will win. Well, we're about to put all that talk to the test, Obama. Here's the first member of the Elite Four. His name is Sidney, and I don't even remember this guy existed. This Elite Four is so forgetful, seriously. 
He looks like a punk Donnie. But don't worry, he'll be taken down, and I think this guy uses Dark-type Pokemon, actually, which is a good change. Or he's a Poison-type. The houses the Elite Four live in in this game is definitely the coolest looking, though. In my opinion, even though these guys are pointless since no one can remember any of them except Drizzy Drake. Joe, you dumbass, they don't live in these places. It's a battlefield. Seriously, sometimes I can actually feel my common sense shattering before me when you talk. Okay, well, how was I supposed to know they don't call this place home, Donald? They look so beautiful from the outside. OMG, Joe, shut the fuck up. I have a very serious battle going on and can't afford to have my common sense shatter too right now. I gotta beat this punk up. Cool seeing his first Pokemon be a Weavile, isn't it, Obama? Such a great Pokemon to use, and this Elite Four is actually starting off quite well. Imagine if they had legendaries, though. El Mao. Don't jinx it, Donald. And also, how the hell did Charizard just die to an Ice-type Pokemon? That wasn't a very good strat, was it, Obama? Joe would only beat Charizard because Weevil has insane speed stats, and it was a lucky hit, too. To be honest, it was more luck than anything, but anyway, I got this, so don't worry. I would just use Surf if it was me, Obama, since that's always a good move to use and could potentially carry us throughout this entire battle. Yeah, thanks for that advice there, Donnie. Good shout. See, Joe, you could provide valuable insights for the battle like Donald is. He's actually being helpful for once. Make the most of it, Obama, because you never know. I could change any moment. Mwahahaha. All right, I want to get in on this helping out Obama thing, too, so... Watch as I provide you with some amazing strats, bro. I am a three-time champion, remember, so I'm battle-hardened. Okay, Joe, Sydney has sent out a Scrafty now, so what's your advice for Obama on this one? I think a good plan would be to set up a light screen, Obama, to help protect us from some strong special attacks, and also avoid using psychic-type moves since they won't be effective against Scrafty. All right, Joe, I was gonna use light screen anyway, so you need a better plan for me than that. And by the way, how the fuck does Knock Off do so much damage to us? Weevil used it before and it almost killed us. I don't know, Obama. Okay, how helpful, Donnie. So now all I'm left with is Joe to give me advice for this battle. Obama, throughout this playthrough, you kept saying how goaded you were. And I don't even need to quote that because, you know, you said it. So why should Donald and I help you anyway? He makes a good point there, Obama. Why should we help such a goaded person as yourself? Apparently, LMAO. Thanks to you, we just lost our Latios now, too, boys. I haven't Mega Evolved yet either because I feel we don't really need to, but now I'm reconsidering. Obama, that's your L, not ours, so take it like a man, will you please? And also, it would be really embarrassing if you lost this battle like Joe did when he battled Cynthia for the first time in our Pokemon Platinum playthrough. That will never happen, Donald, because I'm more competent than Joe, and he went straight into that battle like a cocky little shit and then got destroyed, so what did you expect to happen? All right, fair enough, Obama. I can't argue with that logic, LMAO. But anyway, look, his next Pokemon is I just want to interrupt you, Donnie, favorites. because it was a little unfair how you just Joe, threw me OMG. under the bus again with regards to me losing to Cynthia. Joe, I would throw you under Apollo 11 if I could, because Obama is right. You were acting like the most arrogant person I have ever saw since I last looked in the mirror, and you got what you deserved. Well, when you battled Cynthia in our Pokemon White playthrough, you acted like your usual cocky self. Exactly, Joe. That's my norm. And your norm is not being cocky, but being a moron and living at the bottom of the food chain around these here parts. So how about we go back to being that? Okay, well, I'm still here battling this Tyranitar, if you two forgot what was going on, and this thing is giving me a lot of grief. It keeps tanking my hits. Well, Tyranitar is basically a tank with legs, Obama, so what do you expect? And I guess this isn't going to be his mega Pokemon if he's gone and sent it out now. Yeah, you make a good point there, Donald. That really makes me wonder what his mega Pokemon is. And this goddamn sandstorm is still going holy hell. Oh shit, Obama, he has a Greninja too. You absolutely need to keep ours out and go head to head with his Greninja to see which one is stronger. Yeah, now this would be very embarrassing if you lost to his Greninja Obama when ours is so much more higher level than his. I already have him poisoned, Joe, so as far as I'm concerned, I've already won this battle. And anyway, we all know who has the best Greninja. What the hell this guy has the protein ability too? That's such a rare ability for a Pokemon to have, so how did he get a Protein Froki? He's an Elite Four member, Joe, which means he's rich, and if you know rich people like I do, then we have our ways of getting anything we want, when we want it. And there you have it, Joe. We all know who has the best Greninja, and it was obviously me. I killed his Greninja, ironically, with a Water-type move. And the Sandstorm has finally ended to Obama, which means the rest of this battle will be smooth sailing for you.
And his next Pokemon here is one of my favorites. Yeah, Bisharp is a great Pokemon, Donnie. And by the way, didn't this guy get a new evolution in Scarlet and Violet? Yeah, Joe, the new evolution of Bisharp is King Ambit, and it's an amazing Pokemon. Evolving it isn't so amazing, though, Obama. It's an absolute bitch to get it to evolve, but I agree it's up there as one of the best. Okay, one thing I've noticed is that lots of trainers seem to have focus sashes on their Pokemon, and it's so fucking annoying, Jesus Christ. I was wondering if you noticed that too, Obama, because it's like every Pokemon has sturdy, which is something I had to deal with a shit ton in our Pokemon White playthrough, and it drove me mad. So it's nice to see you also go through this hell, LMAO. Hey, we should compare each champion battle after you beat Steven Obama, and we can make a judgment on who the strongest is. All right, looks like this is his mega Pokemon Obama, and Absol, and I think this Pokemon is proof this guy is a dark type leader instead of poison. I wasn't sure to begin with. Yeah, this thing will be easy to deal with Donald. Mega Absol isn't that threatening to me. If anything, I'm threatening to him, so this battle has already been won in my mind. Hey, were you two listening to what I said earlier about comparing the champions? I thought it would be a good idea. Joe, we ignored what you said because it was such a pointless idea. How is it pointless, Donald? After Obama beats Steven, we can compare and see which of the champions is the strongest, so what's pointless about that? Joe, we already know who the strongest champions are. If you watched the last few episodes of the Pokemon anime with Ash, they basically show us in order who the strongest champions are. And Leon is the strongest. Is he though Obama? We never actually see him battle Cynthia, which is something they should have done. So that would have been a really interesting battle to watch in my opinion. Donald, if Ash can beat Cynthia, then Leon could too. There's no question. Obama, you're wrong. Just admit defeat. Cynthia would cream Leon in an all out battle. OMG Donald, how about you admit defeat for once and let me humble your fat ass? A minute ago, you both said this debate was pointless. And now you're both arguing who the strongest champion is without my opinion on the matter. Okay, well done, Obama, for beating the first leader. And now it's time to battle this weirdo doing some sort of weird dance thing. Yeah, I think she's having a stroke, Donald. All right, I even agree this elite four member is tripping badly, boys. She's a ghost type leader, Obama, which means we can just use our Gengar and Mega Evolve it, and we will slay this battle much quicker than what you did with Sydney. Yeah, I was thinking that too, Donald, but we also have our Protean Greninja, which has Dark Pulse, so I say that's actually a better strat, since Ghost Type is super effective against Ghost, but not so much Dark. Her name is Phoebe Boys. Seriously, I have no idea who this chick is. And she's starting off with a Miss Magius too, which is a Pokemon we haven't seen since we battled Fantina in Sinnoh. You know, I think Fantina's Miss Magius is gonna be more threatening than this one will be Joe, especially since it's the first Pokemon she sent out. Well, I already prefer Fantina's one Donnie since this one is already playing dirty by using Thunder Wave, which is just a stupid move. It wastes an entire turn I could be using to kill this thing, but instead I'm here now having to use a full restore. I agree, Obama. Those moves are only fun when we use them, but if anyone else uses them, then it becomes annoying. Not gonna lie, Donald, but that does sound very hypocritical, which I know is nothing you're not used to, but just saying. Oh my God, it used Thunder Wave again. This thing is just trying to stall because Phoebe knows she's gonna lose her Miss Magius as well as her battle. Well, good thing we remembered to actually stocked up on full restores and max revives Obama, unlike the last time, which was all Joe's fault. How is it all my fault, Because Donald? it just is, Joe. All right, Donald, I'm starting to think your Gengar strat will be the way forward because I thought this Miss Magius would be dead by now. Well, to be fair to you, Obama, it probably would have worked with Greninja if Miss Magius didn't play so dirty, but I still stand by my Gengar strat. When it mega evolves, its special attack goes over 400. Look, now's your chance to switch out Obama since Phoebe has a Gengar of her own and it's clearly not her mega Pokemon. It proves she's a shit elite four member if she doesn't think her Gengar is good enough to mega evolve. Just destroy her, Obama. She deserves it badly. Look, that right there was a good comparison between shiny Gengar and the normal colored one. And I think the normal one actually looks better, LMAO. Yeah, we'll say bye-bye to her Gengar, Joe, because it's gonna die to a Shadow Ball now. Just watch. Okay, say bye-bye to your Gengar, Phoebe. Do you guys think that each Pokemon they send out after the one before is basically getting stronger and stronger? Joe, if you've only worked that out now, then you're actually demented. Sorry to interrupt your rant, Donald, about Joe's idiocy, but this here is one cool Pokemon which I would like to talk about. I've made my point, Obama, so it's cool, but yeah, Dusk Noir is so cool and unique. I remember it being in that one anime episode where it saved everyone from a literal ghost. Holy hell, I remember that episode, Donnie. It scared the shit out of me. 
That ghost was a cute little girl who wanted to take everyone to the spirit world, which was off a literal cliff. That was a really dark and scary episode. Yeah, I gotta agree with you, Joe. That episode was quite dark, and if you guys watching don't know which anime episode we're talking about, then it's called Ghoul Days, I think. Go check it out and leave a comment about it to tell us what you think. The one thing Phoebe has done right is use Chandelure, which almost makes up for her not using a Mega Gengar. But sadly, it's not enough unless she had a shiny Chandelure or a Dark Rye. Donald, if Phoebe had a Dark Rye, she'd be overpowered as hell. The last guy didn't even have a legendary Pokemon, so why should Phoebe get to use one? Well, her final Pokemon is a Sableye Obama, which is a great Pokemon, so she doesn't need a Dark Ray. Sableye is a fucking pussy, Joe. Just look at this thing. It mega evolves and then hides behind its gem like a bitch. Agreed, Donald, and now it's playing dirty again using Will-O-Wisp. I know Burns won't do much to me, but still, this is such a waste of time move. Yeah, and it just survived a direct hit from Shadow Ball 2. Obama, I guess its special defense must have got boosted when it mega evolved, but it's still a pathetic Pokemon in my opinion. Well now at least I have the chance to use a full restore on Gengar, which will clear the burn and get my HP back up, because Phoebe is going to do the same, obviously. I just noticed Sableye has demon eyes now too. This thing is fucking mental, boys. I say we do a seance to purge this little purple gremlin for good. You know, Donald, some of our viewers are probably going to be pissed off with you and your opinion about Sableye. And after looking at this thing some more, I'm really starting to enjoy looking at this purple gremlin. Joe, no one cares. And thank fuck you finally beat this weirdo Obama. She was really getting on my nerves, OMG. And now on to the third member of the Elite Four. I also have no idea who it is. I think her name is Glacia Donald. Oh, I wonder what type of Pokemon she uses, boys. She uses fire types, Joe. Oh my God. Seriously, Obama, I literally am getting bored of messing with Joe now because he makes it so easy. I know she uses ice types, Donald. I'm not that fucking stupid, you fat gimp. Then why do you ask such stupid questions all the time, Joe? Seriously, you piss me off so much sometimes. LMAO, and apparently I'm the idiot. He's playing you again, Donnie. That sneak attack from Joe came out of nowhere, Elmao. Well played, Joe, but anyway, back to the battle. And she's leading off with an Aurorus. What an amazing Pokemon. All right, I'm ignoring you forever, Joe. So Obama, yeah, this Pokemon is a solid eight out of 10. It would be cool for you to head to head with this thing using our Tyrantrum, but it would probably die since it's part dragon type. You know you love me, Donnie, and we'll be friends again in no time. Yeah, keep telling yourself that, Joe, and Obama, be careful. Just because you have Charizard doesn't mean you can get complacent since this thing has Thunderbolt and probably some rock moves. Nah, Donnie, I got this battle, don't worry. And some of her Pokemon, like her next one, is dual water type 2, which means Sceptile and Latios can do lots of damage. Walrein is a Pokemon I don't see getting used much. And this is the first time I think we've seen one since we played Heart Gold Boys. Yeah, except it somehow survived a direct attack from a legendary Pokemon, which is broken as hell. But anyway, it's time to die Walrein. That was very aggressive, Obama. But regardless, this thing is super weird, and I don't like it at all. Donald, this is the second Pokemon you don't like out of the Elite Four. Is there gonna be a third, I wonder? Well, Sableye looked like a literal demon and Walrein was just odd, so yeah, at this rate, Joe, there will be a fourth and fifth, too. All right, I sent Gengar out again, boys, because Glacia has a Frost Lass, which I wasn't expecting, but it does make our lives easier since one Shadow Ball should be enough to take this out, but I rate this Pokemon, it's really cool. I was expecting this Obama. Her last Pokemon was obviously gonna be a Glally. It's like the only ice type that can mega evolve. Unless I've forgotten one, then please comment down below. Donald, you forgot about a Boma Snow, which can mega evolve. And we also used one when I played through Pokemon Platinum. Joe, stop trying to be a smart ass. I didn't ask you, I asked our viewers. But now you mentioned it, apart from Glalie and a Boma Snow, please comment down below still if I missed any other ice types that can mega evolve. And Joe, shut your mouth if I have. This thing looks absolutely ridiculous, don't you think, guys? I don't hate it, but it just looks mad. I don't even know what's going on with it. Well, it wasn't very threatening, Obama, so I think it just looks mad and scary, but in reality, it's a weak piece of trash, Alamao. Now look who's hating on Pokemon Joe, so you're the hypocrite, buddy, but anyway, well done, Obama, that's three down. One to go, and this battle should actually be tough since it's time to battle Drizzy Drake. I wonder if he'll break out into a rap before he battles us. This is not the same Drizzy Drake, Donald. I told you that last time, but I also like calling this one Drizzy Drake too. Elmo! 
Yeah, but this Drake looks way scarier and more serious than Drizzy Toronto Drake boys, and he's one tough cookie too, and I can't see him breaking out into a rap Donnie. Instead of a Pokemon battle, we should have a rap battle with him instead of Obama. That would be way more fun, and I would do the honors of rapping this guy into extinction. Look, Drizzy Drake has sent out High Dragon Boys. This guy is going all in with this battle, leading off with a super strong Pokemon. Yeah, we will be using one of these, as you all know, in our Pokemon Black and White 2 playthrough, although we need to be that disgusting excuse of a Pokemon game called Pokemon Violet first. I actually feel like throwing up thinking about it. Don't worry, Donnie, I carry sick bags with me in case that game is ever brought up. So don't worry, I have your back, bro. I could do with one of those too, Obama. It causes my gag reflex to have a stroke. All right, I think Latios is the best Mega Pokemon to use in this battle. So with this all drugged up on Mega Energy, we shall destroy Hydreigon. What's funny is you don't have a dragon type move on Latios Obama, but instead you have ice moves on a dragon type Pokemon, which is luckily super effective against dragons. Yeah, and Drake has a Kingdra now too, which I can use Thunderbolt against. This battle is gonna be an absolute cakewalk. Okay, well that did fuck all damage to it, Obama, so now what's the plan? What the hell this thing was gonna try kill me with Draco Meteor? Draco Meteor is my second favorite move of all time, if you all remember. Comment down below if any of you can guess my favorite move and you will receive a pinned comment and a Trump cookie. Ooh, I remember your favorite move, Donnie. You told everyone in one episode of Pokemon White. Yeah, but Joe, shut your mouth. Don't want you telling everyone and ruining the fun for our lovely viewers. And by the way, if you've enjoyed the show so far, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing as it really helps the channel out. Yeah, please do that everyone because I need all the support I can get here. This Kingdra is giving me grief and it should be as easy as Pokemon to deal with. Luckily you set up that light screen though, Obama, because Draco Meteor definitely would have killed us ages ago if you hadn't. I feel like Drake did the same though, Joe, because this Kingdra is tanking my attacks so much. Somehow it just won't die. Yep, you got lucky there, Obama getting that second attack in. Otherwise, I bet Drake was gonna use Draco Meteor again to try to take us out. Okay, his next Pokemon is a Flygon Obama. And this Pokemon is just great. Don't you both think? I remember first seeing this in that Jirachi movie where Flygon helps Ash stop the mutant Groudon that Team Magma scientist tried to make. Oh yeah, we had a viewer comment on one of our videos about that movie, Joe. I forgot about that movie till they mentioned it and forgot how cool it was to see that Groudon. To be honest, it was kind of styled like the primal form. No, they styled the primal forms off that version, Obama. That movie came out like 12 years ago or something. It was a good movie for sure, but the best movie is the Arceus one, and they made that Netflix special too. Time to change the topic before Donald goes on an Arceus rant, but hey, look, Drizzy Drake has a Haxorus now, boys. We started off this game with a little Axu, but ditched the poor fellow in the end. I swear the best dragon move for Haxorus is Outrage. It's such a cool move, and I love the word Outrage too. I wish I could use Outrage. Well, I'm about to take it out with our Sceptile Donnie, so... Make the most of your outrage since it didn't help Drizzy much, did it, Omao? Well, it took out our Terentrum Obama, so you gotta respect it for that. But yeah, otherwise it didn't do much. If you didn't take it out, then it probably would have done more, you know? Okay, so now it's my fault for beating the opponent, is it, Donald? I never said that, Obama. I just meant you didn't really give it a chance which could have made the battle more interesting. Donald, shut it and stay in your lane, bro. Look, he has a Mega Salamance, and I thought you'd have made a comment about this instead of that Haxorus. I mean, what's there to say, Obama? It's a Salamance, and it just mega evolved. What more do you want? Oh, and its front two legs just vanish. This is a Pokemon we could use in one of our next playthroughs, boys. And by the way, we have been getting more and more comments about playing Pokemon X and Y, which is something we will definitely do after Violet. Oh, I was just sick in my mouth again, Obama. Pass me a bag, will you? Donald, swallow it back. El Mao. And look, boys, I just took out your boy Drizzy Drake. He wasn't much of a challenge at all, to be honest. Okay, so tell us which Elite Four member gave you the most trouble, Obama. I think Glacia probably did. Yeah, Glacia was all right, Joe, but I would say Sydney actually was difficult. But with the Elite Four, it all depends on which team you have and what moves you have that are effective against the opponent. So it's all relative. Holy shit, the entrance to the champion room in this game is so cool. I need me one of these built, especially when I was president. Instead of the fucking trash Oval Office, they should have built me a long golden corridor with a huge golden door. I deserve that. Yeah, with the words Big Ego written in huge golden letters plastered all over the door and walls. El Mao!
All right, you two, no time for fights. I got to take on the champion Steven now, and I have no idea what team he'll have. Hopefully we'll see some rare or unique Pokemon since this is the champion battle. But anyway, let's go. Yeah, he's still reciting his little monologue here, Obama, so we're going to have to wait a bit longer. All Steven has done is talk more than doing anything else useful for us in this game. Look, Donnie Steven even gets a golden name badge and fancy colors. You didn't get anything like that when you were President LMAO. Well, Joe, I do actually quite like Steven. He's a cool fellow. But his first Pokemon is not what I wanted to see from this battle. I was expecting something else. Okay, yeah, gotta agree with you, Donald. I wanted to see a newer Pokemon, and just because Steven likes Steel types doesn't mean he had to use them in this game a lot. Yeah, and if you think about it, other than Iris, Steven is the only other trainer to basically have a main type of Pokemon to use. He uses Steel types, whilst Iris uses Dragon, but Cynthia and Alder use a mix of Pokemon, which is how I think the champion of each region should be. Well, Lance is also kind of a dragon-type leader, too, Donnie. He has three Dragonites, remember? Wait, hold up, boys. Steven has a fucking Deancey on his team. Yeah, holy shit, wasn't expecting this at all. I know nothing about this Pokemon, because who actually uses it, but I do know it can Mega Evolve. Well, this is a legendary fairy-type Pokemon, Obama. And it was in a movie about itself where it tries to find Xerneas, so it can learn to make diamonds, but then it meets Eveltal, and basically, Eveltal murders everyone. And Deancey does something, and then Xerneas turns into a tree, and everyone is saved. Donald, what was that supposed to be? That was my rundown of her movie, and if anyone hasn't seen the movie yet, then that's on you, because the movie has been out for years, so go cry in your bed. I don't care. All right, Donald, two things. Don't talk to our viewers like that, and second of all, that was the worst movie rundown, because that's not exactly the way it went, was it? Except the whole tree thing that did happen. You know, my respect for Steven just dropped Obama because if he had half a brain cell remaining, he'd have used Diancie as his mega Pokemon. But we all know which Pokemon he's gonna use and as cool as Metagross is, it's not legendary. Yeah, but Diancie is the perfect Pokemon if you think about it too, Donnie. It's basically a giant diamond that alived itself and Steven is a collect of rare stones and gems, but his passion is steel types too, not rock types. So his team choice does make sense. I just want to interrupt Joe, but I won't apologize because it's only Joe. But anyway, you might see some random freezes on the screen for a few seconds. And that's something I will apologize for because it's not very professional. And we have no idea why it started happening in Steven's battle, but yeah, we're sorry about that. That was a clever excuse to get Joe to shut up Obama. But yeah, we're sorry about the freezes. And Obama, be careful, he might have more legendaries on his team now to spice things up for you. Oh no, it's just an Agron, boys. So he goes from having a unique new Pokemon to this normal beta Pokemon. As good as Agron is, it's a bit boring. Yeah, a bit of a May Pokemon, and this one can also Mega Evolve too, Joe. Although it's more of a literal tank than anything else, its defenses are mad high. Yeah, but Head Smash is like its signature move, which does massive damage, Donald, and I thought it had recoil damage, too. You're probably thinking of another move, Joe, since Head Smash is clearly not affecting Agron unless it has some weird ability that causes no recoil damage to occur. Okay, well, it just took out our Greninja Obama, which isn't great, TBH, so you could either switch into Charizard or Sceptile. I think Skeptile is the best way to go, Donald, since we have Energy Ball, and I feel it would be nice to end this champion battle using the first Pokemon of this playthrough. Yeah, I agree, Obama. We should end it with our little Skeptile. And you should Mega Evolve the Pokemon, too. And then we can go out with a bang. Yeah, maybe when we get to his last Pokemon, do that Obama. And now that Agron is gone, who's going to be next? It's Claydol, which I guess is unique. And I really like this Pokemon, except it somehow came alive from clay pots, which I think is just weird and makes no sense. Yeah, I don't know what Arceus was thinking when he made that decision, LML, but anyway, it was a piece of trash and died in one shot, so clearly it's not that great, Joe. Okay, boys, here we go. Steven's final Pokemon has arrived, and I'm already pissed. It isn't a shiny like in the anime. Metagross has to be shiny when it's Steven's one. I would just like to say that I'm a little upset his team isn't as high-leveled as I thought it was going to be, boys, but I guess they didn't make them too high since the rematches are going to be way tougher. All right, this is gonna be the most epic battle of the game, boys. Mega Sceptile versus Mega Metagross. This will truly be the battle for the ages. This thing is also gonna be like a tank to Obama, so I suggest crunch an energy ball going forward. Well, Meteor Mash is like its signature move, Donald, and it's mad strong. 
Yep, it almost killed us, Obama. And you're very lucky it didn't. Holy hell. If you didn't mega evolve, you would have died for sure. Okay, well, you won, Obama, but that was like the most anticlimactic battle ever. I thought it would have lasted longer. But anyway, well done, bro. You're officially a part of the Champion Club. Yeah, he's the third member of our group, Donald. And just in case you forgot, I was the first member, LML. Joe, no one cares. And yeah, Donnie, that last battle with Steven was so dead, OMG. I didn't expect Sceptile to just KO that Metagross so easily. But anyway, I welcome my induction now into the Hall of Fame. And that makes three presidents champions now, boys. So well done us. Wow, and you get May and Professor. What's his face here coming to congratulate you too? That's so sweet of them. His name is Professor Birch Donald. Even I remember that. But anyway, congrats, Obama. That was a very entertaining set of elite foreign champion battles you just showed. LMAO May just got denied entry into the next room because it's only for champions. And this Hall of Fame room is very slick, boys. Wow, very minimal too, actually, and also very clean. Yeah, it's probably the nicest Hall of Fame room we've come across yet, boys. But now it's time to immortalize our team that got us all the way here in the machine. I love how the balls the Pokemon are in are the ones that get shown here, boys, unlike the older games where the balls all looked like standard poke balls. Yeah, I made Obama use luxury balls because they're just the best ball ever. And even increase our Pokemon's friendship too, which was essential for Haunter to evolve into Gengar in this game. Here they are, guys. The amazing team that got us through the game, although we did make lots of changes to our team throughout the series. But this here is the final ones that proved themselves to be the best. I'm very proud of this team. Yeah, I was a bit jealous of this team Obama used since it was a mix of Pokemon from all over the place. But I'm also very proud of this team now, too. What a great team it is. One of the GOATs. Definitely a goated team, Donnie, for sure. And now we get a nice cinematic of us and May together all alone. Yeah, she's just standing around like she's the champion or something. What the hell? What if someone came through hoping to battle the champion, but then saw May just standing there, LMAO? I'd get Ladios to hit her with a psychic attack and throw her out of this place, which she only got into, by the way, because of her daddy's reputation, which kind of reminds me of someone, doesn't it, Joe? Well, I guess that's one thing May and I have in common then, Obama. But anyway, it looks like she wants to travel back to our hometown with her, which I guess is kind of cute. Yeah, and that basically concludes the main story of the game, everyone. So we hope you enjoyed watching everything. This was a super fun playthrough, and we aren't done here, though, because we still have the post-game to do and some other stuff. Okay, everyone, we actually stopped recording here because we forgot May wanted another battle with us at the end, so we didn't know to record that battle. But it's not like anything was missed. So anyway, here's the final cutscene, boys. Yeah, she sprung that battle on us out of nowhere, but it wasn't entertaining at all. And anyway, I think we've seen enough battles for one episode, and now we get a cute cinematic. This music is gonna make me cry, boys. I'm getting really sad that this is ending. Don't be sad, Joe. Be happy you enjoyed this amazing playthrough with your two best friends in the universe and will always be your friend, buddy. Yeah, this has been one wild ride. And even though you're an annoying little shit sometimes, Joe, it wouldn't be the same without you. So don't be sad. And on that note, everyone, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the series in this episode, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot, and we shall see you all in the Delta episode. Yeah, we'll see you in a few days for the next phase of this game, so thank you everyone, and have a great day. It's been a pleasure, everyone, so here's a big thank you from me as well. All the love and support you give us, and the lovely comments too, really means a lot. All right, everyone, welcome back to Omega Ruby, starring yours truly, Obama Barrick, champion of Hoenn, and we are now going to be taking on the best post game ever in any game, the Delta episode, so please remember to like and subscribe. All hail the mighty Rayquaza. We shall be catching that giant green flying snake soon, boys, and I am so excited. Hey everyone, I bet you all missed me. And yeah, you know I was thinking I could start a new political party, boys, and its color can be green since the other two are red and blue. Only makes sense for this one to be green with Rayquaza as our mascot. Donald, this episode is about me, not you. And today I shall be starting a new journey of saving the universe for a second time in one series from a meteorite. You two only saved the universe once LMAO. Wow, talk about big ego again, right, Joe? Donnie, get used to it. And now look, you two, this here is Zinnia. And she has some weird condition in which she thinks this Whismer here is talking to her and it even calls her mom, too. So yeah, we have a crackhead a part of this story now. And as if dealing with Joe wasn't bad enough, 
But anyway, this post-game story is called the Delta episode, which is such a cool name to begin with. And what's interesting is Mega Rayquaza's mega ability is Delta Stream. Yeah, Donnie, do you have any ways for us to get a shiny Mega Rayquaza? Because that would be really cool to see as we slowly come to a close with this playthrough. I really want to see that shiny black flying snake. If everyone hits the like button and comments down below that they want to see shiny Rayquaza, then yeah, I'll get one, Joe. But check it out, boys. We've made it back home to Little Root Town. Yeah, and our dad is here too, Donald. Maybe he wants to try challenge me again, the little loser LMAO. I beat his ass so bad. And if he tries battle me again, then I'll send him to the stratosphere. And our dad just gave us some tickets to go see the meteor show at Moss Deep City, and he wants us to take May with us. Ah, fuck that, Joe. That bitch friend zoned me, so why should I bother taking her to see this show? I'd rather go with our hot mom instead. Even better than her Obama, we could take May's mom, and that would be even more hilarious, LML. That would make May rethink her friend zone ways, the little shit. She thinks she's too good for you, Obama. And as your friend, I won't let you take that L. Oh, great. Now this one is stalking us, too. The weirdo with her talking whismer is now at our house, boys. I think you should get the Secret Service to take her out, Joe. Sorry, no can do, Obama. That would be highly illegal. But about her freaky whismer, I think that can be arranged. Such a pussy, Joe. I would have snipers placed on every building in Little Root Town ready to take Zinnia out. Yeah, and it's with that thinking that got you sent to prison, Donald, and not me. All right, I don't have a choice here. It seems Joe and I have to invite May, but I guess this could be okay. She could have a change of heart about how she feels about me. Hang on, Obama. She's yapping about someone breaking into her house and stealing her megastone. So it looks like you'll have to go save the day again. This will be three times now. This is so unfair. Well, Joe, I was savior of the free world. So now it only makes sense that I'm savior of Hoenn again? These people just need me so badly, it seems. Yeah, to hell they need you, Obama. You're just lucky this postgame has so many snowflakes in it that they all need some 10-year-old to save the day. And also, I don't know why you're bitching, Joe, when you saved Johto and Kanto from Team Rocket, remember? Yeah, I guess you're right, Donnie. I did save Johto, but Kanto had that one random Team Rocket grunt who didn't even realize that Team Rocket was finished. And yet he still stole that machine part from the power station and basically took down the entirety of the Kanto region. You know, Joe, I want to talk about that bullshit whilst Obama is running around hoeing like a headless chicken. But yeah, how the fuck did one random Team Rocket grunt manage to basically take out Kanto all by himself? But the entirety of Team Rocket did jack shit in Johto. It seems Courtney here didn't get the memo that Team Magma has been beat, boys. So now she's been reduced to robbing people's houses for megastones. But yeah, you both make a good point with that Team Rocket situation. Like it makes zero sense, Obama. That one rocket grunt does more damage than the whole organization ever did. If anything, that rocket grunt who stole the machine part from the power plant deserves to be the leader of Team Rocket since he has big brain ideas. I would like to point out, since me and you were distracted, Donald, that Obama just got our Latios killed to this rapid ash somehow. It's not my fault it had bug-type moves, Joe. And anyway, I'm champion now, too, so it's obvious that I'll win this battle easily, isn't it? Yeah, Greninja is definitely our MVP in this game, I think, boys. Just like Abum is now in our Platinum playthrough and its hail ability, this thing with toxic spikes has come in clutch multiple times. Yeah, Obama, you should just use this thing for the remainder of the battle since Greninja is just so goaded and everyone loves it. Although I'm a little upset you never got a shiny one, Donald. Joe, we can't have a full team of shiny Pokemon, bro, that would be so stupid long to achieve. And even if the shiny odds have been reduced, it'll still take a long time to find a normal Froki again, let alone Okay, how about asking one. your Russians? And no, I am not calling my Russian buddies again, so shut your mouth. Fine, Donald, but you do realize when we play Pokemon X and Y, we will be using Froakie again, and I would love to see a shiny one in those games because we've used the normal colored Froakie now, and I hate Chespin and Del Fox. Yeah, fine, whatever you say, Joe. Anything to get you to be quiet, but hey, did you see Courtney just had a Nido King Obama? I think her team has changed a little since we battled her a few episodes ago. Yeah, Donald, we last battled her in the Team Magma hideout, and since then she's gone and ditched her shit Pokemon unless their damage was fatal because of us. But either way, she got some new Pokemon and somehow already trained them up to level 75. 
She probably used rare candies, Obama, like the little hacker she is LMAO, and she's still getting creamed by us. That may be the case, but look, Donald, she's sending out Charizard now, and it's her mega Pokemon, and it's also the superior version of mega Charizard. Joe, I swear to God, we are not having this argument again. I will actually drop kick you into orbit if you say anything one more time. LMAO Donald, I was just joking. But if you don't want to see this Charizard again, I suggest we play the X version of Pokemon X and Y, since X has your favorite Mega Charizard in it. Okay, well, looks like Greninja is about to die to this solar beam, but what a noble sacrifice this was. And by the way, Joe, I thought we could use Bulbasaur or Squirtle in Pokemon X, since we already used Charizard in this playthrough. Let's discuss that after beating Violet, since we haven't even played that yet. Obama, and it seems lots of people in our comment section seems to like Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and whilst we value your opinions, it still makes me want to throw up. Yeah, we do like Scarlet and Violet in all honesty, but it's probably right at the bottom of our favorite list of Pokemon games. It just doesn't feel like the others, and also all the glitches we experienced hasn't helped either. Game Freak could have done better, and they were lazy and didn't, so here we are. Yeah, I think that's the best way to put it. Joe, well done, and Obama, what in the actual fuck are you doing? This Charizard has taken out three of our Pokemon in one move, and you're just sitting here like a load of bread doing nothing to help the situation. First of all, Donald don't compare me to a loaf of bread. And second of all, I underestimated how strong her Charizard has gotten since the last battle with Courtney, but don't worry. I'm sending our Charizard out now and it will demolish this bitch. Hey Joe, you're about to get another demonstration from Obama as to why the X version is better than the Y version of Mega Charizard LMAO. So when you bring this topic up again, it's fine. But if I do it, then it's a problem. How the hell does that work, Donnie? How does breathing work, Joe? Oh wait, it just happens. Same with this topic. LMAO. Okay, well that battle took longer than it should have. But anyway, I think that's the last time we will be seeing her boys. So that's cause for celebration in my book. Yay! All right, it seems this is the mystery person going around stealing Megastone since Courtney just tried to ransack Wally's house too. But thanks to me, he's been saved. Oh, if we knew you were actually saving Wally Obama, we should have left him to get his Megastone stolen because only someone as stupid as this guy or May would let that happen to them. He deserves to deal with the consequences of his weakness. Well, I don't think we'll see him again, Donnie. But anyway, Obama, you need to head to Rustboro City now, which we haven't been to since I was playing this game. But Steven needs to see us at the Devon Corporation, I think. You know something I still don't understand, which maybe someone in the comments could explain, is this whole timeline shit. Apparently there's a world where this meteor kills us all, and another where it doesn't, and Mega Pokemon are a thing, but in the other world they aren't. We briefly talked about it in the last episode, Donald, and it also has something to do with that weapon. 3,000 years ago in the Kalos region being set off or something. Seriously, I have no idea either. I think only Arceus knows. And since you two are pals, Donald, why don't you go ask him? Yeah, sadly, Arceus and I aren't on speaking terms right now, Obama. Not until you go and catch him in this game for me. And by the way, how does all that even work? Well, while Steven's dad here is giving us a lecture on whatever he's talking about, I can tell you how it works, Donnie. Basically, we have to find all the legendary and mythical Pokemon at a place called the Mirage Mountain or Cave, whatever it is. And I bet you have no idea where this place is. Do you, Obama? Well, it is called the Mirage Cave, Donald. So yeah, it's gonna be a challenge to find, or we could just Google it, LMAO. That would save all three of us hours of time, which at this point in our lives is extremely valuable. All right, boy, Steven's dad wouldn't stop talking. So here we are at the first stop of our Delta episode postgame, the Granite Cave, and it seems we already have company. Yeah, boy, does he like to talk. But anyway, the stalker Zinnia beat us here, Obama. Maybe she was hanging outside the office in the Devon Corporation. And that's how she knew to be here. Or she has a brain, Joe, and knew about this place. It's not difficult to find. I mean, even you found it when you were playing this game in the beginning. Plus, the wall is covered with ancient graffiti. Yeah, and now she wants a battle with me, boys, to see what I'm all about. Thank God she has only four Pokemon, though, boys. The only thing I love about Zinnia is her music whenever she's on the screen. It's so mysterious, but other than that, I expect you to sweep her Obama. Yeah, and why isn't she using her little Wismore and instead using this giant cloud with wings? Although I do love Altaria, I wonder if it could be her mega Pokemon. 
Joe, have you not learned anything by now? No one ever sends their mega Pokemon out first. And also, I bet her Whismur is like level 100 LMAO. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if Zinnia had also drugged her Pokemon up to level 100 LMAO, and then that would be her secret all-powerful Pokemon. Oh, nice, she has a Noivern. This is a Pokemon we have to use in our Pokemon X and Y playthrough. We already used Tyrantrum, so we can't use it again. Yeah, I agree, Donald. It would be a good Pokemon to use, and it just tanked an Ice Beam from a Mega Latios. Hey, isn't Zinnia one of those legendary Draconid peeps who go around doing Dragon-type stuff? If she's so high and mighty, then why can't she sort out this meteorite crap? Yeah, she is Donnie, and I have no idea why she can't do all this shit herself. But anyway, more fun for me, I guess. After this, my Pokemon CV will be longer than both of yours combined. Obama, there is no way your Pokemon CV can be longer than mine, and I could care less about Donald's. I have taken on three different regions now, and also... Also nothing, Joe, you old granny. I have done more than you in one region than you have done in three. So don't you think that shows I am just better than you? Obama, before you keep fighting, I would like to point out that she isn't gonna mega evolve, so I'm quite disappointed you haven't beaten her by now. That was my fault for distracting him, Donald. And anyway, look, she's on her last Pokemon now, and it's a Tyrantrum. But ours is better. Yeah, we could have gone Tyrantrum versus Tyrantrum, but I couldn't be bothered to swap Latios out at this point, since I've noticed Tyrantrum's defense is shockingly bad. And thank fuck that battle is over now. It was completely pointless and a waste of time if you ask me. But at least she gave us the meteorite shard, which was the whole purpose of coming here. Yeah, and now our backpack is glowing like a stick of uranium, boys. Maybe we shouldn't keep this stuff in our bag like that. Well, Joe, how about we talk to Obama about that topic, since me and uranium had no relationship at all? Okay, instead of that topic, Donnie, I just wanted to say, sorry, this episode is a bit shorter than usual. The Delta episode isn't that long anyway. So we broke it down into smaller chunks, but we hope you've still enjoyed this episode. So please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. Well, hey, Obama, good topic change there. You got lucky that I forgot what I was about to ask you. But anyway, you need to head to Moss Deep City and to their version of Johnson Space Center. I mean, I could just remind you, Joe, but whatever. Apparently shit's starting to go down at the Space Center. Hey, I should build a nice viewing platform like that one in our space centers, don't you two think? Then us three could go together and watch Falcon Heavy launches with Elon. Uh, I hate that guy, Joe. He's a better actor than me and that really hurts my ego and now he's going to Mars too. I hope the next time they launch a rocket, he's also on it. Donald, I feel the same way about you too, buddy, but check it, we're in the control room, boys. This place is like my gaming setup. Fuck off, is it like your gaming setup, Obama? There is no way Michelle would let you have a setup this cool, bro. Don't raise your voice with me, Donald. You're just jealous Melania only lets you play on a shitty Intel i3 laptop from 1999 LMAO. Hey, you two failed to notice Professor Cosmo is here, boys. And surprisingly, he's the director of the space station here. In what way is it surprising Joe? His name has Cosmo in it, you fucking dumbass. Whoa, Donnie dropping more F-bombs today than Obama did in Don't even uh... finish that sentence, Joe, and look who decided to show up. Somehow this place has the worst security on the planet when you'd like to think this is the one place they'd want to have the highest amount of security. This place and the weather station Obama, that place had zero security too. Wow, look boys. Zinnia's ripping into these scientists saying how their technology hasn't surmounted to anything, and basically their plan to destroy the incoming meteorite is futile. Yeah, so for those who don't know, these scientists plan to use a random wormhole from somewhere which makes no sense to begin with. But anyway, they plan to use that wormhole to launch the meteorite into another universe and destroy Earth in that one, which makes total sense, doesn't it? And looks like we've all enrolled unwillingly into a physics lesson with Dr. Trump. And by the way, these scientists are literally committing mass genocide if they carry out their plan. Hey, Obama, I actually enjoyed Donald's physics lecture. Physics was my favorite topic back when I was a young fellow in school. All right, Nerd Biden, calm down, and finally that creep left us, boys. Yeah, and it looks like these two want us to go to Meteor Falls now to get another shard or fragment or whatever that thing he said was. I wasn't really paying attention. But anyway, I think this is a good point to end the episode, boys. Sounds good, Obama. So in the next episode, we shall be heading there and also remember to leave comments if you all want to see Shiny Rayquaza. But anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah, thanks, everyone, and have a great week.
Okay, everyone, here we are at the final episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby playthrough. Wahoo! It's been a really fun ride, and we hope you've enjoyed watching these episodes as much as we had making them. So please hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to help support our work. Yup, and we are jumping right in with continuing the Delta episode. And as you can see, we made our way to Meteor Falls to find Steven and this old granny person having a good old chit chat. Yeah, so basically she's going on about who Zinnia is and how we need to summon the mighty Lord Rayquaza to destroy this meteorite that's heading towards Earth as we speak. This is also the same lady who can teach Dragon Ascent to Rayquaza in case you remove it for whatever reason. Just thought I'd drop that knowledge bomb for you all. Better than the other kind of bombs us three are good at dropping, don't you think, Joe L. Mao? All right, Donnie, cool it with those jokes. We're not even a minute in and you've already started to kick off. I'm not kicking off Obama. This is the final episode of this amazing playthrough we have done, and I'm in the best mood ever, but Joe left an open goal for me, so I had to take the shot, sorry. All right, so it seems Zinnia has been going around stealing other people's keystones for some purpose, which I'm not sure about yet. But I guess she knows what she's doing, so I say we don't get involved and go to a Pokemon Center and hide and wait for this to all blow over. Joe, you dumbass, I'm the one who's meant to be saving the world, so if I act like you a big fat chicken, how is this game ever gonna get finished? He's still mad that you basically saved the universe twice in one playthrough, and he never did that. Obama, El Mao, what a fool, seriously. We're meant to be enjoying this final episode, but instead Joe is acting salty. Nothing new there, Donald, but anyway, I'm heading to Rustboro City now, boys, because Steven mentioned something about the Devon Corporation. Something I didn't mention before was that Rustboro City has some of the best music out of all the cities in the series, especially in this game. It's so lively and happy and brings me positive vibes. Oh wow, look Obama, it's this moron again. And he's being heckled by that same Team Magma guy too. This guy is such a pathetic excuse of a human, seriously. I mean, what even is the point of him? Hang on, Donald, why is the first Pokemon in my party a shiny fucking Rayquaza? Oh yeah, about that, Obama. We received a lot of comments in our last episode about shiny Rayquaza. And well, since this is the last episode, I was like, fuck it, we may as well go all out. So here is the Snake Lord himself. Wow, and you already have Dragon Ascent on it too, Donald, but how comes we can't Mega Evolve it yet? We won't be able to Mega Evolve it until we beat the Delta episode, Joe, since we will have to catch that other normal Rayquaza which is part of the post-game story. Donald, why is it also taking damage to itself too? What the hell have you got on this thing? Oh yeah, about that as well, Obama. I may or may not have stuck a life orb on it just for the LOLs. So not only have you gone and given me one of the strongest legendaries in the entire game, you've also gone and stuck an OP item on it as well as Dragon Ascent, meaning this thing is already broken as hell, and it's not even Mega Evolved yet. And it's level 100 too. Well, there's a number of reasons I did this, Obama. First being our viewers wanted to see it. Second, it's the last episode, so may as well go out with a bang. And third, we never used Grodon like we usually do in playthroughs using the box legendary. So this is clearly the next best option. And anyway, Rayquaza is just too goaded not to use. Well, it looks like our viewers will be seeing a lot of Rayquaza in this episode, Donnie. Since another grunt has just appeared from the Devon building and is now battling us. And what is this move set you have on it too, Donald? You decided to teach it Thunderbolt, Dragon Ascent, Dragon Pulse, and Earthquake. Like I said, Obama, we're going out with a bang, and you should be happy I didn't get Arceus in our party instead and release all the other Pokemon. I was very tempted to do that. You know, I was reading the comments too, Donald, and there is lots of love for the Y version of Mega Charizard, which means we should play Pokemon Y instead of X when we get to those games since we've already used the X version anyway. Yeah, whatever you say, Joe. But look, boys, at this Typhlosion with no fire coming out of it. Typhlosion without its fire scarf looks like a rat. They were so lazy to not model that what the hell. Tell me about it, Obama, and then they made him look absolutely stoned in Legends Arceus. Talking of which, we will be playing that soon, too. We have a major list of games to work through, which should literally take us through the next two years, LMAO. All right, that took way longer than it should have, but we finally beat this idiot grunt, and I hope to God no more come through that front door. I feel like this scientist deserves to get beaten up if he's attacked again by that same grunt Obama. He needs to learn to fight his own battles instead of relying on you when we have way more important things to be doing. Well, it seems that in between our battles, they went and stole some link cable thing, boys. 
Wasn't that the thing that we used to trade Pokemon on our GBA consoles back in the day? I remember that thing, Donald. You two would use it whilst I slept and steal all my legendary Pokemon and then make me think I never caught them to begin with. LMFAO, remember that Obama? Joe was such an idiot back then. What do you mean back then, Donald? He's still an idiot. All right, if you two are done taking the piss out of me, we need to head into the Space Center, Obama, because Steven has a plan, apparently. More than that, Joe, Team Magma is storming the place, and that Courtney freak is gonna start acting all weird. Yeah, I guess they are trying to get more tech from the Space Center for some purpose or another, but I thought we defeated them, so why are they still attacking people? Oh, it's these five again, boys. Looks like I have to take down their team of Flareon again, and with Rayquaza, it'll be another slaughter. What even is the point of these idiots, Obama? They do jack shit, and if anything, this is all just a waste of time and completely unnecessary to the postgame. Well, I think they're actually trying to stall us, Donald, whilst Courtney carries out whatever she's doing upstairs. But Steven is up there, so I doubt she'll get very far. She didn't get the memo that we single-handedly destroyed Team Magma, and she's still on her crusade to prove herself to Maxi Elmau. What a simp, seriously! And she's about to be put in her place again! Yeah, well, we're about to find out what she wants this time, Donnie. These guys won't be troubling us again, and why do they speak like they're robots, too? Even I speak better English than they do Obama. But yeah, at least that's it for them, and now it's time to go save Steven. You know, Steven is a pretty weak champion. He always needs us to save him. And even Lance stormed the Team Rocket base by himself. And Cynthia helped us with Team Galactic, too. You're right, Donald, just look at him. He's just standing around there like a fool, looking so beautiful and handsome with his glorious silver shiny hair. Ooh, does it make me feel- Joe, shut the fuck up. I don't want to know how all that makes you feel, you creep. Instead, we're going to be engaging in a double battle with Steven for the second time to take these two on. All right, well, I will think about all that in my head then, since you're not interested, Donald. Hopefully this is the last time we have to deal with these two as well. There's no point to them as well, Donnie. Well, look, at least this is a nice change, Obama. We have Steven using his Diancie and us with our giant snake. Yeah, and Sherizard Y is back for the last time, which makes me happy. Yup, and I still can't believe Game Freak would make Y better than X overall. What a stupid, stupid decision. Even Red used the X version in the Pokemon Origins anime series, which, by the way, is some of the best Pokemon anime we've ever got. Hey, look, Steven actually mega evolved Diancie. This is the smartest thing he's done since we first met him. LML, Joe, your Charizard Y just died in one shot, so once again, this proves it's a piece of shit. Okay, but it's just not, is it, Donald? All right, look, Mega Diancie is actually doing something useful, so let's see how strong it is. I'd say quite strong, Donald, since it just one shot Nine Tails. But that leads me to ask once again why Steven wouldn't use this in our champion battle, but Metagross instead as his Mega Pokemon. Well, as punishment, I say you use Earthquake Obama and just take everything out on the field for the LOLs. That way we can get rid of everything all at once. Okay, well, there goes Mega Diance Elamau. It was pretty cool to see, though, since we'll probably never see that Pokemon again. No one cares about Diancie anyway, Joe, so big deal. But anyway, thank God that's over now, too. I have noticed there's probably going to be more battles in this final episode than in any of the others we've done throughout this playthrough. Talking of playthroughs, I noticed not many people talking about Sun and Moon in the Alola region, so leave a comment down below if any of you enjoyed those games. And also let us know how well you handled battling Ultra Necrozma El Mao. I bet most of them got destroyed by it, Obama. And if any of you say you didn't, then you're a worse liar than I am, and I'll 1v1 you. Obama, Donnie is threatening our viewers again. You're such a little snitch, Joe, seriously. And you know where snitches end up? Snitches end up in ditches. I just want to say, since we've started playing together, Donald, you've gone and threatened me, who, by the way, is an active president, at least 10 times. Which means I get to increase your prison sentence multiplied by 10. Joe, you don't even know what one plus one is. All right, that conversation with Steven was literally going on forever. So I've skipped ahead to our next stop of the Delta episode postgame, which is the Team Magma base to see what Maxi wants, and apparently Zinnia has stormed this place now, too. Yeah, and it looks like she's gone and stolen his keystone, too, Obama. And now that means she has enough Megastone power, or whatever it is, to summon Rayquaza, even though we already have one. Oh, and she battled Maxi, and it seems she utterly obliterated him to Joe. 
I bet she's gone and got a full team of Pokemon now, too, which means you'll have an interesting battle with her next time, Obama. Bro, there hasn't been one battle here which has given me trouble. And I'm not letting Zinnia, of all people, beat me, especially in this final episode of the series. Whatever you say, Obama and Steven just gave us a call and apparently wants to meet us back at Moss Deep Space Center. Maybe he's starting to realize their stupid plan of using a wormhole to destroy the meteorite is in fact absolutely stupid. I mean, if you look on those screens at the back, Donald, they still have that idea of the wormhole. And these are meant to be the best scientists in Hoenn. I know, Joe, but luckily for us, we get to ignore all of that. And now Stephen wants us to meet Wallace so he can open up the door to the sky pillar. And I hope to God it doesn't have that ridiculous Mac bike puzzle like in the original games. Oh man, I hated that puzzle, Donald. It was the worst thing ever. But thankfully in this game, they made a whole story about it and we have no puzzle to do there, just some ladders to climb. But anyway, look, I found Wallace. Hey, look boys, that was a pretty cool Easter egg. If you saw what Wallace just said. Apparently the tree on this small island was brought to Hoenn from the Kalos region. Joe, no one cares about Easter eggs. We just want to get to the sky pillar. I want to hear the story about the ancient people and the Draconids summoning Lord Rayquaza. Yeah, well, before that, Wallace has to open the seal to the front door, apparently, since his ancestors are also some ancient people thingies. To be honest, I have no idea what's going on anymore. You know what's funny is when we fly about Huen on our Latios, you would think that the sky pillar would be visible since it's probably the biggest fucking thing in the entire game, except maybe the Matt Chimney, but no. They didn't bother to model the thing. Donald, enough nitpicking, please, bro. I have to battle this moron for the second time to prove I'm worthy to enter the sky pillar, which is just bullshit because I already got the badge from his gym. Yeah, and he's starting off with Polytoad again Obama, which means his team is probably exactly the same as when you last battled him. Well, thanks to my foresight, I did teach Thunderbolt to Rayquaza Obama, so thank me later when you sweep Wallace's entire team, LML. I'm not gonna thank you, Donald, because it would have been better if you taught Thunder instead, since it would have 100% accuracy in this battle with ongoing rain. Well, Obama, how is that my fault? I didn't know we were gonna have to battle this fashionable idiot again, and I got you Rayquaza, so that should be enough if you ask me. Yeah, gee, Obama, you're so ungrateful. Donald has done so much for you and you haven't even said thank you yet. Joe, he hasn't actually done anything yet. He just contacted his old buddies and somehow got this random Rayquaza and then claimed to be some sort of genius for doing it. Let him say whatever he wants, Joe. At the end of the day, the only Pokemon Obama has been using is Rayquaza, so I know how he really feels about it, LML. Oh yeah, you make a good point there, Donald, LML. Yeah, so I know Obama cares and you were right too. Joe, this guy has literally had the same team, but only slightly higher level than before. This is another case of the game wasting our time for no apparent reason. I mean, we're already the champion, so what more do they want? This is one of the cases in which I'll agree with you, Donald, because this guy has even got the same Mega Pokemon as before, too. As nice as it is to see Swampert, he could have had a Mega Gyarados or something instead this time. And wow, this thing has an Ice-type move, and it's probably gonna take us out. Good going there, Obama, you idiot. Donald, you were the one who stuck the life orb on Rayquaza, and I really can't be bothered to waste an entire turn healing up. So that loss is on you, buddy. Well, I mean, you could have taken the life orb off Obama and stuck a dragon fang on Rayquaza instead, but you didn't. So as you said earlier, that's your loss, LMAO. You know, Obama Gengar isn't the Pokemon I would have sent out to deal with this. I would have probably sent out Greninja or Tarantrum instead. You're probably right, Donald and I forgot Shadow Ball doesn't have that special defense drop anymore. I really hate that they got rid of that, you know. You should have Mega Evolve 2 Obama because this thing just tanked three moves in a row. You got so lucky he didn't use another full restore Obama. Otherwise, I would have taken the controller off you and finished this myself. But anyway, well done. We finally proved ourselves for no apparent reason again. Well, that is officially the end of Wallace for the final time, boys, unless we have to battle him in a rematch or something. But I don't think gym leader rematches are a thing in this game. All right, shut up, Joe, because this here is probably the best music in any Pokemon game. This organ or whatever instrument this is has the most godly tune ever. This should have been Arceus' tune, but Rayquaza fits it well, too. Damn, this music is so good. You're right, Obama. I wish I had this music as my entrance music whenever I gave those rallies because then everyone would know how much of goat I am. This music is perfect for sure, but look, boys. 
Zinnier is explaining the story of Requesa to us, and there seems to be ancient drawings on the wall of the sky pillar, too. Yeah, so basically Requesa is the protector of the world, and whenever there was a huge threat to the planet, the Draconid people would do a dance and summon Requesa to help save them. How about we just leave the storytelling to Zinnia, Donald? Hey, I thought I was a good storyteller, Obama. Someone in our last video said they liked my rundown of the Deancey movie. I could give you another rundown of a Pokemon movie, actually, if you both want to listen to one. Oh, oh God, yes, no, please, please Donald. Donald. Okay, well, Joe said yes, and Obama said no, which means I get the deciding vote, and I vote yes to me telling you both about another movie. Okay, if you're going to vote for yourself and ignore my opinion, then at least give everyone a rundown of the Rayquaza movie with Deoxys. You got it, Obama. Right, children? Sit down and get comfortable because Donald J. Trump is going to give you all a rundown of the Pokemon movie called Destiny Deoxys, starring Deoxys and our boy Rayquaza. Donald J. Trump should stop referring to himself in the third person to begin with. Our hero, Ash, who's a terrific guy, by the way, very tough, very strong, folks. He's in this city, you know, with all the high-tech gadgets, very modern, very classy. Then, boom, this alien Pokemon, Deoxys, comes down from who knows where, probably heard about the city's tremendous success. Wants a piece of the action, no doubt. Hmm, I'm not sure about the start, Donald. Obama, just wait. Now, Deoxys, it's not from China, folks, but it's causing a lot of trouble, believe me. It's got this beef with another extraterrestrial, Rayquaza. Tremendous fight, folks. They're going at it like Republicans and Democrats on Capitol Hill. Well, that bit is quite accurate, El Mao. Then there's a bunch of robots going haywire. They were supposed to make the city great, but they went rogue. It's a disaster. But our guy, Ash, terrific guy, and his Pokemon buddies, they step in and they solve the problem. They make things great again. And let me tell you, folks, there's a lot of winning in this movie. A lot of winning. So if you're tired of winning, this movie is not for you. Oh yeah, the end. Like I said earlier, Donald, how about we leave the storytelling to Zinnia El Mao? And look, we've almost made it to the top of the tower as well. Well, I really liked your story, Donald. It's way better than Zinnia's one. She's nearly finished telling her story too, boys. But boy, is this a long one. I'll give you some credit, Donald. You managed to compress an almost two hour long movie into a 30 second explanation, which is better than what Zinnia is doing. Well, at least I got to tell my story with this awesome background music, Obama. And that movie was actually one of my favorites back in the day. So if you liked my story, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button if you all want to hear more. And on that note, Obama has made it to the top of the sky pillar and this thing is so tall, it's gone above the clouds, holy hell. Yeah, this part of any story in the Pokemon series has to be my favorite. I wish they could have done something like this with each of the legendary Pokemon in the other games, especially Dialga, Palkia, Giratina, and Arceus. Hey, I just noticed the shape of the sky pillar is a triangle, which is the same shape as the delta sign. Is that a coincidence or what, boys? Donald, you dumbass, that was clearly intentional by the designers. You can be as dumb as Joe sometimes, you know. Ugh, now we're getting Zinnia's whole life story. Literally no one cares about you or your dumb whismer. We just want to see Rayquaza. God, the characters in this game just love to talk. But anyway, here we go, boys. She's gonna do her prayer or ritual or whatever this is supposed to be to summon the green snake himself. She's so stupid, she doesn't even realize we already have Rayquaza with us. But I guess having a second one is not a bad idea either. If we do a double battle, we can use both of them at the same time. That would be pretty broken, Donald LMAO. But anyway, here we go, boys. The other Rayquaza is finally among us. Why does it look so small? Yeah, why the hell isn't it bigger? This thing is meant to be huge. But look, Zinnia is like half the size of it, which makes no sense. Even Rayquaza is upset by how small they went and modeled him El Mao. All right, Obama, it's now time to battle it and you need to catch it so we can save the universe, remember. Yeah, as you say, Obama, Rayquaza is one tough cookie. So expect this battle to be really difficult and it's also going to be level 72, I think like in the original games. Look, it's our shiny one versus the normal one. Do you think they're probably both confused to why there are two of them and why they're both different colors? Yeah, so what's the plan here, Obama? The plan here is not to even battle at all, Donald, and I'm just going to use my master ball on it because I really can't be asked to sit here and fight this thing when we already have one that's way better anyway. Wow, so you finally admit that what I did for you is actually helpful. 
Yeah, yeah, I guess Donald. But anyway, look, this is probably going to be the last battle of this playthrough, everyone. And we finally get to use Mega Rayquaza in all its glory. So I assume Zinnia here is going to have a full team of dragon types like Drizzy Drake did. And by the way, are we going to do the Elite Four rematches, Obama? You know, I was thinking about it, Joe, but I don't think the levels of them actually change in this ROM hack, so I don't really see the point. In the original games, the Elite Four are a much lower level than when I battled them the first time in this game. So I don't see why we should unless people want to see that. Well, instead of that then, Obama, we could take on the Battle Frontier for fun. Then this playthrough could continue. Look at this thing, boys. Doesn't it look so cool with the all-black color scheme and gold accents? It's just the best-looking Pokemon, seriously. The design team did so well with this one. Yeah, and its special attack is over 502, Joe LML. So if you want to talk about a broken Pokemon, then here it is. And it's still holding the life orb. Well, this is the reason this Pokemon was banned from competitive, wasn't it, Donald? It was just so powerful and broken, they had to ban it LMAO. Yeah, and we can see why Joe this thing is one-shotting everything LMAO. And with the Delta Stream ability, all moves that would normally be strong against flying types are weakened. See, normally Garchomp would be quite threatening since it loves using Stone Edge, but with Delta Stream, this thing is going to die easily. Yeah, if only I had this Pokemon when I battled Cynthia. It would have made my life so much easier. Donald, you were saying? This Garchomp was holding a Focus Sash, and now it's going to attack. Wow, and we barely survived that too, Obama. Rayquaza toughed it out for you here, bro. Yeah, and luckily we still have some full restores left for situations like this exactly. And I should have swapped the life orb out with something else here too, Joe, since we really don't need it anymore. Well, at least you can one-shot this thing before it kills us with another outrage, Obama. I think healing would have been the better option here, actually, because that Garchomp had used outrage so many times that it probably would have confused itself meaning we could have got a free turn in. Actually, yeah, probably a good shout, Joe, but too late now. And she's sending out a Tyranitar too, which, which isn't good since it will probably have rock moves. But thanks to Delta Stream, his Sandstorm ability doesn't activate, which shows how OP our boy here is. Yeah, that storm probably would have whittled us down Obama if it had activated. Hey, how the fuck does that Tyranitar survive a direct attack from Dragon Ascent, what the hell? And now because of the Life Orb, Rayquaza is dead. Well done, Obama. This is all your fault. It wasn't the life orb, Donald. That Tyranetter used Stone Edge, like you said, it probably would to be fair. And now, because of Delta Stream going, the sandstorm has started. Well, how about we look at it from the point of view that since this may be our last battle, we can use the other members of this amazing team as the series comes to a close. Yeah, I like that idea, Donald. So Rayquaza made the valiant sacrifice of taking itself out so the rest of our team get to shine and show themselves off for the world. Zinnia's team is way better than Drizzy Drake's was as well, Joe. Look, she's sending out a Dragonite out now as well. This is probably my favorite Pokemon of her team, but seeing Hydreigon was pretty cool too. Yeah, but Zinnia having a Tyranitar was completely ridiculous if you ask me, Donald. There are so many dragon types she could have had instead like a Haxorus or Drudagon, but no. She went and used a random ground and rock type. You're just salty that it took out our black shiny snake Obama. I know you've come to love it, but it's okay. You don't have to tell me how you really feel. Well, it's safe to say as good as Dragonite is, Donald, it got totaled by our Sceptile so badly, LMOO. As much as I love Dragonite Joe, I am obviously going to be biased towards our Sceptile, especially since this guy has survived all the culling Obama has done with the rest of our team. Donald, you can't throw me under the bus like that when you threw our Latios into the PC box and put Rayquaza in its place. Oh, look, Obama, you're about to battle her final Pokemon, which, like Drizzy Drakes, is a Mega Salamance. Uh-huh, not a subtle attempt at changing the topic at all, Donald, but I'll humor you. Okay, one more Dragon Pulse, and that concludes our final battle with Zinnia Obama, so good job on that. This was the best battle you did in the entire game, only because we got to use Mega Rayquaza. This battle was a waste of time, Joe. What are you even saying, you fool? Instead of this battle, we could have already gone to destroy that meteorite, but no, they wanted to stall us even more for this BS. Donald, you've basically gone and said everything about the Delta episode is a waste of time. So what exactly have you liked about it? All right, Obama. It's now time for you to dress up and get ready to destroy that meteorite with Rayquaza. But if you ask me, it seems dangerous for you to go into space. Here he goes, changing the topic again, Obama. But anyway, you've got hero music playing now, so looks like Donald is right, and it's time for you to save the universe. 
Yep, this is definitely going on my CV, Joe. First I gotta ride on Grudon's back, and now I'm riding Mega Rayquaza's back too. I only need to find Kai Ogre and go for a ride on its back to so my bucket list is complete. Wow, and apparently I'm the sad one. Look, we took off like Falcon Heavy Boys. Rayquaza is like a long green missile. I say we paint all our nuclear warheads green and gold from now on. That would be such a cool color scheme. This is one of the best cut scenes in the game too, don't you think, boys? And for the love of God, Donald, please don't say this is a waste of time too, because it just isn't. Nah, I agree with you, Joe. This is so cool, and I'm very jealous Obama gets to do this, and I don't. I hope in the game I play next, I can also do something just as cool as you, Obama. Prepare for impact, Obama. We're gonna obliterate this meteorite like a knife going through butter, and then the world will be saved. Damn, that's such a cool shot too of Rayquaza smashing into that meteorite. Hang on, why is the camera slowly zooming into this thing? It's not like we took out a life form, is it? What in the actual hell is that, boys? This is another Delta sign. This is the sign of the Illuminati, confirmed for sure. Oh God, Obama, this is what I think it is, isn't it? I remember seeing the original version of this in Pokemon Emerald. What is happening, Donald? Why are there tentacles that look like something out of a Japanese video I saw online once coming out of this triangle? This is all very suspect if you ask me. Thanks, Joe. You just put an image in my head of something I didn't particularly want to think about. But anyway, this is the true final boss of the game. This is Deoxys, boys. Yeah, and this battle isn't difficult at all, and thankfully I have a bunch of Ultra Balls to use on this thing, too. But how comes our Rayquaza is already mega evolved when it's been in our party the whole time? Well, I think the Rayquaza we were actually riding into space was our one we had all along Obama, but they didn't model it as a shiny one in the cutscenes because I think it's shiny locked or something. Obama, what in the actual fuck, man? Okay, I didn't expect that to happen. Obama, you just killed that poor Deoxys. Why did you do that? What happened to trying to catch it? Okay, well, I thought Deoxys would tank that hit just like Zinnia's Tyranitar did, but apparently not. Oh, well, we can always come back to the Sky Pillar later if you two want to try catch it again. Oh, for God's sake, Obama, that means you get more time to play, so I say no. We just ditched Deoxys because it's not like we're ever coming back to this game anyway, are we? Yeah, fuck it, Obama. This the end for now. So basically that concludes our journey through the Han region, at least for now, doesn't it, boys? I guess it does conclude it, Joe, but we have a few cut scenes to go through before the postgame is actually finished. But in the meantime, we can talk about what's coming up next. Yeah, we just wanted to thank you all again for all the love and support you give us each time we upload. We really enjoy making these videos, and it makes us so happy to see a lot of positivity from you all. Oh, look, we actually have a date with Mayboys at the Space Center. I guess we finally get to watch that meteor shower together. She would have been more impressed if we actually went back into space on Rayquaza's back again to watch the meteor shower. But I mean, each to their own, I guess. Donald, you're still complaining. How about you tell our viewers what to expect in the next series instead of the constant whining? All right, fine, Obama. Well, lots of you seem to miss Pokemon Violet, so next time you will find us heading back to the Paldea region to play that shit game. Oh, sorry, I mean really fun game. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to playing it, Donald, since it'll feel refreshing playing a completely different style of Pokemon game again. Be happy about that, Donald. I think it will be fun. But before we go there, you can all expect the full movie of this game to come out soon, once we have it all edited. But anyway, here we are, back in Little Root Town. So for the final time, thanks so much for watching. And please remember to hit that like button and subscribe. And we'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye, everyone.